to see what open at 4 o'clock on a Tuesday. And at 4.01, there'd be all these deals. And you go, well, shoot, if they're tampering, let's just say they can tamper the day before free agency. And then, sure enough, as soon as the tampering window opens up, what happens? All the deals are announced. So I guess the Jags and Gabe Davis just hammered one out in about three minutes. But here is what I, where I look at what the Jaguars did, okay? And, and outside of what I think is an impactful move, at least hopefully, and that was the one we talked about yesterday morning, E.T., that was Mitch Morse at center, veteran, Former Pro Bowler, is he a top five, top ten center even? No, probably not. But is he top 15, top 20, consummate pro, You know, graded well, I think gave up one sack all year, a veteran presence with a young quarterback? You bet it is. To me, that's a that's an A-plus signing. I'm not saying he's an A-plus player, but goodness knows we, we all agree. We need more on that interior line, right? So outside of that, here's, here's how I would describe what the Jaguars have done so far in free agency and via the trade. I, they're just shuffling money around. They're just shuffling money around. Roster impact, I got to say right now, so far, if I compare what's gone out versus what's coming in, again, I'm not attaching dollar figures. Like I said, shuffling some money around. But it's pretty clear what's happened here. I mean, in, in essence, there's only one trade that's occurred. The Jags sent a six-rounder to the Patriots for Mac Jones. Again, I, I, I've weighed in on what that is. That, to me, is the same impact as learning C.J. Beathard resigned last year. It's a backup quarterback. Um, certainly in a pinch, perhaps you, you would rather have him than Beathard. That's up to the Jags, right? But really, that's not the only trade that's occurred, E.T. All right? Uh, and uh, the Jaguars let Rayshon Jenkins go. They signed Darnell Savage yesterday from the Green Bay Packers, a, a player who has, at his peaks, been been very good, but he's been very inconsistent. He's had some injury issues the last couple of years. He still has continued to have his moments, but he's the, the better part of his production and stats came earlier in his career, and it has seemed to have kind of flattened out since then. Talent, impact on the field. Darnell Savage versus Rayshon Jenkins. Wash. It's a wash. Jags, obviously, at this stage, after signing Gabe Davis yesterday. Gabe Davis, a player I like. Could almost be the considered the offensive version of what, what Savage has been at, at safety and on defense. Very inconsistent. I know all y'all out there play fantasy football. If you've ever been a Gabe, Dave, uh, Gabe Davis owner, and I'm not saying... That, 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 you know, the plan for the Jags is has anything to do with fantasy football. But a, as a reflection on what Gabe Davis has done week in, week out, you, you all know how feast or famine dude can be. I mean, he'll give you a week where he goes five catches, 135 yards, two touchdowns, and then it's one catch, eight yards, two catches, 15 yards the next two weeks. Now, that could be the function of being in an offense that has, um, you know, a, a – magnet in Stefan Diggs, the guy who's going to demand his. Um, obviously, the Jags are not going to re-sign Calvin Ridley, right? That's, that's obvious at this point, E.T.? Oh, yeah, that's I mean, clear. I, I, I can't. Right? I mean, I, I don't know. Unless they have some plan where they get rid, they keep Ridley and Zay Jones walks, it just it seems like we're going to go Christian Kirk, Zay Jones, uh, now Gabe Davis, you know, forget the draft. I'm just talking about what's happened on the roster via free agency. Okay, Calvin Ridley out, Gabe Davis in, money shuffled around, net negative. No, I mean, I don't know what Gabe Davis is going to be. He's a younger player, but there is no context and framework of evaluating wide receivers where Gabe Davis can be considered at this point as good as Calvin Ridley. Am I wrong? Agreed. Net negative. Jaguars are going to they're going to lose Jamal Agnew. They went and signed really the all pro at Agnew's position. They, you can't argue going and getting Devin DuVernay from Baltimore, a guy who will play the role that that Agnew had played here, and that's kick returner and you know specialist on offense. In fact, incentives in the contract that he'll sign today will will bump things up if he contributes offensively. I don't watch every Ravens game. I know DuVernay has been an all-pro at, at that special teams spot in his career. 
not not the guy every year. But, boy, watching Jamal Agnew, I can't help but think that he's been underrated here. I, I can't imagine that DuVernay is an upgrade over Jamal Agnew, particularly if you put in what Agnew would do from time to time within the offense. So, to me, that's a net wash. Maybe, maybe slight upgrade? And again, I'm just kind of going off that all-pro tag that has been put on DuVernay as a special teams player primarily. It, you know, unless you're a fan of that team that's watching every punt and every kick, it doesn't stand out, right? Unless he takes it back to the house and Scott Hansen tells you on the red zone. <laughs> or unless it happens against uh, your team. So, you know, there you go. Those, those were the additions yesterday. I wish I had this weird turn of events to kicker spot, but... Um, Savage comes in. I, look, I will say this. Pro Football Focus, Savage was the 16th highest graded safety last year. That's higher than Rayshon Jenkins. It still seems like it's just kind of a wash. Savage is the younger player. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not saying the Jags lost free agency yesterday. I'm saying we're 9-8, and 9-8, eight, and, eight, and to me, so far, unimproved. There's still the Darius Williams departure with, as of yet, no replacement that's lingering. Of course, the draft is going to take care of some issues. But, I, you know, I'm not tallying it up on a calculator. I know money has to be set aside for, for Josh Allen. I think we got um, I think we got a pretty fair and accurate estimate of what it's going to take with Josh Allen and a deal given out to another player yesterday. More on that as we move along. I just feel like it's kind of a kind of a wash talent wise except for Morse and that could be a big deal and the Jags offense could be as effective and productive with Gabe Davis in in place of Calvin Ridley if I also you know look back on the second half of the 2022 season which d- doesn't it feel like that was the best stretch of offense that we've seen consistency wise et would you agree with that yeah i got a second with half of 22 mm-hmm. right now and that doesn't mean that they didn't have their their struggles i'm not i'm not saying they were humming like some 40 point a game machine but overall they 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 were as productive and efficient and trevor's best numbers came in that stretch of games and that was with Zay jones christian kirk and evan ingram right and and, and travis Etienne making plays out of the backfield so when it comes, you know, they're really the only hole that's left after a free agency, to be honest, is Darius Williams' cornerback spot. You know, uh, however the, the, the scales balance on Savage for Jenkins, Davis for Ridley, um, you know, ultimately uh, uh, Duvernay for Agnew, ultimately perhaps Mac Jones for Beathard. However, those scales, you know, play out moving forward. I, I don't know. We'll see. These is mostly just shuffling money around and getting what you think are similar players at perhaps a, a smaller price. And and again, you got to clear space uh, for Josh Allen. Who, if you know, I, I don't want a one year here, man. I want to tell a guy, hey, we got a lead. We think we got a leader at quarterback on offense. You are the man. We want you to be our leader on defense. Let's go win a Super Bowl. That's how I want him to approach Josh Allen. You've earned it. We drafted you in the top ten. You are a rare Jaguar, my friend. You are a rare species around these parts. We drafted you, and you played like it. We appreciate you. We know the market's going to fluctuate, and, you know, perhaps in three years, this deal won't be as, you know, high in the rankings as it is right now. But here you go, my man. Let's go win a title. That's how I want him to deal with Josh Allen. I'll go ahead and say it now. Just give him the money that that Brian Burns is getting from the from the Giants. He he was traded by the Panthers to the Giants. I don't have the numbers in front of me. E is it five years one fifty? I think it's five years one fifty on on Burns' new deal. That is correct. Five years, um, one hundred fifty million. Okay, Josh, here you go. I, I couldn't have a better comp. I'm moving into to the, to the neighborhood. I'm moving next door to a house with the same floor plan I have. Here's the recent sale. Five years, 150 spread the money out, and let's stay active. Because through this point, and there's a lot of offseason left, we're not any better than we were when the season ended, in my opinion, except, and this could be a big except, maybe we are. 
except the potential upgrade at center with Mitch Morse coming to town yesterday. So obviously a lot happening uh, around the National Football League landscape. It, free agency officially starts today, which uh, seems somewhat comical uh, based on all the news that was uh, not one trickling out, E.T., based on the news that was flooding out yesterday. Uh, we got golf uh, notes to pass along to you. Obviously, we've begun our week-long coverage here live on location at uh, TPC Sawgrass, the stadium course. It is a, uh, it's a chilly morning. You got the steam kind of rising up off the lakes. I did hunt down Sasquatch on my mile-and-a-half trek from Lot 3 to the Palm Valley Village here. I'm locked in, and I'm ready to go. Let's take our first time out. It's a Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday. Big toys for big boys and so much more. You can count on Catlin. Family run and operated for over 100 years. You're listening to The Drill on 1010XL 92.5 FM. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. Play 1010XL Fantasy Golf at the Players. What a week. Brought to you by Pella Windows and Doors. If your golfer scored the lowest at TPC Sawgrass, win $1,000 of jewelry from Beards Diamonds. Enter at 1010XL.com. It's time for some Spring Fever March specials going on now at Arlington Toyota Pre-Owned. Mia here, and how does this sound? Just $500 down and $288 per month gets you a pre-owned 2021 Toyota Corolla. Or you choose a pre-owned 2021 Camry, RAV4, or Tacoma for just $500 down and $388 per month. Plus, Arlington's Credit for Everyone program and 30-day exchange. Don't wait. Save thousands and shop ArlingtonToyota.com today. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt-free. No credit cards, no car loan, no personal loan. Hey, it's Prosser here, and Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make that happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes with almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle. You can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards, get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips, and approval is just minutes away. So call now, 904-999-1508, 904-999-1508. That's LoanPronto.com at 904-999-1508. NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. An ACL tear can be a devastating injury with prolonged pain and rehabilitation. Hi, I'm Dr. George Bari. I'm a sports medicine orthopedic surgeon who grew up right here in Jacksonville and then went on to train with the world-renowned Dr. James Andrews. At Bari Orthopedics, we use the most current techniques to get you back on the field with less pain and quicker rehabilitation. We treat all types of sports injuries with the newest techniques available. Please call us for consultation or visit bariorthopedics.com. Find out more at bariorthopedics.com. That's B-A-H-R-I orthopedics.com. Tim McGraw. In concert. The Standing Room Only Tour 2024. A night filled with your favorite songs. Five Star Veterans Memorial, March 14th. With special guest Carly Pierce. Get tickets now with Ticketmaster.com. Don't miss Tim McGraw, live in Jacksonville. This is Frank Franzi. Join Dan Hickett and me for All Things Gators, our podcast presented by Southeast Orthopedic Specialists with new episodes every Monday. Subscribe and listen by searching for 1010XL Florida Gators Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or tune in. Hey gang, Hicken here. March is Workplace Eye Wellness Awareness Month. Here's a tip for those in front of a computer all day. Follow the 20-20-20 rule. Set a timer as a reminder to look 20 feet away every 20 minutes for 20 seconds. This can be as simple as looking away from your computer screen or out the window. If virtual meetings keep you in your seat for extended time, shut your eyes for 20 seconds. Call or visit BowNye.com today to schedule your consultation. BowNye, keeping the first ghost focused. 
Monaghan Jewelers is the place for GIA certified diamonds and fine jewelry since 1977. It's TPC week and the ladies deserve some TPC bling. So Monaghan Jewelers is celebrating with five-year interest-free financing on all purchases. Buy one carat diamond studs for as low as $39 a month. Get a $9,000 engagement ring for $150 a month. Whatever the purchase, get five years interest-free. We're your local family jeweler, so support us and get the best deals on the greatest selection of fine jewelry, Monaghan Jewelers in Atlantic Beach. Is your roof showing signs of wear and tear? Call Universal Roof and Contracting today to schedule your complimentary roof inspection. Right now, get $200 off your roof replacement plus flexible financing. And as a bonus, receive free window mitigation with a full roof replacement. This offer expires March 31st and restricts supply. Universal Roof and Contracting, proud partner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. License number CCC057165, CBC1258484. Universal Roof. Clearwater. John, I can't even mow my side yard. It's so soggy. Man, my builder sucks. Brent, calm down. This is a common problem in neighborhoods where houses are built too close together. You need gutters and a properly installed French drain that will soak up subsurface water. We can completely dry it up. So I can take my builder off my speed dial now, huh? Yeah, we got you, buddy. Let that builder bitterness go. Clearwater Irrigation and Drainage too. It's the 60th Bob Hayes Invitational Track Meet, March 14 through 16. Track events will be held at Hodges Stadium on the campus of UNF. Thursday, March 14, the annual Hall of Fame Gala at the Potter's House International. Friday, March 15, the first collegiate meet at 10 a.m. And the Coach Day Middle School Track Meet, 5 p.m. On Saturday, March 16, the annual Bob Hayes Invitational Track and Field Meet at 8.30 a.m. at Hodges Stadium. For information and tickets, visit bhitm22.org. Presented by the City of Jacksonville and Pepsi. Get ready for the Players' Championship, March 12th through 17th at TPC Sawgrass. Don't miss your chance to watch the PGA Tour's best compete to etch their name in history while enjoying a vibrant social scene. From local bites to the latest merchandise available in the PGA Tour fan shop, the Players offers the ultimate experience for everyone to enjoy. Secure your spot today. Tickets are on sale now at theplayers.com. 1010XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Cold enough to chew my bones. <laughs> oh. like I don't know Buddy, I'm not kidding you. The Sawgrass Village is going to be a beautiful place. <laughs> Middle of the day, my man. <laughs> you set, set up out here with the skeleton crew. I mean, I, I mean, I. If you look at on YouTube right now, I'm so cold, Rose. I go love. Look like you're hunting. You ready? You ready? You ready? Here I am, Rose. I'm so cold. You're giving me revenant. You've given me Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> revenant vibes. <laughs> Oh man! Um, <laughs> first world problems, my pro. It's not that bad. I'm embellishing right. here uh, just a little bit. It's the 50th Players Championship, 50, a nifty 50. And so I've been here for a lot of them. Uh, my first players was 1991. Who was the big dogs then? Uh, Nick Price, Greg Norman. David Duvall? Uh, David Duvall, we're not there yet. That's, okay. I'm headed there. He's All not right. there yet. He comes along mid to late 90s. In mm-hmm. fact, let's just go ahead and spring forward because that's what I was going to reference. I, I challenged myself driving in, E, mm-hmm. to come up with what I thought was the most memorable players of the okay. 33 or 4 that I've seen. Okay. And the first prerequisite is I can't. I, 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 I didn't allow myself, because I've thought of some other sense, I didn't allow myself to go just swimming through the memory banks and plucking things from different years because the whole idea and concept of it's most memorable it should kind of just come to you. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. And it's because there have been so many memorable shots. I mean, I think of Lenny Matisse and, and that, gosh, that heartbreak that he felt on 17. His, his, his ailing, dying mother really, you know, Oh, God, it was just heartbreaking, bro. I I think of 
you know, the best players in the world almost as 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 one marching up the 18th fairway. The guys that I've seen win here, E.T., Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy, Phil Mickelson, Scotty Scheffler a year ago. The list goes on and on. Biggest names in, in the sport. But of, of the 50, to me, the one that's most significant was the 1999 Players' Championship. It was David Duvall winning his only players. But it's more than th- that fact alone. And many of you out there will remember, and to my knowledge, this has still not been repeated. It remains uh, to this day the only time it's happened. But while David Duvall was winning the Players' Championship here in his hometown, his dad, Bob Duvall, a former PGA pro and playing on the Senior PGA Tour, won on the same day at the Emerald Coast Classic on the Senior Tour in Pensacola. Oh, that's that, was his, that was his first win on the Senior Tour in the same day. David Duvall is winning on PGA Tour, and his dad, Bob Duvall, is winning on the Senior Tour. Duvall's win was his 10th in the last 33 tournaments. And with the win, E.T., it lifted him over the dude who finished in a tie for 10th at that year's players. David Duvall, six shots better than Tiger Woods that day and overtook him as the number one player in the world. And, And really, as I look back, the only guy for any kind of sustained real period of tire, Tiger's dominance to stare him down. Not head to head. Certainly, I'm not going to sell you David Duvall in his one career major is on par, but for those couple of years, man, Duvall and Tiger were, were neck and neck as to where they, their careers would go. Tiger, you know, by then I had a couple, three majors when Duvall won his British Open. I'm pretty sure I'd have to really go into the memory banks, but I, that, I think that British that David won, that was Tiger there that was battling. But that 99 players with Duvall, the hometown kid, winning on this golf course while his dad was winning a senior tournament at the same time, I can vividly remember just, just sitting in the, uh, in the media center here. Bob had finished first. And then the, the, you know, the cameras were able to capture him watching you know, in the clubhouse at the event that he had won yeah. as David won the, the Players' Championship here. So for a lot of reasons, you know, if I if I look back on – I haven't been here for all 50. Well, I've been here for a lot of them. That, that's the year that stands out the most. Not necessarily a particular moment. There's, there have been tons of, uh, tons of those. There's been memorable quotes. There's been memorable scenes. But for uh, my money, uh, that 1999 Players' Championship is the one that still stands out. Um, tee times are out. You can, you know, you can certainly search those out. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go down the list for you from top to bottom. There's a couple of things you will never see the biggest players go off at like seven something in the morning. Um, let's see, 7.51, I got Cameron Young. I wouldn't call him a, the, the, quote, biggest players. Let me just, I'm going to scroll down. I get Jason Day, uh, Siwoo Kim, Matt Kuchar. I get them at 8.15 on Thursday. These are all off of number one. I get Sam Burns, Xander Shoffley, Tommy Fleetwood, 8.24. Uh, Victor Hovland, Rory McIlroy, Jordan Spieth. There you go, 8.35, Thursday morning, off a of whole 10. Victor Hovland, Rory McIlroy, Jordan Spieth. Oof. Um... I got Ludwig Obear, Patrick Cantlay, Adam Scott. That's a 46 off 10. Um, uh, the local, Billy Horschel, joined us last Friday. He'll go off number one, 908. He's playing alongside uh, side Sun JM, Webb Simpson. You know, I'm scrolling down these names, man, and the storylines that just pop out at me. And, yeah, the tour's really, really suffering with, with the lived affections. Yeah, y'all, y'all keep telling yourself that. Would it be nice to have John Rom, Cam Smith, Dustin Johnson? That it? Would it be nice to have those guys here? Yeah, it would. Uh, as I uh, as I scroll down this thing, I'm not lacking. I'll tell you that much. Let's. That's just the morning wave of uh, huge names and dynamic pairings. Let's uh, move on to later in the afternoon. One thirty. You got Hideki Matsuyama, Matt Fitzpatrick, Max Homa. Um. Scotty Scheffler, Ricky Fowler, Justin Thomas will go off Thursday at 140. 
off of number one. You got uh, all major champions, Wyndham Clark, Colin Morikawa, Brian Harmon. They'll play together at 151 on Thursday. So uh, those are just some of the names. Uh, Finau, Zalatoris, Lowry, they play together at 2 o'clock. Uh, you can just – you, you can take a look at uh, – I misplaced Cameron Young, by the way. He's here at 2 o'clock in the afternoon with Luke Liston and, and Gary Woodland. And if you can search it out, find your favorite guy, go to your favorite spot to watch if you are um, fortunate enough to come out and have some fun at this year's Players' Championship live with uh, – uh, it looks like a real test awaits these dudes. E.T., I snuck in me some Golf Channel yesterday afternoon live from the players. They had a former tour pro, a guy named Johnson Wagner, now known for that big, thick mustache. But anyway, he was out on the 17th green. Yep. They are just going through the dynamics of, of, of where the pins are placed and the facts and figures about the 17th and, and yada, yada. But then mixed in with his report was this. The, it, he says they are the fastest greens, not just ever at the players, but some players are saying the fastest greens they have ever putted on PGA Tour which uh, that may not mean a lot if you don't ha- play a lot of golf. He went to the, uh, you know, that, that there's a front pin that comes into play like, gosh, Thursday, Saturday, I think. And he was just putting it off of the, the that kind of top level and not way at the back of the green, but just, you know, above the slope, just tapping it, getting it to the slope. It was rolling 8, 12 feet by the hole into the fringe, in some cases threatening to roll off into the water. So, you know, I – if, if typically they're not going to have these dudes out here practicing on a Monday with greens that fast and then have them be slower when the tournament starts, at least not typically. But that's something to talk about with Stuart Moore, with with some Barry. He can give us all the facts and figures and, and inside uh, news. It's it's the most valuable brunch with the tour of the year, that's for sure. And we look forward to talking, you know, uh, a good stretch of golf. That will come up uh, today in the 8 o'clock hour. We'll also make our picks I was looking at the odds. We know that uh, E will take Scotty Scheffler, the, the number one player in the world, and right now the hottest player coming off his win at the Arnold Palmer, but he's 5.5 to 1. Next is uh, Rory McIlroy at 14 to 1. I was a little surprised who the third favorite was. Xander Schauffele, 20 to 1. And then Justin Thomas, 22 to 1. Hadn't been playing his best golf. Former winner here. Victor Hovland, 22 to 1. Uh, Will Zalatoris, 22 to 1. Max Homa, 25 to 1. Patrick Cantlay. Hideki, 28 to 1, seems a little low. He plays well here. Um, bunch at 33 to 1, including Spieth, Obear, Burns, Wyndham Clark. Uh, and uh, there you go. Away we go with our players' coverage. Um, got free agency grades. Let's see where. Uh, the CBS Sports.com tandem has the uh, Jaguars. When we come back on the other side with the football fix, I'm going to leave a little room here. We had some really big moves. It was nice to see the running backs get theirs. More on that. I thought it was a good day for the running backs, didn't you, E? Running backs did well yesterday. Yeah, they did well. They did well. All right. Um, all right. I don't know if this is going. This is going by. Individual player. All right, Jack signing Gabe Davis. The grade they give it is a B. I'm okay with that. Three-year, $39 million. Uh, the downfield threat he becomes for Trevor Lawrence. He, you know, he, he flashed in that role. I mean, he had a mo- – remember that monster game he had at Kansas City? Had a booming game against Did he have like 180, 180 and three touchdowns? Man, or something? I almost something feel ridiculous. like it was more, like maybe 200 or something. But I it was mean, a crazy a, game. A huge game. So, you know, again, I think it's it, you got to consider it a, a slight downgrade just based on what Calvin Ridley has done consistently in his career. Gabe Davis, for all the flash and all the ceiling you might think, he had 45 catches last year. So it's kind of like when Zay Jones came here and Zay overshot his production in his first year, at least by what I would have thought he would have been. Davis is young. He's a Florida kid. Um, they give it a B. Yeah, I give it a B. And listen, there are, it's also this. He's come up big in clutch moments. He's had good postseason moments for the Bills. And so hopefully or for the Jags moving forward, they're a playoff team. And that's, you know, that's a, um, that's a positive as well. Um, let's see if we get a savage grading. I mean, do we even, are, are we pushing this thing to the point where some of these guys are? aren't uh, necessarily gradable. By the way, I did see that Rayshon Jenkins is – our guy Leonard Floyd went again, he 
two year, twenty million. Uh, he's had nine sacks in four straight years with two different franchises. Mm, just saying. Um, yeah, I don't even see a grade here on on the Savage pick. The only thing we have graded is Davis. That's a B. But uh, you know, just kind of reset what I said. Uh, you know, as we started the show today, I, I don't think that the Jaguars haven't gotten worse. I don't. You know, again, I should stop saying they haven't gotten better. We needed. It felt like we needed, and by PFF's grades and everybody's opinion, we needed a sturdier center, and we got one in Mitch Moore. So, you know, overall, maybe the team is slightly better. Savage is going to have to match Jenkins. Uh, Davis is going to have to give you a more productive season than he has had to this point. My man Richie just went and got me coffee, bro. I mean, Good that's man. A, I mean, I don't even know what to tell you, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you. I'm overcome right now. I feel like we should play some sort of love ballad. I mean, I don't think you people understand. I'm on the iceberg straight ahead. I mean, I'm on the Titanic. My, my tongue's starting to freezey. Uh, it's not that cold, is it? Is that what they're saying, you six o'clockers? You're, you're, you're throwing stuff in the back of the truck saying, shut up, you soft snowflake. Um... So let's come back, though, on the other side. So, yeah, there you go. I think the Jags to wash, man. I mean, they shuffled some money around, got, got some, in, in, in some cases, cheaper replacements, but still well paid in, in free agency. And then the oddest free agent Jag, who then wasn't, is an interesting story, and yeah. that'll kick off a football fix when we come back on the other side. We're live at TPC Sawgrass, home of the players' 50th edition, which will get started on Thursday. The Drill, from the studios at Republic Services. We'll handle it from here. This is Brian Musburger's v Action Update on 1010XL. Brought to you by Duck Duck Rooter Plumbing, Septic, and Air Conditioning. Proud partner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. For the baseball today, the Gators hosting undefeated Florida State. The Seminoles are 14-0 to start the season. Florida State, the dollar 25 favorite in Gainesville, Florida, minus 105 on the money line. Big 12 tournament coming up today at the T-Mobile Center in Kansas City. UCF, a a three-and-a-half-point favorite over Oklahoma State. The total, 136. The winner will get BYU in the second round. Scotty Scheffler, 5-1 with the Players' Championship this week. Rory McIlroy, 12-1. Xander Shoffley, Victor Hovland, and Justin Thomas, all three of those golfers, are at 22 to 1. Sign up for the free VSIN newsletter and keep up to date with the biggest sports betting news and insights only at VSIN.com. With your action update, Mike Senna, 1010 XL. Attention all business owners. The raining season is coming and it's important to ensure that your property storm drains are free from debris and functioning properly. That's where Duck Duck Rooter comes in. Our powerful VACCON truck can effectively clean out your storm drains and prevent costly damage to your property from flooding. Don't let clogged storm drains ruin your business and reputation. Call Duck Duck Rooter today to schedule a cleaning before the rains hit. 904-862-6769 or online at DuckDuckRooter.com. Hi, this is Dale Murray with Murray Automotive Group in Stark and Kingsland. Save yourself from those big city dealers and their fast-talking flim-flam tactics. No matter what your automotive need is, we've got you covered. Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and nobody beats our prices, and I mean nobody. Shazam! Plus our exclusive 15-year, 150,000-mile warranty included on every qualified vehicle. And we'll trade anything from AirPods to fishing rods. Compare our prices online at ShazamAuto.com, then come see me, Dale Murray. I'll be waiting for you. Shazam! Hacker here, and after my announcement of starting Awaken 180 weight loss, everyone is asking me about it. So I'll update you. After just two weeks, I'm already down 25 pounds. 25 pounds in two weeks. And to be more detailed, I actually dropped 32 pounds of fat, but I've gained 7 pounds of muscle. Not because I'm working out with Awaken 180, but because I'm more active, walking more, and playing longer with my son, Little Hack. All the rewards I thought would take months to achieve, I'm seeing after only two weeks. Am I starving myself? Definitely not. You think this guy would choose a calorie-counting diet? I'm eating to lose weight with Awaken 180, and my results speak for themselves. It's been simple. My coach lays out the plan, we make adjustments, and every week the weight falls off. No pills, no injections. I'm doing it the right way. Do what Mike, Matt, and I did and make the call to Awaken 180. 844 346 1800 or online at awaken180weightloss.com. Attention, golf enthusiasts. Get ready to swing into action at the Rolling Red Pro Golf Tour at Deer Creek Country Club April 10th to 12th. 
It's a charity pro-am event benefiting the Wounded Warrior Project. Rub shoulders with real touring pros, explore the outdoor expo, and indulge in a banquet meal. Want to play alongside a future PGA Tour player? Sign up now at RollingRedGolfTour.com. Spectators welcome and sponsor packages available. That's RollingRedGolfTour.com. In sports, the grind outside the lines is what ultimately defines our success. Get the Amateur's Edge, powered by B3 Better, to learn the hidden path of top pros, amateurs, and coaches. Saturday mornings at 11 on 1010XL. Picking here. You know at Zero Res, they love rugs. Fine oil rugs need to be cleaned with the right equipment and careful training. My guy at Zero Res, Gerard, is a certified master rug cleaner and has been cleaning rugs for more than five years. Don't trust your fine rugs to anyone. Call Zero Res right now. They are offering a BOGO on rug cleaning. Have Zero Res clean one rug, get a second rug for free. What a great time to get your rugs cleaned. Zero Res, man. Spell it forward, spell it backwards. Zero Res. It's the right way to clean. Zero Res. Have you been dreaming of enhancing your living space with top quality custom windows and doors? Make that dream a reality with Renewal by Anderson. And right now, buy one window or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and no interest for 12 months. This offer expires March 31st and restrictions apply. Renewal by Anderson, the official window and door replacement partner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Visit rbafla.com. License number CGC 1527613. I'm Jeff Middlecoff with Trustline Mortgage. My business partners, Alan Tyre, Bill Pappas, and Ken Rimley have been helping first-time home buyers with their mortgage financing all over Florida for 34 years. First-time home buyers can get no or low down payments, anywhere from zero to three and a half percent down. As a first-time home buyer with Trustline Mortgage, you get added benefits for doing your loan with us, like lower rates on your mortgage insurance and lower closing costs. Oh, and did I forget to mention that Trustline gives first-time home buyers better mortgage interest rates? Here's the bottom line. Trustline Mortgage wants to help first-time home buyers accomplish your goal of home ownership. That's why Trustline Mortgage is offering the best first-time home buyer benefits around. Period. Trustline Mortgage delivers with no and low down payments, lower closing costs, and better interest rates. Call Trustline Mortgage today at 381 Loan. That's 381 Loan to find out how we can help you buy your dream home. Or visit our website at trustlinemortgage.com. Trust your instincts and follow the line to Trustline Mortgage. Certain restrictions apply. See office for details. Trustline is an equal housing opportunity. MLS number 331480. Whitney Cummings presents the Big Baby Tour 2024. The crazy thing is that when you're 35 as a woman, they start calling your pregnancy geriatric. I'm sorry that the appropriate age for women to get pregnant in the medical community is at prom in a toilet. I am so glad that I waited to get pregnant. If I had got pregnant even a year earlier, I would have sold the baby for Taylor Swift tickets. Whitney Cummings, live on stage at the Florida Theater, Saturday, November 16th. Get tickets now at floridatheater.com. I'm here with Clayton Bromberg of Underwoods. Clayton, Underwoods has sold fine quality diamonds for a long time. Why is that important? Frank, if you drew a line with the poorest diamonds with the lowest prices to the left and the highest quality to the right, our diamonds are at the far right end. Now, once we know the weight, The grading factors of cut, color, and clarity have to be considered. And the one that's talked about the least, but it's the most important to us, is the diamond's cut grade because it has a huge implication on both the price and the beauty and thus the value. I've bought diamonds for Underwoods for over 30 years, so I know what's out there, and the cut grade's just not important to most diamond sellers. That's really been the Underwood difference because beautifully cut diamonds result in the most important thing they can do. They bring a joy of owning and wearing a diamond, not just today, but tomorrow and into the future. That's why it's important to us. And it should be to you, too, because nothing brings more joy than a diamond from Underwoods in San Marco, Avondale, and the shops of Ponte Vedra since 1928. 1010XL is presented by Barra and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. <laughs> All right, we're back here. Content now. I got me a cup of Joe. See the steam rising up off. Look at look at that YouTube shot. Huh? Look at me. I look like I'm being held hostage somewhere. <laughs> you look like you're looking for Sasquatch for real. <laughs> I did. You camping out. Well, especially after that daggum hour they stole from me this weekend. It's not going to get light till like noon today, I don't think. So, 
Um, yeah, and the whole place wasn't, it's not quite as lit up, you know, when you get out here at 5.30 in the morning. It's going to be beautiful when that sun come up, though. Oh, man. I use a little bit of that warmth off that big ball of fire, if you ask me, uh, as well. So the strangest, I, I looked at some grades from PFF. I, the only one I could find great in every single move. I'll share those in a second. They had nothing on the DuVernay. I think DuVernay for Agnew is a wash. I, again, PFF's going to look at the money that's handed out as part of their overall grade, which uh, I guess is probably smart. But, anywho, um, Will Lutz, kicker. Yeah. You know, played many years for Sean Payton in, in New Orleans. Lutz went somewhere before Denver, didn't he? Or did he go straight New Orleans to Denver? Anyway, been kicking for Denver. Um, I guess this is why it's called the tampering period. You can tamper back if, if you choose, and apparently Denver did, because news broke that uh, Lutz was going to have a new three-year deal with the Jaguars, but 90 minutes later, apparently changed his mind. He'll remain in Denver, sign a new contract with the Broncos. It's not really clear what happened to change his mind. Maybe the... Maybe Denver was dragging their feet on giving him a contract he was looking for, and news broke in the tampering period. Uh, and because nothing could be signed until today, the tampering backfired in in this case, or at least the reports of it. So, um, yeah, let's see. He played for Peyton in New Orleans, then was traded to Denver last year to play with Peyton again, and now will remain there. And so the Jags didn't we sign Riley Patterson again? Didn't we? Or no? I don't think so. I we didn't bring him back. I haven't seen anything. Let me see. Google, man. Google machine me up on that one. Let's see. I'll, I'll share some of these PFF grades for the few moves that have been announced. It, it kind of speaks to what I said. You know, it's a wash. I don't see the Jags really improved. I don't think they've gotten worse, per se. There's still more to be, you know, uh, more supplementing to go with the draft and, and maybe some veteran moves late. But these are just kind of lateral stuff. You may be trading some years or some cash, but... Start with Darnell Savage. Rayshon Jenkins out. Savage in. PFF says it is an A when it comes to a fit and a need, but let's let's remind ourselves that's in a vacuum true, but that fit slash need came because of the safety that we had and decided not to bring back. They put the value grade, though, only at C+. They're, they maintain that uh, the Jags overpaid a bit because Savage is a former first-rounder. So A uh, A on the fit, the need, C-plus on the value. And then Davis, look, it's B-plus for fit need. It's B-plus for value. Um, and, yeah, Riley Patterson is back, but um, Patterson is learning with that, that that little bit lighter leg of his. It's hard to keep a job, isn't it? Um, now, they write about Gabe Davis. Jacksonville may still be able to retain Calvin Ridley. Eh. But not, if not, this is a bit of a puzzling pivot. Davis had games where he took over, most memorably the playoff game, where he, you're right, he went for 200 receiving yards and four touchdowns. But the week-to-week consistency in a pass-happy, high-octane Josh Allen offense was never there. Fair, you know, uh, skepticism. And then center Mitch Morse, fit, need, A, value, B+. Plus, so that seems to be a pretty good deal as well. Jacksonville used the first pick of the third round on Luke Fortner, but they deserve commendation for admitting that was a miss and taking advantage of Mitch Morse getting released. Morse played for Doug Peterson when he was the offensive coordinator for the Chiefs. He uh, has an extremely high floor as a pass protector, so I think we all agree that was a much-needed upgrade. Uh, and then they get the Ezra Cleveland signing. Um, uh, a for the fit and the need and a B-plus for the value. So uh, PFF hates our offensive line, so they must have liked uh, Cleveland okay. Now the addition of Morse and, again, the drafts still to come. That really the only hole now through the cuts and this what we think will happen and become official in free agency really it's that Darius Williams hole, isn't it? Seems well, like it. Well, um, they got we signed the on uh, the one corner, um, D- Ronald Darby. Oh yeah. Yeah, we signed okay. Darby uh, from uh, Baltimore. Okay. All right. Well, that's uh, that ain't Darius Williams. If we're no, gonna go no. net if we're gonna go net in here, right? Um, fire the band. Hey, we got a football fix. It's brought to you by the Joint Greek Golf Club, the home course. All we'll all catch the golf bug this week. Uh, go enjoy yourself at the best value in golf. It's the Joint Greek Golf Club. Yeah, the running backs got shuffled around pretty good yesterday. They made pretty good money. The only one still searching for a home is Derrick Henry. Saquon Barkley uh, goes to the Eagles. Um, what I don't know what the Giants are doing. I think the Giants brought in like. 
what, Devin Singletary maybe? I, they're I in know. trouble is what they are. Yeah, they chose man, Daniel what? Jones, which yeah. obviously you're going to sign your quarterback, but, man, they, they, they stuck. Yeah, I don't know if I like, you know, Saquon for Singletary. And then you see these this money that these running backs get, and it's considered good money for the running back position, and you just look at your own roster, and you're like, man, we're paying, like, backup deep tackles more than that guy. It's weird, the running back dynamic. Uh, DeAndre Swift goes from the – it moves on from the Eagles. Um, well, I've gone dark here. Swift was uh, – Vikings, E? Uh, he was um, uh, Lions. Lions, okay. No, 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 no. No, no, no. He, he went from the – he just signed. He just he oh. moved yesterday. Who did he uh, – oh, anyway. He, um, I, he, uh, clarify that for me, E. Uh, Gardner Minshew. Is on the move. The shoe is going out to, going out to Las Vegas. Um, got a little bit of cash. Uh, it's kind of the similar career path. He'll go out and quote unquote compete um, for for a job. But the the Raiders quarterback situation, at least for now, was muddled. So we'll see if Minshew can just continue to bounce his way through some playing opportunities. And he did at least get some cash. I know. I think Denny. I think we most of us thought he would stay in. In, in Indy in the role that he had been, and that leaves that whole mile behind Anthony Richardson there. The big, the biggest news yesterday was Kirk Cousins to the Falcons. This is how important a quarterback is. You have a 35-year-old coming off an Achilles, he gets four, or 36-year-old even maybe, coming off a torn Achilles, gets four years, $180 million. Goodness. Christian Swift Wilkins. Went, huh? I'm sorry, Swift went from the Lions to Eagles, the and now he's with the Bears. Okay, the Bears. All right. Uh, so NFC North. And, man, they, they, Swift has got his traveling shoes on. Yeah, he does. Uh, uh, Pollard ended up with our division rivals, the Titans. I could deal with that, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then he, you, know, right. you want to take away uh, King Henry and right. put in Pollard? Knock yourself <laughs> out. Yeah, I'm okay with that as well. Um, Colts, as we've been telling you, got it done with, with Michael Pittman Jr. Uh, there was a trade yesterday, a big one, and big because of the – money that the Giants gave Brian Burns. I think it's a really good comp. Like I said, not just same neighborhood. This is almost a next door, same floor plan. If you're trying to figure out a guy's value, some would argue Burns overall would, would even be higher. I don't know about that with the season Allen just had. Five years, $150 million. I, I would say that Josh Allen deserves every penny if they could get a deal like that done. Packers kind of with a... Aaron Jones has been really good for the Packers, and he was awesome down the stretch last year. But they went and signed Josh Jacobs in free agency, and by all reports now, it looks like uh, Jones will move on. In fact, the Cowboys uh, apparently kicking around the tires on that one. The Bengals, as we said yesterday, are going to release Joe Mixon. Looks like they'll add Zach Moss. Um, just a just a ton of just a ton of moves, man, in free agency. Really, uh, all over the league, from the trades to the big. I mean, the biggest move yesterday to me was Kirk Cousins. The most impactful move is Kirk Cousins to the Falcons because the Falcons seem to have, you know, so many other pieces in place. But just some of the others: Austin Eckler goes to the Commanders. Uh, meanwhile, Gus Edwards goes from the Ravens to two more running backs. Like I said, man, those guys shuffled around and for the most part got pretty decent deals according to the market. Pats bring back Jacoby Brissett. That's a one-year deal. Um, Seahawks going to keep Leonard Williams on the on the D-line. Carlton Davis, a corner, acquired by the Lions from the Bucks. Um, that's about it. That's the highs and lows. There's, there's a ton more out there, man, if you're following along with your team. That is uh, probably the most up to date we can give you at this point. Football Fix is brought to you by the Jointa Creek Golf Club. You're going to catch that golf bug. I know you are as we broadcast this week uh, from here at the Players. Um, best golfers in the world will not only uh, do their thing here, but will uh, follow along as they meet the media. We'll be bringing you their comments over the course of the week. We got a good uh, brunch with a tour coming up for you. Uh, today, probably even even more, and uh, yeah, over uh, late later in, in the day yesterday, as to the need, and we haven't talked much about Ronald uh, Darby. He he's a veteran. He I mean, he's been around, you know, uh, a Florida while. State? Uh, yeah, well. yes, he was, uh, but he, he's thirty years old, right? He's about the same age as as Darius Williams, and 
Um, and he gets a two-year deal for only $10 million a year, which is, you know, far less than they would have paid. Uh, number 53 cornerback is a coverage grade um, as a seven-game starter last year. So, again. Are the Jags a whole lot better after free agency? No, it feels like they just kind of shuffled money around. We're not improved a whole bunch at this point of the offseason, except for that very important center position. I think we'd all agree. All right, Hick and Arrival more come your way next on a Cal and Truck Accessories Tuesday live from uh, TPC Sawgrass and the stadium course where the players will tee off on Thursday morning. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. How dare you talk to me in that fashion? Who are you? 1010XL. Oh, yes, yes, I've heard of you. They say you're pretty handy with a sword. Let's find out. 92.5 FM. Let me get this thing unwrapped here. Duval! Pros, pros. What in the world are you doing working on your Duval? That's right. And I really identify with Duval. You live in St. John's County, knucklehead. I mean the Duval sub, the Daily's Dash Duval. Turkey, ham, melted cheddar, and habanero jack cheeses. Lettuce, tomato, crispy and fresh, you know, like me. I'm sure there's a Daily's Dash sub that sums you up. The boss. Because, of course. Oven roasted beef, monster cheese, roasted mushrooms, caramelized onions. It's the boss of all subs. Only available for me. That's just not true. What do you mean? I walked in the other day, screamed, you know it, and said, a boss for a boss. Well, no matter who you are, there is a daily stash sandwich or sub for you. Go find yours. They may even make you a boss. I'm sure they will, because it is daily stash. Where more is better. And you got that right. Attention men and women. If you would like to get your hair back, then you need to listen to some of our clients. John in Orange Park. IHRS showed me what was causing my hair loss and helped stop it. Call IHRS now at 904-777-IHRS. Find out how to grow your hair back with a free hair and scalp examination. Mike from Bay Meadows. I finally found the most experienced company who could restore my hair. Now I have hair where I had none before. Results guaranteed. Diane from Ponte Vedra. Now I have what lotions couldn't give me. Thick, beautiful hair. Find out why you're losing your hair and how to grow your hair back. Call 904-777-IHRS for a limited time free hair and scalp examination. Now my hair will grow for the rest of my life. Thanks, IHRS. Thank you, IHRS. Thanks, IHRS, for giving me my hair back. Hurry, this free examination, normally $199, is yours for free and good only through Sunday. For your free examination, call IHRS at 904-777-IHRS. That's 904-777-4477. Call now. At Hodges Mazda, we are proud of our solid reputation in the Jacksonville community. Lauren Brooks here. As your hometown Mazda dealer, our high customer service standards and our huge inventory of new and used cars provide our customers a consistently first-rate car buying experience. Our professional non-commissioned sales team puts your best interest first without exception. And every vehicle purchased from Hodges Mazda comes with two years of free maintenance. Visit Hodges Mazda today or shop online at HodgesMazda.com and discover the Hodges Mazda difference. Hey sports fans, this is Hayes Carlion for QC Kinetics. This is the time of year to enjoy life. Stop letting that pain in your joints keep you from doing what you love to do this spring. Call QC Kinetics now. Set up a free consultation. Call them at 904-274-5522. They've got two great locations, Mandarin and Ponte Vedra Beach. Go see them. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. It's a fact. QC Kinetics is literally transforming lives. Their advanced treatments harness your own body's ability to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. Pro athletes have been doing this for decades, but now this life-changing treatment is available for you. So you can walk and run and climb stairs and play golf and move again pain-free. 904-274-5522. That's QC Kinetics. Call them today. When it's time for the March Mania brackets, the bus wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The Mania of March at BetUS.com is all about those buzzer beats. <laughs> Bonus offers. And when the madness starts and Cinderella, <laughs> man steps under the... <laughs> BetUS always has your back with... Back to back to back. 125% sign-up bonuses on your first three deposits. And even 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game... <laughs> 
Join today. BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Home of the Jacksonville Jaguars. WJXL AM Jacksonville Beach. WJXL FM Jacksonville Beach. Ahead. We build platforms for digital business. We help create your platform for digital business by weaving together advances in cloud infrastructure, intelligent operations, and modern applications. Digital business is comprised of five pillars. We call them imperatives because they're a must have, not a nice to have. We enterprise cloud, integrated security, scaled DevOps, intelligent operations, and relentless automation. Need help with digital transformation? Ahead, learn, grow, achieve. For the green luscious lawn on the block choose the local legends roundtree sod don't just settle for ordinary let roundtree sod deliver you a picture perfect lawn to get a free estimate call 7414 sod 7414 sod when you think about a metal roof think prime roofing prime roofing is jacksonville's local contractor that manufactures fabricates and installs metal roofs schedule today at primeroofingfl.com that's primeroofingfl.com Duck Duck Rooter is now hiring plumbers. We offer excellent weekly pay, paid holidays, health insurance, 401k, and so much more. Apply now at DuckDuckRooter.com. That's DuckDuckRooter.com and click on the careers page. Duck Duck Rooter is an equal opportunity employer. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit JDavidTaxLaw.com. Here's your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist Local Sports Update, sponsored by J. David Tax Law. Players' Championship, the flagship event on the PGA Tour, kicks off today at TPC Sawgrass. Patrons through the week can look forward to iconic shots like on the 17th hole in the Island Green. It's a can't-miss week in golf. Hear live updates on 1010XL. NFL free agency is underway, and the Jaguars are making moves. Besides signing wide receiver Gabe Davis and center Mitch Morse, they reportedly agreed to terms with veteran Darnell Savage Jr. The move bolsters their depth at safety after releasing Rayshon Jenkins in a cap-saving move. Florida basketball nets three players on all SEC teams. Starting point guard Zion Pullen earned first-team honors, while guard Walter Clayton earned second-team honors, and forward Alex Condon made all-freshman team as the Southeastern Conference announced its all-league teams on Monday. At your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist Local Sports Update, I'm Sam Nelson. It's 7.06 and it's 44 degrees. Your time and your temp is brought to you by Bueller Air Conditioning. Stay cooler with Bueller. 1010XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Ladies and gents, please put your hands together as Dan Hicken enters the studio. Maybe at first. Yeah, we're out here. I took, <laughs> I took my headset off, and I and I pressure covered my ears. Uh, apologies to our competing radio stations who got a little dose of the drill. I'm sure on their signals just now. That's what I don't know if they're that's here. That's what yet. we're all about. Yeah, so, it's good to be here. Some it's, of that. Uh, poor workers here. You gave them a heart attack. I love it. I love. It. I just wanted to make sure everybody I'm glad was awake. Well enough. That's beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, it's a beautiful that's day a beautiful here. View. A little chilly this morning, but it'll be all right. No, it's not a little chilly. Freezing cold. I felt, ah. like I felt like I was on the Titanic that went down. <laughs> I actually said this is very accurate. When I got here, it was like pitch black dark, and I was yeah. traipsing through all these things. I was always afraid I was about to run into something. I felt like I was tracking Sasquatch. <laughs> it's it's cold just, northwest. Yeah. My breath yeah. is flying out. And it's just starting to lighten up a little yeah, bit, yeah. so uh, it'll be, it'll excited. Be it's a beautiful week here. There we are. Look at us. In Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah, we're here. There's hostage demands. We're going to print those out on paper and hold them up as What's we go. What's the name the of the place that we're at this year? This is the uh, Palm Valley Village. Palm Valley yeah. Village. Yeah. Yes, right. it is. That's where we are. I, I Palm see, Valley Village. Yeah. I can see the clubhouse right there in front of us. It's beautiful. Yeah. Today's newspaper, right. Putting Green is <laughs> proof we're still alive. Putting Green is right <laughs> over here across the lake. We got nice little picnic tables here for folks sure. who want to come out and eat. Come on up. Apparently, Richie's told us there's a children's play area, so, so hopefully we, they'll start showing up 7, 8 o'clock. Kids will be here. Yeah, it's going to be, be a good time yeah. as we get here. And, Chasing uh, them around. And a uh, uh, frenzied day yesterday in the National Football League, so a lot, to, lot to unpack here on this uh, on this Tuesday morning. And uh, 
Uh, it's a huge week in Jacksonville. It's great. We got, you know, not to mention we got, you know, Selection Sunday coming up. Mm-hmm. I mean, when did it, aren't you great? Glad it slows down, Dan. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, love it. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's good. That's good stuff, though, right? For sure. So, I would say overall for the Jags, the password the password is lateral. Yeah. Lateral. Well, that's what I said. Yeah. They, now, they listen, shuffle stuff around, similar players. Ronald younger. Darby, Darius Williams. Ronald Darby, two years, $10 million. Darius Williams would have been $10 million, so I get that. Okay, yeah, you know, all right, all right business decision. Well, Ronald Darby was with Peterson on his Super Bowl team. Okay, yeah. you know and they're gonna draft a guy there. Yeah, okay, yeah. So that's that's what that is. Yeah, Savage a little bit surprising, but maybe not as much confidence as I had said many times. You're putting a lot of stock in a kid who's played two or three games to start, yeah. right? And I also think and wonder if maybe Antonio Johnson won't be playing a lot of slot corner because I've right. always said he could do that. Right. And so if you get another piece there, Savage has played some too. Yeah. So okay. so that they're interchangeable in that respect. But is he? Better than Rayshon Jenkins, uh, you know, it's same guy to us. I yeah. mean, I don't know. We don't, you know. He, he, I, he was, again, it's just one measure. It's yeah. hard to, when you're tracking down safeties and guys uh-huh. you don't pay much attention to, they're on your team. 16th ranked safety in PFF. I know I'm on an island here all by myself. So, oh, by the way, and, and again, thumbs up on Mitch Moore's improvement, yeah, that's, definite improvement. That's the definite Good improvement. stuff there. The rest all seem yeah. like you're just shuffling I, things around. I am on an island here, so I'm not going to get this. I've had this argument before. I, mean, I, I still kind of feel the same way, though. If I was a special teams guy, I get I want a kicker who can put it through the end zone, and I want a punter who can kick 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 it way far away or kick it out of bounds or kick it high enough that nobody's going to return it. So I'm not investing dollars into it, but the Jags feel differently. Most people feel differently, and that's cool. Uh, basically, again, Devin Duvarney for Jamal Agnew is it's what I It's kind of a wash, but Duvarney yeah. has been – he's been the all-pro at that position. So I don't, I don't think that's a downgrade. And Gabe just... Davis is not quite Calvin Ridley. He has potential. He's young, but he's only a forty-five catch guy. He's his very, best year. He, he's he, <clears throat> but it, he averages a lot per catch. It's seven, sixteen point seven. He's got twenty-seven touchdowns in four years. So he's got numbers that way. He's a big play guy. He had a playoff game against the Chiefs with two hundred yards and four touchdowns in he the did. game. He did. So he's also come that's, through at that's, that stage. That's one game in four years. Well, he's had other games not yeah. like that. No, he's had no, other games, but, but he is definitely feast or famine. You're right, true. Right. Anybody who's owned Gabe Davis on his fantasy yeah, team knows that. Yeah, they know. That. Right, they know. It's it's a, he's a. But so, but young and, and, yeah. and with a new – there could be a Zay Jones vibe there. Zay Jones came in. No I one think, expected him to have the 2022 that he did. Did you? Did you no, expect Zay Jones no, to catch 80, 80 balls? No. And what I'll say – I'll say this. Uh, 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 it gives the Jags flexibility now with the draft. Okay? Like, they could take a wide receiver. The kid, they could take Brian Thomas from LSU. They could take a corner. They don't – Right now, before we would have said they got to take a corner. Yeah. Now it's like, all right, and and look, they still got to take these guys up high. They got to add to it. And I'm assuming Ridley's gone, which is not a a total assumption. The wide receiver market was not that much in play yesterday. All those wide receivers did not find homes, at least when I went to sleep at midnight, they hadn't found homes. I don't know. The guys who were out there, Hollywoods and Moody's and Ridley's. Curtis Samuels. Yeah, I'm surprised that none of now that I think that's because it's such a deep draft. And they're all saying, we'll get a a guy, we'll get a receiver in the draft. I don't know. I mean, if. If Ridley's back, then Jones leaves. There, there's no way they're keeping those four. Paying, I, would, I wouldn't that. think. Yeah, I, no, I, I think you drafted a guy. That's impossible to keep all four of those guys and Ingram. Yeah, but they have – yeah, you can't – and they have redone – And DeVernay can play – DeVernay yeah. is, is like a carbon copy of Agnew, really. Yeah. He's he, a gadget receiver. He's a gadget yeah. receiver. He can run some reverse. He can do some things. Yeah. Uh, you know, again, not you, you have to be a Ravens fan and watch every game to really know his impact. Yeah, much like anyone Two around the league. Two kick returns in his career for touchdowns. So. so that's not as good as Agnew. Speedster. Agnew's been better. No, than no, no. Agnew's better. But yeah. Uh, so anyway, it, it, you know, making moves, cap resilient, whatever it is. But and trying to get, you know, I, th- I, I think they, I think receivers back and play high, and I, and I think that'll be interesting again. And that's if Ridley leaves, which as of this point, him not leaving might be. Good news. For I, sure. I think I think if Ridley is going to go, I think Davis is the type of replacement you want. Ridley was supposed to be the deep threat. It never really played out that way. He no. was a good receiver and he ran routes, but he wasn't like that, oh, put yeah, him outside and just, just you know, he, you, we saw yeah. how many post patterns we see to Ridley all yeah. year. The other, three? The other good thing about Gabe Davis, he's a big target. He catches the ball in the end zone. He's got 27, in, like I said, in four years. So, uh, and, you know, some will say, well, in, in all these conversations will come up. These points will be made. And they're fair. Well, he played with Josh Allen, and, you know, I mean, which is true. I mean, you yeah. know, you're playing with Josh Allen. That's as good as it gets. So, uh, it will be interesting to see. They didn't break the bank with him. Uh, you know, thirty uh, was it thirty nine for three years, up to fifty mil. I think he can make. So uh, it's just it's it's fascinating. I don't get the running backs. Like I heard you say, it was a good day for the running backs, and it was. I just don't get 
Why they make so little? No, I don't get why I'll take you yeah. and I'll let you go. Because yeah. you, you I'm letting go is as good as you that's yeah. coming. They're all the same yeah. to me. And they, and it's not like they do it to pay less. Right. Like they'll pay more. Right. Like, like you know, did the Titans upgrade with Pollard over Derrick Henry? I'll take Derrick Henry all day. Yeah, me too. I mean, Derrick Henry's a, a Canton guy. Pollard's a got a chance to be the guy in Dallas and didn't well, do and much. And I'll, I'll say this, too. The name Saquon Barkley is a big upgrade. But the Saqu- what Saquon Barkley's Jack actually been Swift in his career. Swift was great last yeah, year. Yeah, well, yeah. at times, yeah. for sure. Those guys are all real similar. They're interchangeable. Uh, well, uh, listen. The, Josh Jacobs, Aaron Jones. I'll Aaron take Jones, Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones was terrific. I'll take Josh Jacobs. But yeah. Aaron Jones was terrific, especially down the stretch. Now it looks like he'll go to Dallas. Is that where he's headed? I think so, where he replaces Pollard. That's what I mean. They're all just here, here, here. It's like a shell game. Ek, it's like, ek, ek, well, yours, your, yeah, Eckler. I mean, Eckler goes to the Commanders. But we'll get Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards the Chargers, goes to the Chargers. Which I think Harbaugh likes the bigger pounding back yeah. versus the little guy. So, that's probably more of a preference, but to me, they're, they're just, they're, yeah, it's just like shell game. It's like here, you take him, you take him. It's also a lateral thing. So, uh, just an odd day, um, like the Vikings. Uh, you know, I, I was driving or, or hearing yesterday. I really like what the Vikings have done. How can you? You just lost your franchise quarterback, yeah. and you replaced him with Sam Darnold for now. Yeah, they're gonna. Yeah, I don't know. What, and if I'm Jacoby Justin Brissett, Fields coming to play. If here? I'm Jacoby Brissett, I'm firing my agent. I got one year, eight million, and Chu got fifteen guaranteed. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Some more players. Uh, and 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 where's Justin Fields gonna go? Yeah, because uh, you know you would you would think that the Bears wouldn't want to trade him to the Vikings. You would think. You would think, yeah. right? Yeah. And the Bears can't just flat out release him. No. I don't know. Could the Bears? Is it possible that the Bears? No, just they're not. They're all the, they can't. No, I'm saying possible that they just go with him oh, and, no, not, no, tra- no, and no. trade that pick. No, that, that yeah, it's just sale. not happening. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's just it, it's uh, again with the quarterbacks. Yeah, the the market for Fields is is narrowed. And and then one other thing, uh, shout out to the game's greatest businessman, Kirk Cousins. He's not the game's, game's greatest quarterback, but what's he this, up to now? Career? Well, I think I read. And I think I read when this deal is done, he will only be three million dollars behind Tom Brady in all time earnings, and. In case you're scoring at home, it's Brady 10-7, Cousins 0-0 in terms of Super Bowls yeah. and champions. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, I yeah. mean, but this guy, I mean, good for him. And, by the way, if you're the Falcons, you're excited. I don't get the whole, like, there's some criticism, like, well, he's coming off of the kill. Kirk Cousins is nah, a really find. good football yeah, player. He no. might be a great fit And he's a, he's a local, so to speak. His wife's from there. They live there. They have an all-season home in Atlanta. This ah, is a perfect fit. That's a good move it's for a the perfect, Falcons. It's a great move because it's, it it's a division that can be taken. Because it's the Falcons. Well, we'll see. <laughs> They've shed down a little bit. Some of yeah. these have worked, yeah. you know. And and but they, have, you know, I say that if the Falcons haven't been in the playoffs <laughs> in six years. That's a long stretch in that division because those guys, you, you, in your mind, yeah, it doesn't feel like it's it doesn't feel like no. it's been six years for no. Atlanta. So we'll we'll talk about all that all the comings and goings in free agency. Uh, uh, we had a kicker, and then we didn't. He went Tyson Allo Allo on us and said yes, and then changed his mind. Yeah, that was weird. I, I, I could care less. Uh, Brandon McManus left. I knew he wasn't coming back. I know he's he had some, I won't say what, but uh, uh, verified off the field junk that would never you would never want to keep him on your football team. So he gone. Uh, and I think he went. Did he go to Washington? He signed with somebody. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so everybody moving around here and there, and uh, uh, NFL free agency is. I, again, I, I think I, you know I'm, I'm kind of softening. I, I said when I came in, it was just kind of just kind of a lot, like you said. I used different term. I didn't use yeah. lateral. It just yeah. just kind of shuffled some money around, yeah. and you know, I, I you want to say unimproved, you, but that, but you can't because you did go upgrade what we all identified, in, including the Jags, including yeah. anybody who grades players. Yeah. Not to be especially harsh, but the, the position that most needed it was center, and they did do yes. that with a with a a somewhat proven commodity. And I guess now if Ridley does leave, and again, uh, who knows if he will, but the, the second, third round pick, I mean, you're going to have, you got an extra third round. So you got picks up top. I had, you're going to have, th- at worst. How about this? In get, would you rather have Davis and a second rounder? Yeah. Or Ridley and a third? I mean, that. Yeah. So it, 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 that's not a small difference. No, it's not. That second round pick and that third, that's another 30, what, more, yeah, 30 players. Oh, yeah. You know? Got to pick the right guy. Well, I mean, who trusts that? No one. No one. I, I said it before. We need a lucky draft. We yeah. need it where they, yeah. you know, they're just high between three guys, and a lot of teams need this, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. We need to get lucky and pick the right guy. Yeah. But I, I uh, first time I really thought, you know, maybe they maybe they could go receiver. And then, and then if you had, you know, Brian Thomas, Gabe Davis, 
uh, uh, Kirk, Kirk Jones, and you still got Ingram, who's a fantastic. Yeah. Or what about this? If you want to open up every possibility, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to circle back to, and I think the stock is probably lower now. But man, I, it's hard for me to give up the eye test of these three years. But what if Bowers falls there? No way. Um, yeah, he didn't have wasn't great combine, was it? I know, not a lot of buzz about him coming out of there. Not a ton. Yeah, not a ton. I Guy was a know. playmaker, man. I he mean, was. what if that's Gronk or Kelsey? You know what I'm saying? I know they've got Ingram, but Ingram plays like a receiver. Who cares what position you call yeah, him? Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I don't. Or just, there's just too many. There's too big a need at other places. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I'm not against it. I just I, know I this. I, it. Here's what happened. And again, I know that college to pro isn't just the definite, yeah. but I think there was a kind of a consensus on this. I spent two and a half years of watching the a great the, player, the Gronk of college football. Yeah, I mean, I, can I beat. Re- by the way, doing it against. Yeah, Bama teams that are about to send the whole defense to the league. I can remember one fall, this past fall maybe, or the fall before, sitting there and 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 saying, he's the best player in college football. Yeah, right. So I, I, don't, I don't know, I, but it, but the moves today maybe allow that. Yeah, maybe. Sure. There's you have flexibility. Now. That would be you a, definitely have that. That'd probably be somewhat polarizing. But I tell you what, man, the league. It's, at the end of the day, bro, it's about getting dynamite impact players. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't matter if you double up on position or anything else. If you get a, a – rather than just a guy. Look, the, the Jags needed a DN. They took Chase on. Justin freaking Jefferson went two picks later. Yeah. Come on, man. Uh, uh, in, like, Carolina, you got two guards. It makes me nervous for them. I know they had to do it, but they spent a ton of money on guys that, you know – I. And again, you know, this guy Hunt from Miami, great numbers and stuff. He's still Hunt from Miami. He's a I guard. saw your guy, the Jet guy. Did he go yeah, to the, Eagles. The, the, the 51 Eagles. million, yeah. 17 a year. Yeah. Should have taken him. Yeah. Should have paid him, man. I, I, well, my guy is just Mr. <laughs> Consistent. Old We're talking Leonard. about Huff, by the way. But and, and my guy, Mr. Consistent, yeah. the Georgia ball, Leonard Floyd, yeah. who last year when he was released by the uh, – I said, like, go get him. Yeah. They didn't. Yeah. Bills yeah. did. Yeah. And now I think it's the Niners, just 10 a year, man. It is, it I is. I mean, come on. Well, it's a beautiful day out here at the uh, stadium course. Clubhouse is, looks lovely, as always. They they get this place. Boy, it's such a nice look here. Uh, you know, you're just going to have such a good time when you come out here. So enjoy the week out here if you're coming out here, whatever day you're coming well, out and here. And let's come back fun. a little bit. It is number 50. Number 50. I, I identified, I don't know if you're on the way in already, and you, so uh, spoil, look at that beautiful view. Holy manoli. Well, I can't, I, I will tell you this, and E, you'll appreciate this. On the way in, I walked in, I knocked out two sawgrass splashes for you. That's my boy. <laughs> so I got a little bit of a kicker going on right now in my That's head. my dog. Yeah, man. A couple Why? sawgrass splashes right here, buddy. Get you right. Lies. Swimming around inside me right lies. now. Get you lies right. and more lies. Oh, E. I'm, I'm checking out that. I'm flying, E. <laughs> I'm I'm checking out that Bubba Burger barn over there. Where they get that thing fired up? Yeah, Nick, huh? I'm with you too, Jeff. We oh. have a Bubba Burger right now. And then we do have a village bar right here. And there it is, the Sawgrass Splash. Oh, the Splash. Oh, e, there's nothing. E, I, I bet E knocked back 30 splashes last year at his time. <laughs> you should have seen how many. I still got I'm those little I'm saying combined, cups. E. I'm not saying in one day. I'm yeah. saying combined. No, I would say no, combined. I ain't going to lie. That, that number is, is close. <laughs> For real, like, I have so many of those aluminum cups, man. I tell you, man, them I'm good cups. You. What are you talking about? Good time, man. Good cups. You need it. What you need to do? You need to call in sick tomorrow. Get somebody on the board and sneak out here. E, 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 out. e what day are we partying out here? What day are we? He e, says he ain't coming, man. He's coming. It's mm-hmm. E. It's, it's oh, yeah. the it's T P C. All letters. Well, well, they big, go together. It's big business to be ran between <laughs> six to ten. So yeah. I'm, I'm gonna make my way out there. As long as y'all out there, I'm gonna pull up. Yes. So yeah, of course we'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll probably do it later towards the end of the week when the Big when, party. It, when the yeah, crowds about Thursday, yeah. Friday ish feels He's right. He's about the party, man. He's not a you know he, he got you know, he was he was kind of excited. He wanted to see Tiger one time. He I was ain't excited lie. about that. That would have been great. But you know what else is gonna be cool is uh, as far as our picks, this so I, obviously I'm gonna pick Scotty, number one. I'm yeah, gonna go you gotta root hard. But, for but him. I get to follow him and watch the yes. the, 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 the play and the progression. So I haven't really gotten to do that. Do you think like when Scotty misses that two foot putt, you're oh, gonna I'm just gonna go crazy. Get at, get on him a little bit when he's walking. Scotty, I like, need you. Heck, like you did, buddy. Like heckle him. Scotty, have you ever heard of the wheel? <laughs> Scotty, you ever heard of the you wheel? The, wheel? <laughs> the wheel's at stake here. Perform. I want to, you know, I want to, I want to run in the break over to the media center and get some coffee. But the dew is still on the ground, and I got these shoes on. And as I run through, they get wet and they soak through. And then my feet. Oh, the cold. socks. Oh, yeah. that's the worst. I feel like a, I feel like I'm a fan at the Chiefs 
Dolphins playoff game, and I could be facing <laughs> amputation. Oh, uh, let's come back with a 10-minute drill. Our coverage, live coverage from TPC has uh, begun. Uh, TPC Sawgrass, home of the stadium course, 50th year of the players, and, and they'll get the tee-offs going on Thursday. Now, Downtime with Dan, brought to you by Ameris Bank. Voted a top place to work in Jacksonville. Whether you need help with business, personal, or mortgage banking, we're with you. Ameris Bank is an equal housing lender. Member FDIC. Oh, man, last night I got to watch my Broadway blue shirts on the Hockey Network and a nice little tidy 3-1 victory over the Devils, Devils, Devils. I enjoyed that a great deal. I watched our, I watched the boys kill a five-minute penalty. You kill a five-minute penalty, and you don't let and the other team gets off one shot. Man, life is good. Uh, but it's a big week for the Blue Shirts as we now are making our way towards the end of the hockey season. We got about 15 to 17 games left. Uh, we got about four or five this week. We got a busy week. We're in Carolina tonight, and don't look now at those. Dastardly Hurricanes are only four points behind the Rangers. So, a uh, big one coming up tonight. Lots of stuff going on in the NHL. I'm telling you, man, the playoffs, unlike anything else, if you haven't watched them, give them a shot and enjoy. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. You love free, and at Ameris Bank, so do we. That's why we're proud to offer worry-free, hassle-free Ameris Bank free checking. Manage your money your way with convenient access to digital, mobile, and telephone banking, all with no monthly service fee or minimum balance requirements. At Ameris Bank, we're with you. For more information or to open an account, visit our local bankers in person or online at amerisbank.com slash free checking. Other fees such as overdraft fees may apply. Ameris Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hey, it's Matt Hayes. I had another aha moment last week when walking through the grocery store. I stood in the aisle and laughed out loud while looking at what I used to buy. And that's an overlooked but critical benefit of Awaken 180 weight loss. It changes the way you look at food. You embrace the good and avoid the bad. Because both your mind and body are reshaped using the program Mike Dempsey and I have had so much success with. I lost 40 pounds with Awaken 180 weight loss. And it begins and ends with a program that encourages you to eat. That's right. Eat. Six times a day. Awaken 180 Weight Loss also gives you a personal coach who helps you through the process and has answers to every possible question because they've succeeded with the program too. They make sure you stay the course and reach your weight loss goals and, here's the key, keep it off for life. Get your initial consultation on the calendar this month and get ready to change your life with a proven plan that more than 20,000 have successfully used. It's fast, it's easy, and it's free support for life. Reserve online at awaken180weightloss.com. Hey, it's one of life's most important decisions. If you're 18 years or older, you just got married, you just got divorced, you have children, you want to take care of your family. Of course you do. That's why I'm here to tell you about Matt Hinson and the Hinson Law Firm. Look, I'm not the attorney. Matty is. But have you done your last will? You're going, oh, heck, come on, man. No, think about it. You got to get it done. Take care of it. Get it out of the way. What you do is it allows you to decide where your assets are going to go to the people that you choose. Also helps minimize income, gift, and estate taxes as well. Matt Hintz is your guy. He'll listen. He'll help you with some tough decisions. He'll provide you the info needed so you are at ease with your choice. It's a Hinson Law Firm. You have questions, reach out to Matty. He's got the answers. 527-1700, 904-527-1700, offices Jacksonville, Florida. And don't let the state decide your fate. Hi, this is Dale Murray with Murray Automotive Group in Stark and Kingsland. Save yourself from those big city dealers and their fast-talking flim-flam tactics. No matter what your automotive need is, we've got you covered. Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and nobody beats our prices. And I mean nobody. Shazam! Plus our exclusive 15-year, 150,000-mile warranty included on every qualified vehicle. And we'll trade anything from AirPods to fishing rods. Compare our prices online at ShazamAuto.com. Then come see me, Dale Murray. I'll be waiting for you. Shazam! Every team has an enforcer. Whether you like it or not, I'm a hard hitter and I'm a straight shooter. Tommy Mack is ours. I say it like I see it. Fridays on Jaguars Today, brought to you by Renewal by Anderson Windows and Doors on 1010XL. It's March basketball. That means a host of top teams will be competing for the NCAA title. When it comes to commercial painters, there's also some healthy competition out there. Jason Parker with Performance Painting. To help you know the right questions to ask any painter competing for your business this year, visit performancepaintingjacks.com. Or if you're ready for a friendly quote, give us a call and ask about our free pressure wash promotion for your next project. Performance painting, quality coatings, a 
applied with pride. Performance painting. Hey, it's Hicken with 1010XL. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is currently hiring for police, corrections, 911 dispatchers, and various civilian jobs. And for a limited time, JSO offering a hiring incentive up to $10,000 for police and corrections applicants. Details available at joinjso.com. Start your journey as a law enforcement professional, helping us drive down crime and foster positive relationships with citizens. If you're ready to be part of the solution, apply now. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is an equal opportunity, equal access employer. Hey, it's Matt Hayes. Resolve all your home's plumbing problems today. Fenwick Home Services pros are ready to solve any plumbing emergency that you didn't see coming. From burst pipes to water heater disasters, Fenwick's licensed experts have you covered with same-day, 24-7 solutions. And to help you save on future emergencies, we're offering $50 off any repair. That's right, $50. Schedule your visit online today at FenwickHomeservices.com forward slash radio. You've probably heard the saying, it's not how hard you get hit, it's whether or not you get back up. Well, I'm attorney Brett Hastings, and I have a saying of my own. If you get hit with a personal injury or wrongful death, Hit back and fight to make them pay. At Hastings Injury Law, we have the experience you want if you or a loved one suffer a car or trucking accident or wrongful death. Just call 904 Hit Back and we'll help you get up and hit back. Office is Jacksonville. Hey, stop paying for exterior paint that doesn't protect your home or your business. Get your free estimate today at rhinoshieldjacks.com. Why? Because Rhino Shield's beautiful, durable coatings never chip crack or peel they back that up with a 25 year warranty no mold no mildew no algae and most importantly prevents water intrusion from all these crazy weather that we get like this week right listen the bottom line is this it saves you thousands compared to the cost of repainting with low zero percent financing and low pricing it's never been easier to paint your home with Rhino Shield. Take it here for my friends at Rhino Shield. Book that free estimate today. RhinoShieldJAX.com. That's RhinoShieldJax.com. Attention, men and women. If you would like to get your hair back, then you need to listen to some of our clients. John in Orange Park. IHRS showed me what was causing my hair loss and helped stop it. Call IHRS now at 904-777-IHRS. Find out how to grow your hair back with a free hair and scalp examination. Mike from Bay Meadows. I finally found the most experienced company who could restore my hair. Now I have hair where I had none before. Results guaranteed. Diane from Ponte Vedra. Now I have what lotions couldn't give me. Thick, beautiful hair. Find out why you're losing your hair and how to grow your hair back. Call 904-777-IHRS for a limited time free hair and scalp examination. Now my hair will grow for the rest of my life. Thanks, IHRS. Thank you, IHRS. Thanks, IHRS, for giving me my hair back. Hurry, this free examination, normally $199, is yours for free and good only through Sunday. For your free examination, call IHRS at 904-777-IHRS. That's 904-777-4477. Call now. Are you tired of living with constant pain from torn ligaments or nagging tendinitis and bothersome joint pain? Say goodbye to endless medications and invasive surgeries. Go Biotarget Regenerative Treatment is available only at injury care centers. Their innovative approach helps you recover faster and get back to doing what you love without drugs or surgery. Don't just treat the symptoms, target the root cause with Biotarget. Visit GoBiotarget.com to learn more and schedule your appointment today. 1010XL is presented by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Now, the 10-minute drill. This is a big one. On 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, okay, Sports Concepts and Rationalizations coming your way. We call it the 10-minute drill. At the end of the drill, we like to hand out what E says is razzle-dazzle. E, what are we dazzling them with today? Uh, we got a pair of tickets for Rain, a musical oh. mystery tour, what? a Beatles tribute at the Thrasher Horn Center that's happening on April 30th. All you got to do is holler at me at the end of the 10-minute the drill. End. Yeah. Okay. Uh, our Dream Fighters Homes poll question of the day, favorite free agent pickup by the Jaguars. I gave you four more. Starby, Savage, Davis. Uh, over a thousand votes are in. Thank you to Dreamfinders. Uh oh, I lost my sc- my my windscreen fell. Off. What are you doing? The windscreen fell off the it's microphone. Right by, it's on right under your chair. Okay. 
anyway, those are your choices, and no surprise that overwhelmingly, stand by. Uh, overwhelmingly, Morse is the leader with over a thousand votes. He's getting. He's got over 750 votes, 76%. Uh, Gabe Davis is second, 13%. Darby, the corner, 7%. Savage, the safety, 4%. So uh, that is your Dream Fighters Homes poll question today. You can vote on Twitter at Dan Hicken. He will post it as well on social media. It's brought to you by Dream Finders Homes, uh, the official home builder of the Jaguars and the PGA Tour and the Gators there in 20 locations to serve you. But we are out here at the uh, stadium course. Uh, talked a lot of free agency last segment. Continue to talk it throughout the morning, uh, but we're ready for the fiftieth, the fiftieth players, which is pretty cool. So Do you have. I, I was <clears throat> thinking on the way in. I challenged myself, Dan. I said, "What's yes. the most memorable players' championship?" <laughs> I haven't been here for all fifty. Yeah, and it's interesting because you can break down. You know, you can break down your memories by 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 you know trends or specific moments mm-hmm. or you know uh, specific players. Yes, but for me, it just came down to one. What was it? The most impact, the most impactful players are the ones I've been to. And again, my first one was ninety one, so I haven't been here as long as everyone. Actually, I think my first one was ninety two. Been yeah. here, uh, you've been here longer than most. Yeah, so <laughs> longer than most. Um, it, it was it was Duval in ninety nine for so many reasons. Okay, because I just so it was just, you know his dad was winning on the senior tour at the same time. Yeah, I can remember hustling from the from the uh, course and following David. Yeah. To inside of the media center to watch Bob Duvall. I think Bob Duvall may have won in a playoff. I'm not positive on that. Yeah. And and I can and then so then Bob Duvall, his dad went. This never happened and I don't think it's happened since. The only time in PGA Tour oh, history. Sure. His father and son went on the same yeah. day on two tours. And so Bob wins and then there's video then there's the coverage of Bob watching David finish off the players, which is happening just right over my mm-hmm. you know, right outside the back door. And and I think it I think we as time has gone on, we've forgotten I don't think Mickelson ever did, and he could be a victim of having such a long head-to-head career against Tiger, so maybe it dumbs down the, the amounts that he did. But when it came to one person really mm-hmm. battling Tiger to be yeah. number one in the yeah. world, like uh, with legitimate results and 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 similar, you know, respect levels, uh-huh. I think Duvall for that maybe, and it may have only been a year, 18 right. months. right. I think he's the only one that did a, a contemporary, like at the same time. But and again, that's a short time, so that's not some big feather in his cap per se. But point being, he beat Tiger by six in that tournament. Tiger right. finished tenth. David Duvall, while Tiger in 1999. Now Tiger's got how many majors? Three or four already. Well, yeah, he won his first at the 97. Masters in 97. So he probably got a couple or three. Yeah. I don't know the total number that yeah, he has not a there. Ton, yeah. At that point, David Duvall passed Tiger Woods to become number one in the world. With his win here that that year back in 1999, so yeah, that, that's it, the one that stands like the, okay. the, all of that in total to okay. me is the most memorable. Uh, I, you know, it's it's hard to pick one. I have more like like I try to think of like stories, personal things that struck me. Like I remember, I remember uh, Freddie 63 on a Saturday, or or you know, I remember. I think Davis Love had the best Sunday round I've ever seen. He had that. Davis Love hit that shot out of the woods on yeah. the 16th. Yeah, uh, I I remember, uh, <laughs> I rem- yeah I, I remember being out there when Tiger made his putt for better than most, and the place the electric screaming of the of that area, 16, 17, 18 area, where everybody was just, wow. I'll give you an odd memory because um, it's it's a failure. I uh, was on 10 green that time. I was standing right next. I think it was Joe Cowart maybe, but we were standing right somebody. I was standing uh-huh. right there when Mickelson, like, six-putted from eight feet, just yeah. kept knocking it back and yeah. forth. I was standing, I was, like, ten of us out there. I happened to be there for that. I mean, I just, I, you know, shout out to Clowkey. Remember mm-hmm. following him fun. around. That was fun. So it was more like the, I remember, I remember, uh, 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 Justin Leonard winning and getting them on the on the show live, yeah. Uh, uh, just things like that that stick out to me. There's so many. Uh, obviously, um, Tiger's victories will always be a, a, a standout, but uh, Craig Perks's finish was incredible. I'll give you another one. So that, there's so many good ones yeah. to pick from. And then the move to May. Who won the first May? Was it Mickelson? Who won the first one here? Mickelson winning here was, by the way, someone incredible. Sergio. Or- I, I don't remember. I t- another thing that you just remember in all is like just how many of the huge names in the sport have won. 
Oh, and not yeah. just in history, but I mean, if you go back, you name off like that. That upper, I guess Spieth hasn't won here. Yeah. Who else? I would be of I, that level because Mickelson won, and Love won, and Tiger won, and, yeah. and Ricky Fowler won. I say Adam Scott won, yeah. and, and 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 Rory won, and uh, I mean all of the big names. Right. And also, we do, Jason Day. You mentioned, um, you mentioned David, but '88 with McCumber was yeah. Awesome. See, I wasn't here for that. I mean, I, I wasn't was here for so that. excited for yeah. him and. And, you know, Jacksonville, and he's one of our own, and he won here. And Freddie Funk winning here was cool. And Tiger and Hal dueling was great, you yeah. know. Be the right club today, baby. <laughs> I mean, it's just so many. So there's – it's more like moments, I think, that yeah. strike me than the most. There's so many of them. And, and we yeah. weren't here for the – is it still the most famous? What, the, eight? Yeah, Pate diving into the water on 18 good. after yeah. he won and dragging one. the commissioner the in with here. him. Yeah. And you look at that golf it course really and it looks like you're playing Cimarron. It really would have been memorable if, like, a Gator had eaten one of them. Yeah, that wouldn't have been good. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Right, Tragedy today in North Florida. I always said, unfortunately. Uh, listen, I remember <laughs> uh, Sluman v. Lyle in 87 and the dude Hal Valdez diving in the lake as Sluman well, sitting over a putt to win the dadgum yeah. thing in, in a playoff. So... Uh, just so like I said, saddest I remember, and I followed him around, and I had I had become somewhat close to Limites. I did a golf marathon uh-huh, with him, uh-huh. you know, and Lenny had the close call of the Masters, but here at the Players, with oh, a chance yeah. to win his hometown tournament, his mother was oh. it, it was ailing and failing health. Did he hit the bulkhead? He went over the green twice in a row, yeah. dude. He just 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 amped up, just flew the green, and he went from. Like he either had a one shot lead or he's right or tied and he just you know just completely got I watched, blown out uh, of the water. Uh, they do good stuff out here, and I I I'm, I apologize for not giving credit where credit is due. It might have been the tour, it might have been the players. What are the social media golf sites? And if they tell me or call you and tell them, I'll give them credit. But it's always it's always fun. They did a day at seventeen. And just a day when all the slappies were out playing, you know, guys just coming through playing. Oh, and just like the public. Yeah, the public. Okay. And they, it was like a, it was like a hundred and eight groups, and I'll be damned if not every, like, it was like every single group had at least one guy hitting the water. The average amount of balls in the water that day was one point one seven per player. Per player. <laughs> because like you know, something yeah. like, give me another one. Sure. Give of me course. another one because you want to hit. And so, and just some. Awful swings and shots. And, again, you would say, you know, and we've always sit there, well, it's not a difficult shot, but it is. It just is. And it was it was it no is. wind on that day. It wasn't like it was difficult. It was back, though. It was like one – I think it was the 138, you know, 138 yeah, yeah. yards. Um, but, yeah, he's – you know, and they, they talked to one guy, stuck it within two feet and got his birdie, and he was just – they those guys were so amped. And then one lady did the better than most putt, even though she didn't get it on and made it. And she was like from England, and it was very cool. I, they, I, I, you, I could watch those all day long. A couple of things about seventeen, which I would say now, and it was maybe arguable along the way. I think it's the most famous golf hole in the world. Oh, for sure. From any, and there's maybe a few that can rival. But yeah, it's the most famous golf hole in the world, and and it's like this. Like I said this before. If I told you, hey man, I played the home course yesterday, your first question would be, what'd you shoot? If I told you, hey Hick, I played. Uh, you know, I played the Valley course yesterday. You, you, the first question you asked me, well, oh, yeah, how'd you play or what'd you shoot? Uh, everybody who ever asks a golf buddy a question when he tells him you play yesterday, hey, yeah, what'd you shoot? This is the only golf course, the only golf hole in the world where I, if I told you, hey, I played stadium yesterday, the first thing you'd ask me would be, do? what'd you do on 17? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's that specific, it's yeah. that famous, and it's – yeah. And it's going to put it's played a major part in a lot of the tournament drama through the years. But it is amazing that there. This is the fiftieth, and uh, uh, it's it's great, you know. And it's it's we've watched it grow in stature. I can, I think I've told this story on the air before, but uh, one of my buddies who I went to school with is a big golf guy. He used to come here way back in the day, and we were in school in the '80s, so you can go way back when. He probably came in the early '90s, whatever, and then he had a nephew who wanted to get engaged out here, and he got uh, Sergio to help him. And, Sergio Garcia. Yes, and so they did this whole elaborate thing with Sergio. Saudi-funded. <laughs> no, this is oh, pre. Okay. It was very cool, and uh, but he was out here for it, and he could not get over Oh, how much it changed. How much it yeah. changed and how the, all the stations and the places to hang out. And yeah. he was like, this is uh, – he goes, because he's, he's California-based – so he's been to, 
you know, gone out to Pebble to watch and Riviera to watch and all the different, you know, California courses, Torrey Pines and, and Sandy. You know, so he's seen – but this one, as far as off the course – there, this is the best tournament in the world. It really is. I mean, uh, it's, it, it doesn't. Well, you it's, can't. It's, it's unbelievable. You can't get anything. They can't treat you any, any better if you're a fan. The fan experience here. You don't. And look, I don't know what percentage of people come out here and don't watch a single golf shot, but there's a few. It's a percentage. I, I kind of said it like this. This is kind of reminds me. Of me. It's like it's like this. If this place for a week becomes a town. Yes. It becomes a spread out town. Yeah. And in the middle of the town is a park where people play golf. Yeah. And you walk from point A to point B to see this, yeah. you go to that facility or this one or this party or that drink or this cabana or these friends. And meanwhile, you check out some golf as you walk and mosey along. I think a lot of people. And I like talking to guys. Like, some of my friends like to come Tuesday and Wednesday because it's not as crowded. Yeah. They get to search out guys. They, they're, you know, but if you want, if you want the party, Saturday's your uh, day. By the way, we should, <laughs> the, the concert's tonight, right? That's Tuesday night. Yeah. Correct? It looks like they're setting up for that over there across yeah. the way. They're hanging a big um, asked giant. Me, asked me to open. American. Yeah, they did not. Military a big, appreciation, uh, too, right? Yeah, yes. that's what I mean. The Military Appreciation yeah. Day. And the concert is tonight. Yes. And I see the they have flags for all the different branches, including Coast Guard ET. Of Shout out. out ET. And then above that, a big, they're unfurling a big, huge American flag. So, America. 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 Who are the uh, country acts this year, Dan? It's Cole Swindell. Thank you. I'm just throwing a name. I'm not yeah, positive. I know. It's John Party. <laughs> uh, E.T., who, who's performing at the... About to at find the, out at, real quick. Yeah, 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 find out for us real quick. E.T., by the way, don't let him fool you. He'll sneak in some country music now. Yes, he will. He ain't scared. He'll come out, E.T. will come out here in a cowboy hat and a piece of hay hanging out his mouth. Oh, yes, throw down a couple of them sawgrass splashes like they were whiskey at an old saloon. Oh, Cole Swindell to headline yeah, the it Players is Cole Military Appreciation Concert. <laughs> Bang! From way downtown. <laughs> With John Party. They did not add. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's uh, well, let's come back. Let's hit some of these big moves from the uh, National Football League. Uh, headed towards brunch with the tour. We should The one day we actually need and want Stewie, we should probably get him here early and give him an hour. Yeah, Stewie could right? do some, and we got some By the way, one uh, – we're running out of time. we got so much, man. We oh, should, yeah. We should probably petition for another couple hours. Okay. Some lineup changes around here. <laughs> this is the drill. <laughs> Hey. The drill from the studios at Republic Services. We'll handle it from here. Slow your scroll. Calm down. Sit down. Follow 1010XL on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram by searching 1010XL. Here's Linda Beaver. Did you hear what's happening? Beaver Toyota and Beaver Chevrolet are spring cleaning. New inventory on the ground means we need to make more room. Take advantage of huge savings on thousands of vehicles priced to sell. New and pre-owned prices have been reduced and all sales associates have been instructed to give maximum value on all trades. But you better hurry, the best deals go first. Head to Beaver Toyota in St. Augustine Beaver Chevrolet in Jacksonville to take advantage of our spring cleaning sale. We're here to wow you. Hey, when it comes to insurance, folks like me think like this. You know, we pay monthly premiums, right? Sometimes we sit there and we kind of add it up in our heads and we go, ooh. And so, if something happens, we need you. You need to be there. That's what the Kaproskis do, right? Uh, Craig and Chris from Goosehead Insurance take care of our insurance needs. And when I say take care, I mean it. You call the Kaproskis, they answer the phone. If, by some chance, they can't answer the phone, they call you right back. That's called customer service. And in this day and age where everything costs so much money, it's something that we and the Kaproskis do not take lightly. So, if you need homeowners, auto, flood, boat, uh, small business insurance. Listen, the Kaproskis are there for you at your time of need. How do I know this? Because I've seen them work. They've been there for me time and time again. They've been there for my daughter. They've been there for my son. Uh, get an insurance checkup today. Easy to get a hold of. Craig.Kaproski at Goosehead.com. Craig.Kaproski, K-O-P-R-O-S-K-I at Goosehead.com. Call 478-8422. That's 478-8422. You know what happens when a smart group of medical professionals get together and commit to a technology designed to relieve your aching joints without surgery? It's called QC Kinetics. And this guy knows the power of a solid team. Emmett Smith, football legend and dancing with the stars champ. This elite medical group, some of them orthopedic doctors, got together and said, why are we prescribing so many medications? Why are we sending so many people to surgery in droves? Let's change this. 
The answer, natural biologics, our own healing properties, and the outcome is the country's largest provider of non-surgical regenerative treatments, QC Kinetics. Actually, the real outcome are the tens of thousands of patients who finally got their quality of life back without surgery. Thanks to QC Kinetics. Call QC Kinetics, 904-274-5522. That's 904-274-5522. 904-274-5522. Denny Thompson here. Tackle burglars and protect your turf. Give yourself peace of mind catching everything around your home with Tyson Sound and Security's cutting-edge surveillance cameras. For safety and convenience, Tyson has you covered for all home cameras and security systems. I'm talking HD recording, night vision, and remote alerts all from your phone or computer. Call Tyson Sound and Security right now at 904-762-1000. Tyson Sound and Security, security and automation experts. Get ready for the Players' Championship, March 12th through 17th at TPC Sawgrass. Don't miss your chance to watch the PGA Tour's best compete to etch their name in history while enjoying a vibrant social scene. From local bites to the latest merchandise available in the PGA Tour fan shop, The Players offers the ultimate experience for everyone to enjoy. Secure your spot today. Tickets are on sale now at theplayers.com. Comedian Whitney Cummings is coming to Florida Theater Saturday, November 16th. If you like to laugh, for a chance to win tickets, text keyword Whitney to the text line covered by Lifetime Flooring at 641-1010 now. Dave Binion here with my son Ammon, who is the air duct cleaning manager at Zero Res. So Ammon, you may notice a little rattle in my voice and some puffiness in my eyes. That's because allergy season is coming on. Can Zero Res help? Yes, your health has a lot to do with the air you breathe. A clean and healthy home begins with clean air. At Zero Res, we can help clean the air in your home by cleaning your air ducts, cleaning the coils in your HVAC units, and fogging the system with a powerful antimicrobial that helps kill and control the growth of microorganisms in your air. We also have options for maintaining your clean air with our excellent inline air purifier and UV lights that will help keep your system clean and healthy. At Zero Res, we are more than just air duct cleaners. We're a clean air specialist. Have Zero Res air duct specialists out and right now we'll give you $50 off your air duct cleaning and while we're at it we'll give you $50 off your dryer vent cleaning. Zero res. Spelled forward or backwards. It's it's the right right way to clean. C-E-R-O-R-E-C Zero res. If you're an experienced skilled plumber or welder that's MedGas certified and you're tired of working for a company that just doesn't treat you right, Local 234 is the place for you. Their pay is the best in the business. You'll walk away with $35.09 an hour in your pocket. With benefits, that's just over $50 an hour. Local 234 has been around since 1901, and that means something. Visit UA234.com to send your resume. Local 234, make the right connection. Did you know Prime Roofing manufactures, fabricates, and installs their metal roofs? If you're thinking about a metal roof, think Prime Roofing. Schedule an estimate today at primeroofingfl.com. That's primeroofingfl.com. Hey, it's Tony from Tony D's Pizza. If you love our pizza and pasta dishes, let us cater an event for you. Family function or office parties, we can deliver you an amazing Italian meal. Remember, it's not just pizza at Tony D's. Bay Meadows in 2 95 If you never saw Zeppelin live, now you can know what it's like. And if you did, relive the magic of Led Zeppelin Live. Get the Let Out is back at Florida Theater, March 15th. Get the Let Out. Find out what it felt like to see Zeppelin live. Get tickets now at floridatheater.com. 1010XL is presented by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Is this us? We're back? Yeah! Crank it up. Welcome back to the program. Hanging out here at the uh, lovely stadium course as the sun has risen but it still remains very chilly uh very nice and uh you know it's what listen if we have weather like this all week uh well they owe us after a couple years ago oh man that was, we 
he had that one year. Oh gosh, was that twenty one after the COVID year where it was just just yeah, just a yeah. train wreck weather wise, uh-huh. the, oh, the rain and all that. I think oh, it was man. the COVID year. Walking through the mud and the muck, it was crazy. Anyway, good to be out here though. Fiftieth players uh, were at the stadium course, TPC Sawgrass the Clubhouse. There, Pross mentioned they're setting up for the concert today. It's going to be a beautiful day. I see golfers already out on the practice range getting in their swings. A lot to work on, man. they got to play. This is a big week. $25 million he at stake. Four and a half Elevated. million to the winner. Designated. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, with the first pick, he selects Scotty Scheffler. All right, football, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff going on. Jags make a bunch of moves, more than I think most of us expected, I would say, right? I mean, I didn't think they were going to acquire five players nope. yesterday. Uh, uh, and including Mitch Morris, I think that's the I think that's the big one. But they shifted to Gabe Davis. Look, Trevor Trevor gave us an inkling, right, on Instagram when he, he followed uh, Mitch Morris and Gabe Davis before noticed, they signed him. Like, who even notices that? Like, so, oh, goodness, well, Trevor followed this person. Yeah. Like, how well, do you they, know that? Well, they did, and – it got out, and we talked about it before the signings, and and so I'm going to I'm going to infer a little bit here that I think that's a good thing because I think Trevor's in the loop. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I, for sure. I, I like that, and so I think they say, "Hey, Tre-. so I'm pretty sure Trevor probably knew they were trading for Mac Jones too." You know, uh, in the he, loop, if, as in letting him know, or as I in think letting getting, him know. Okay. I don't think asking him advice, but I think maybe listen. We're not sure about Ridley, so but we've got our eye on Gabe Davis. In fact, we're going to sign Gabe Davis. Don't tell anyone though, because we've illegally tampered. Yes, so don't go following <laughs> them on social. So media. don't follow <laughs> them on social media. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops is correct. So, uh, for the record, Jeff has made his way to the uh, media center to get breakfast and has is, is missing in action. Uh, he's oh, that, not bre- back that breakfast be hitting in there, too. Ooh. Yeah, so yes. he – and he was going to bring it back. But, again, we're a little bit farther this year. And so, again, he has miscalculated his timing. Oh, he, uh, he makes it mingling in there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. I wish there was a camera. Can we get uh, a camera? Richie, do we have Richie, a camera in the media it, center? Right? I'd like to catch Jeff right now sinking his <laughs> sinking his teeth into that omelet <laughs> while we're out here grinding. Look at him. Look at him coming up. He's coming back here. He's not running. He's not running. He's just making his way back. He's happy. He's got a couple biscuits with him. He's <laughs> But anyway, getting back, getting back to uh to uh what we had happen with <laughs> We see you. Here you got him. There he is. Yeah. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Richie has flipped the uh, camera so you can see our man. You miscalculated your 6-minute walk there, friend. Uh maybe had a pit stop or something. Who did you talk to? Who did you talk to? No one straight in and straight out. Oh, he says he's not mingling, he. He said he for sure was mingling. No, I, where are we at here? Yeah. Yeah. You got to turn yourself back on. Yeah. He'll be back on. He's fine. Um, I enjoyed go. having these nice warm uh, things Biscuits. to hold on the way back. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, no, I had, and I also had to use a restroom, uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. T- uh-huh. TMI. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. But no, that is, uh, that's what, that's a, yeah, that's a 10 minute or there and back with no stopping. So, yeah, that's out from now on. We're going to have to bring cash tomorrow and go to Bubba Burger. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jeff, and I know you can appreciate this too. Shout out yeah. to that cafeteria staff that's in there because that food oh, yeah. be on point, man. Do you want this? You probably don't, do you? No, I'm good. I brought this for you, Richard. Thank you. I did. I brought it. For, I brought two because I knew I didn't want to bring. First of all, you don't like being that guy who goes in and runs off with three sandwiches. Well, you know all, what I mean? You look, <laughs> like, <laughs> you look like some true, sort of chief media true. vagabond. You yeah. just want to go in and get free food. Well, well, in fairness, yeah. though, it's not packed in there right now. So That's true. You can yeah. kind of slide. Maybe, so, but maybe I had to. Go. Get, I had to get checked in. We have this this year. This is nice. So I had it every day. Oh, yeah. They just put oh, it yeah. around there. And oh, you're good yeah. to go. And oh, yeah. um, so yeah, no, there was no dallying. I did have, to, like I said, I did have to go to the restroom. So boom, boom. But no, that's it. That's out of the uh, picture from now on. The other place you could get in and out, Richie. You, you feel me? Yeah. What have you been doing while I've been gone? <laughs> well, we had a good conversation. Okay. Uh, we were talking. Actually, we kind of shifted back to football. Yeah, a little sure. Bit, and we, we were should talking about what the Jags did. And and uh, listen, I mean, it's it's again. I think what this does is it does give us many more options in terms of what we're going to do in the draft, and I think we needed that. I didn't want to be pigeonholed. Last year we were kind of pigeonholed into taking an offensive lineman. I don't like to be pigeonholed. I don't know how much we improved. Um, and, again, I think they need to be right more of – I think they, the front office, 
coaching staff, scouts, whomever, need to be right about the fact that they have a really good nucleus. Uh, because and, and 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 what you've said all along too, they need, they need to hit on the draft, which yeah, they're 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 due to hit on the draft because they haven't hit on the draft, and so they need to get some get some football players in here. But you see what the Bengals did to Joe Mixon? They dirty dogged him a little bit. How did how's do that? Well, they they <laughs> they didn't. You know, normally the the prudent or the right thing to do, from what I understand, is they give you a heads up. Hey, man, listen, we're gonna we're gonna release you. You're going to be, you know, you'll be good for free agency. Well, they went and signed a running back. Then they cut him. <laughs> so, the Bengals have. Yeah, but the Bengals are going to get what they pay. They better hope Chase Brown gets back because I got news well, for you. You're counting on Zach they, Moss yeah. to be your guy. Yeah. That's that's fool's gold, yeah. man. Zach Moss will do it for a, a minute, but he, I, I don't know. I didn't understand. I guess I'm, you get up there, boy, and they just they don't trust running you at age 20 because, like, him, Ezekiel Elliott, Derrick Henry. They but don't. Mixon, very productive, man. Oh, Aaron yeah. Jones, very productive. Oh, Derrick yeah. Henry, very productive. Yeah, they don't treat running backs well. And the odd thing is, a guy like that would typically land with a team like, I don't know, the Bengals, who are close to competing and contending. Yeah. Right? You yeah. usually add that piece when you're, you know, like, imagine if the Bengals had had – Chase Brown, or who, who knows if he'll be anything. He's a rookie flash. But if the Bengals had Zach Moss, okay? Mm-hmm. And then free agency started, and they let Zach Moss go, and they signed Joe Mixon from – same career, but Joe Mixon from the Cardinals. Right. If, that'd be more buzz than letting Mixon go and signing Moss, no? Wouldn't that make you better? You would think. got to be some salary there maybe. I, I don't know. I mean, the Jags probably – I will say this. At least they didn't do nothing. Right. Because that can happen, too. You know, some people say they didn't move the needle. Well, sometimes you move the needle the wrong way. If you're an NFL free agent, it's a little different. Like, <laughs> the jokes going around yesterday was so-and-so signed and Blake Snell still hasn't, you know? Yeah. Kind of, um, but Blake you, Snell you, is a pitcher, gang. Who yes, won the side? Sorry. Or Jordan Montgomery, another. Yeah. Yeah. So, but usually in NFL free agency, the big dogs go off the rip, right? The wanted guys. I'm surprised that Daniil Hunter is still out there. I'm surprised that Calvin Ridley is still out there. Uh, I'm surprised, well, Joe Mixon just got out there. Um, but those are the, some of the big names who are left uh, out there as we speak. In fact, uh, the number, Daniil Hunter, edge rusher, 29 years old. Boy, why hasn't why hasn't he been scooped up? I, I don't know. You premium wonder, position. I don't know. Is there a personality issue? I mean, it's been odd his career. And Patrick Queen is another guy who's out there. Darnell Mooney, Tyron Smith would be a nice pickup for a team who wants a sh- you know I would want a short term deal with him. Uh, Josh Reynolds, Chase Young, Justin Simmons. These are the highest rated players who remain unsigned. Uh, going into day two. Now, it's just day two, so some guys will come off the board. Maybe Daniil Hunter is already knowing where he's going to go, but uh, we shall see. So those are some of the guys out there. Who did the 49ers? The 49ers got another guy. Who did they sign yesterday? Yeah, they got this, my guy, Leonard Floyd. Yeah, Floyd. Yeah. Is that who they got? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> just Nine sacks a year, at least nine now for the last four By the years way, for two different teams. If I'm the Niners, I'd rather have Leonard Floyd than Chase Young. Yeah. How well, about that? Yeah, and he will. And, and you will. Yeah. Well, they do. Yeah. yeah. Chase, Young Chase Young's going to be gone. and to go. No interest in him, by the way, anywhere. He must be a disaster. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens going forward. All right. Here's what we'll do. We are at the uh, stadium course. It's 8 o'clock. we got brunch with the tour coming up. we got to make our picks. Oof. Uh, it's Nerve-wracking. crunch time as I've vaulted from worst to first. Uh, I'm so happen. happy. You and Scotty Scheffler. Me and Scotty. Scotty, I owe you, buddy. Uh, shout out to Scotty and his entourage. And, <laughs> and, and, wherever and they may be. Wherever uh, they may be. Bunkered down right now. We appreciate you. Bunkered I don't. Down. The hell with you, Scotty. He's got Scheffler. You've put me almost on the verge of the wheel. And e, a lot of golf left. E, yeah. If somebody gets this week's winner, they're going to pocket 4.5. They're going to go, go in the first. Right in the first. I need Correct. that. I yeah. need that. Yeah. That's true. This week we'll put whoever, if somebody picks the winner, well, unless. It's you a know, big I, week. 
other people can have second and third. You never know. But, yeah, there's a lot of money. Yeah, a lot but of you, money. What you don't want are MC Hammers. Oh, oh gosh. You don't – listen. You dig a big hole. There is pressure oh, here. Oh, because then, <laughs> then you go off and make 1.4 somewhere. There's so oh. much pressure. You might have to go Shoffley Cantley. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right? check cashers. <laughs> you might have to go with the check Ooh. cashers just to make sure ah. that you get you that $2 million. You don't want to drop off, man. I think, you don't want and, and you know what? And I don't trust at all the guy that I'm going to take. Right. I don't either. But I got to take I'm him. I'm going to take. And, and God help. Uh, 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 oof, boy. Uh, uh, it's, 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 it's pressure. It's pressure. You I don't think, know. I think Scheffler's winning. You do? I mean, it's not just he. Yeah. yeah. I think Scheffler's winning. I think he's no going to become ever the first. No one's ever done it. I know they haven't. He's no better. one's he's, ever done it. I, you know, but I will say this. Multiple winners, but no one has ever gone back we, to back. I was watching uh, Golf Channel yesterday. Oh, look at you. Live from the players. Work. And they had a, uh, Johnson Wagner was out on 17. Johnny Wagner. And he said that. that but it's what, Wagner, by the way. Va- That's Franz's cousin. By what he was doing. Mm-hmm. Or Wagner Johnson. Isn't it? What's no, his name? It's Johnson, it's Johnson Wagner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you said Jonathan. That's what messed me up. That I was said a, Johnny. Well, this is where you get old man brain because we had a kid who lived in there. His name was Jonathan Wagner. Anyway, another shout story. out to him. Not every day, sure. Yeah. Why not? The whole fam. Shout out whole fam. Um, it, no, he was on 17, and he said the word is that uh, one tour player told him. He's talking to the players by uh, on practice. It, it, it's the fastest the players' greens has ever been. In fact. The fastest greens he's ever putted on PGA Tour Ooh. were out here in the practice round. That's we're, the practice round. We're rolling 13 on we're the stem. We're talking about practice. 13 on the stem. Way faster than that. Oh, wow. Who knows? No one knows. Stop right. it. Let's go to break and Let's come back for more. It's a Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday live from The Drill. So cold. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. The home of the home team you grew up with. Jimmy Smith was given a chance with an expansion team. And what a quality person as well, a leader of this football team. Jaguars pride forever. 1010XL. They couldn't be any happier than to join the George Moore Chevrolet family. When I say family, yeah, that's how they treat you when you visit that beautiful showroom off Atlantic Boulevard. You'll find out exactly what we're talking about. No pressure, just there to help, right? You're in the market for a car, a truck, an SUV, electric, pre-owned, you name it, George Moore Chevrolet has it. I have joined the Silverado world, Chevy, and uh, couldn't be any happier with my boy Blue. If you can't make it over to Atlantic Boulevard, we can help you. MoreChevy.com, M-O-O-R-E, Chevy.com. Easy to navigate as any site you try, as all the vehicles. We like to say transparent pricing, sales to service to parts never been more easy to use it's george moore chevrolet gang george moore chevrolet together let's try jeff prosser here need that garage floor redone pool deck patio well i did my homework and found out there is only one company offering a lifetime warranty jack's concrete coating how do they do it they're the certified pin tech dealer for North Florida. So they are the only company offering pure polyurea. Trust me, I can speak firsthand to their work and it is awesome. Go to jacksconcretecoatings.com or call 904-862-2000. This is Ellen Darley of Darley's Plumbing. As a family business, our reputation rests on decades of satisfied customers and their referrals. So for any size plumbing job, call Darley's Plumbing for a free estimate today. Darley'sPlumbing.com. Jimerson Burr is a full-service Florida-based commercial law firm that has experience and capabilities to handle any legal issue a business is confronted with. Learn more about what they can do for you at JimersonFirm.com. The flagship station of the Jaguars, WJXL AM Jacksonville Beach, WJXL FM Jacksonville Beach. Looking for affordable tires without sacrificing quality? We'll look no further than Big Chief Tire. Frank Randy here. Whether you're preparing for travel or simply need a fresh set of wheels, they're rolling out fantastic deals on tires for all their valued customers. Visit the website at BigChiefTire.com or call 904-932-0950 today to schedule an appointment at any of their five locations. That's BigChiefTire.com or call 904-932-0950. It's Kubota Orange Days, your golden chance to score a deal that will make your neighbors green with envy. Shop the year's best selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. And get the year's best deals, 
like 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off L3302 tractors. Coastal Equipment on New Kings Road and in McClenny. Coastal Equipment. Get ready for the Players' Championship, March 12th through 17th at TPC Sawgrass. Don't miss your chance to watch the PGA Tour's best compete to etch their name in history while enjoying a vibrant social scene. From local bites to the latest merchandise available in the PGA Tour fan shop, the Players offers the ultimate experience for everyone to enjoy. Secure your spot today. Tickets are on sale now at theplayers.com. If you have experienced problems when it comes to selling your home, maybe it's just because you have not discovered Chad and Sandy and chadandsandy.com. That's Chad, A-N-D, Sandy.com. You can call them at 904-414-6200. But here's the bottom line. Your home will be sold, guaranteed, or they'll buy it. So whatever you think your problem may be, whether you need more space for an office or growing family or you want maximum equity from your home, but you're not sure how, Chad and Sandy deliver with a promise. And at the bottom line, it ends with your home is sold at an agreed upon price and deadline or they will buy it. That is the definition of a guarantee. The proof is out there. Pete in Lakeshore writes, I was in a pickle. I heard Chad and Sandy on the radio and I called because I needed cash out on a rental property fast. I was struggling to rent. Chad and Sandy got a full offer, full asking price within days. Go to chadandsandy.com. That's chadandsandy.com. Or call 904-414-6200 today. Attention men and women. If you would like to get your hair back, then you need to listen to some of our clients. John in Orange Park. IHRS showed me what was causing my hair loss and helped stop it. Call IHRS now at 904-777-IHRS. Find out how to grow your hair back with a free hair and scalp examination. Mike from Bay Meadows. I finally found the most experienced company who could restore my hair. Now I have hair where I had none before. Results guaranteed. Diane from Ponte Vedra. Now I have what lotions couldn't give me. Thick, beautiful hair. Find out why you're losing your hair and how to grow your hair back. Call 904-777-IHRS for a limited time free hair and scalp examination. Now my hair will grow for the rest of my life. Thanks, IHRS. Thank you, IHRS. Thanks, IHRS, for giving me my hair back. Hurry, this free examination, normally $199, is yours for free and good only through Sunday. For your free examination, call IHRS at 904-777-IHRS. That's 904-777-4477. Call now. Here's your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist local sports update. The Jaguars continue to make big moves during this period, having traded for former Patriot QB Mac Jones. The Jaguars have an agreement in place with the Baltimore Ravens quarterback Ronald Darby on a two-year contract worth a maximum of $10 million, according to the Bleacher Report. As a result of a disappointing Vandy loss Saturday, the Orange and Blue were unable to climb back into the Associated Press Poll's top 25. Two weeks ago, Florida was ranked number 24. The Gators are a number six seed in the Southeastern Conference Tournament, giving them a first-round bye. The Bob Hayes Track Meet proudly announces its Hall of Fame class for 2024. The group of outstanding individuals will be honored and inducted at the Bob Hayes Hall of Fame Gala class of 24 Thursday, March 14th at the Potter's House International Ministries in Jacksonville, Florida. At your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist local sports update, I'm Sam Nelson. Tone 10XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396 5555. Jacksonville. Ah, oh, crank it up, baby. We're live at the stadium course. TPC Sawgrass, another edition of the Players 2024 style. Scotty Scheffler, defending champion here, defending champion at Bay Hill. We'll talk lots of golf, lots of football, lots of things going on. By the way, Dalton Connect is the SEC Player of the Year. Zion Pullen was the guy who got first team all SEC from Florida, Walter Clayton Jr. He would have had it, but he dribbled the ball off his foot against Vandy. Yeah. Uh, that cost him Not nine. sure that that was what it was. No, but I don't think so. And then uh, – but, but, hey, uh, either way, uh-huh. no matter how this season plays out and no matter some recent late game failures, uh, uh, tip of the cap to Ty Golden in the transfer portal. Yeah, he did well. I mean, is the Mike Norvell of basketball is what he did. I mean, he brought in oh, – you, you brought in a cat who was first team all SEC. Yeah. SEC, this just in, is good. Mm-hmm. Kentucky has three guards that are going to play in the NBA, and your guy just was first team. 
as I'm pulling is a good player. And then you got Alex Condon, by the way, yeah, tip of the cap to the international yeah. recruiting. This yeah. is a true freshman. This isn't one some, right. you know, and, and by the way, Hauk also looks very good. I like him too. But they're going to have to execute better. they got to play better down the stretch, and, and they're going to need some backcourt help after this year. Well, they'll go uh, late Thursday night against the Georgia-Missouri winner in the SEC uh, tournament that kicks off this weekend. Then Selection Sunday happens this Sunday, and we'll find out where they're going to be seated. I saw Bracketology yesterday. They're still at six. Okay, so that's good. I don't that's know good. if they're going to fall right, or not. Depend, you know, they need to win a couple of games. They're going to get a – here's what they can't afford, a second straight head-scratching loss. i tell you what I – They got Georgia-Missouri next. i tell you what I don't – I'm not a big fan of, like, last night, you know, okay, what am I going to watch? I'm looking for some sports, and I got the conference tournaments, but I got yeah. the horizon in the ace. So no, you can't do it. No disrespect. Yeah. I'm not watching that. I got my Rangers playing, yeah. so I'm locked into the blue shirts. Uh, found them on the uh, hockey network, so I was excited about that. So I was able to watch I, them. It was, the devils, devils, it, devils. It, it was, yeah, the landscape was so barren that I put it on live at the players and fell asleep to that. Yeah. And I watched them. Live at the stuff players is that. good. That, that's that kind of – Set the uh, week for me. I caught up on some stuff and realized some stuff, picked up some facts and figures. I'm now mm-hmm. a golf expert. Oh, okay, so you'll make some good picks coming I, up. i tell you what I did watch. Can I offer up a Shazam Spotlight from something that I saw last night? Absolutely. The Shazam Spotlight brought to you by ShazamAuto.com, the Murray Ford Superstores in Stark and Kingsland. Take that short drive. And, um, look, um, I'm going to name you some pretty big – athletic programs in college sports, and I want you to tell me, were they both a bowl team and an NCAA tournament team this year? Okay. Um, Florida. No. Michigan State. I uh, know. You know, Vir- Virginia Tech. No. Virginia. I'm just saying no. No, no, no bowl <laughs> team. I, I can go down, I can keep going down the list. Uh-huh. James Madison. Yeah, they are. James Madison won their conference tournament last night. By the way, James Madison is like twenty-seven to three. They beat Michigan State thirty-one and three. Thirty-one and three. They beat Michigan State, who was number five at the time earlier this I'm kinda, year. I'm kind of glad you brought that up. And I'm uh, again, I'll, I'll say Gibby's this. team choke. Appy State's as good as them, but they well, I'll say didn't this. make it to the final. I noticed this this year. Okay. Forget the bowl and the tournament. James Madison at one point this year was ranked in the top 25 in college football and college basketball. Yeah. That's pretty good. It's James Madison? Than, James Madison went 11-1. and one. Yeah, in they, football. Yeah. Yeah. They started this year 11-0 uh, and 0 in basketball. Uh-huh. And so, yeah, um, only s- there six D1 schools uh-huh. this year were ranked in both at the same time. Yeah. Arizona, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Texas, and Ole Miss. And, again, some of those have shifted – um, interested to, I'm, I'm interested. I wonder what to their know. ceiling is. Well, that's, Should I'm James in, Madison be ACC material? Well, I'm interested to know what their plan is. Well, because here, because they've obviously made some sort of commitment to sports that has worked well for them. Well, uh, T.J. Bickerstaff is one of their better players. He transferred in from Boston College. So Any he relation? Came, I would assume he's got to be. A, yeah, for Bernie's sure. boy. Or, yeah, one of them. Yeah, like Bernie's grandson. Yeah. Um, What's the other? Isn't there a Bickerstaff coaching now? Or yeah, he coaches the Cavs, right? I don't know. J.D. Bickerstaff. J.D. Is he, isn't he? T.J. Who is the Cavs coach? Isn't he the Cavs coach or no? I don't know. You're the NBA guy. Bickerstaff is definitely a coach in the NBA. Yeah, okay. J.D. Bickerstaff. I think he coaches the Sonics, but I'm not positive. He says this, though. <laughs> <laughs> he, he may have it one time. Um, Houston, maybe? The Rockets? Uh, anyway, it, it's like a pe- – no, it's that's – yeah. Um, <laughs> you got no me distracted. Uh, it's like a Power 5 school, basically. They, the way our gym gets filled up, it's more than some games I played in the ACC. It's the Sleeping Giant. Jeff Bourne uh, showed up as AD 25 years ago, set into motion a series of moves, facility upgrades that are now starting to stir the Giant. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I mean, they beat Virginia in football this year. Yeah. You know, maybe they should go to the ACC when somebody else tries to leave. It, I don't know. Anyway, that's the they don't have. They, yeah, they don't have the star power to do it, though. That I mean, it won't. It's not like okay, well, that's no, the ACC. Yeah, sure, yeah. the ACC survives. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. They uh, they probably are as healthy and athletic just curious, program right now as Virginia Tech. I'd be curious that's my to point. know what they decided to do to make themselves viable, and because I'm talking, we're talking top twenty five in the country in football and basketball. Well, in 2011, $62 million renovation to their football stadium. Okay. Um, 
it, it now holds 27000 but they're on the way now to 40000 In 2020, the school opened a $140 million, 8,500-seat basketball arena, uh-huh. uh, Atlantic Union Bank Center. Okay. Um, they beat Virginia a year later in that atmosphere. My question, um, my question to you. And they jump from FCS to FBS. Well, that yeah, that I know. Yeah. What uh, what city is James Madison I'm in? Pretty sure it's in Williamsburg, isn't it? I, I don't know that for sure. Is it not in Williamsburg, Virginia? It's in Virginia, no? I would say yes. Yeah, I think it's in Williamsburg, but I could Public be wrong. Public Research University in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. A lot of Bergs in Virginia. Ever notice that? Put up your Dukes, baby. Put up. Uh, your you want to sit down over there, uh, Stewie? Oh, well, I don't know. Nah, we're not. You're not on yet. But we're going to go to break here in a couple minutes, yeah. and then you're going to we'll be just on. Just get a little pre-thought All from right. you. you oh, know, Stewie just, Moore's here. I got to get him figured out. Hold on. Jeff and I are huddled together here, trying to stay warm. Stay cold. He won't get us a heater. I mean, um, let me see where it. Hold he on. Is. We got to find the right microphone. I don't even know you. what's what here, bro. Green. Really just turn the green. Talk. talk. Hey. There he is. is that me. Yeah. That's right. Perfect. We're here to talk a little Carolina Panthers. Yeah, you guys spent way too much God, money on wow. the cards. I actually took a <laughs> I took a photo of my son's jerseys, who have all been. We are like yeah, seven that's deep. That's the best. JC Horn, you are on deck, my yeah, man. Yeah. Watch out. We've done. We, uh, my son, who's older than your son, is nineteen now, and so he's been a. We've been going to Jags season tickets since like he was five. Yeah. And I did that. It's 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 incredible the the. Uh, Ngakwe, Ramsey, Campbell, <laughs> yes. Foles, Minshew. He did a double one year with the Foles Minshew. That would tick me off because every year I let him get one. Yeah, sure. You know, but it, it uh, Fournette. I mean, you could go down the line here. Uh, and, and you know what? Somebody had. I was talking to the Oxgator, and he had a good point because his son. He got his son a jersey, and his son wanted. He wanted so and so, and he goes, "Well, I don't know if he's going to be here." So he went throwbacks. That's the way to <clears throat> oh, go. Yeah, get, get the great one who's. Yeah. Oh, Tony Baselli or Fred Taylor, yeah, yeah. Jimmy Smith. That's a great call. Always be Jaguars. Yeah, Mark yeah. Brunel. The, get those guys. Yeah, that's you a good know? point. I love it. As opposed to getting the current guy because you get the current guy and he's gone in a year. Well, the other <laughs> or thing. Or Trevor. He'll probably or be Trevor. around for a long yeah. time. Before we get onto the golf, the other yeah. thing is now the guys wear any number possible, right? So I oh, spend, they switch. I spend 130 on a Brian Burns jersey <laughs> at 53. <laughs> now we're zero, and then we're gone. Yeah. <laughs> what? A, <laughs> you're welcome, yeah. David Tepper. Yeah. <laughs> Good Lord. How about Players Week, though? Yes, yeah, sir. 50. Here. Look at oh. him. He's like excited yeah, he is. Excited. Ah, he's excited because it's Tuesday. Check one Friday. He'll roll up here miserable. Uh, no. <laughs> at least, at least, <laughs> great. At least he can't lose any hair over it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, plenty of weight to lose, though. There you go. That's, See? You wanted to say it. I trained you. You want? I didn't say a thing. <laughs> now you're doing. Well, now you're beating yourself up. Just Pavlov's dog on yeah. 10, 10 XL. Perfect. <laughs> you know I love you. Shut I up. know. You know it's start our week that way. It's the huh? stress. It's right great. Here. Out here in person. We got a new first place in the Brunswick I, Tour. Good Lord. Rolled I saw the that. Train. Yeah. Huh? I, as I texted Tom Alter, uh, <laughs> I, I saw Matt Fitzpatrick at TPC Sawgrass on Sunday. Not a good sign as my Bay Hill pick. That yeah. He was here <laughs> practicing on Sunday. Hey, I heard I, – I don't want your golf opinion on one thing, and then we'll come back. We're going to talk more about any uh, about the event. We're gonna, you're going to be two-and-a-half segment oh, guy today. Oh, two-and-a-half segment guy. Wow. Yeah, you're going to get yeah. this. You're going to get this little preview. Then you're going to get a, a, a chunk segment. I'm then sorry. you get he's, a pick segment. He's getting buzzed by a local reporter. Needs a story idea for today. A oh, I, I, got a, I got a text from Gene Frenette that was an all-time. Oh, oh, no, yeah. he's out of Gino. Oh, I mean, I love Gino. I mean, it's a legend, man. Oh, I love legend, Gino. A legend, Eugene. He's just outed. Oh, he's God. looking for a borderline topped <laughs> Tiger tee shot. Could be 16, 17, <laughs> or 18. Doesn't know the whole <laughs> It was an all-timer. I love the guy, and I'm going to find him an answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I heard – I was watching Golf Channel yesterday, so I could become an expert on this year's event, and – I heard them, uh, they were talking about the greens, and they said that the buzz from some of the players that they were literally the fastest greens they had ever putted on PGA Tour. Here? Have you heard that? I have not heard Here. that. Here. Apparently, they got those they're, they're juiced They're stepping at 13. Yeah, oh, 13. You nailed yeah. it, Hick. 13 is the, uh, the magic number. Yeah. I, I feel like they're 13 every year. I but... don't know. I don't know if it was just something. And then Wagner was putting on this. Uh, Johnson Wagner did the segment. He was putting on 17. And if he was on the slope on those front pins, he, you, it, you cannot – not put it oh. four feet by. Oh, we got some- it has to hit the hole or it will go four feet by the hole. We like the carnage though. I like it. Yeah. No, I, I, there's 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 no complaints here, friend. Yeah. Yeah, these aren't these aren't uh, criticisms in any way, but man, no, I- it's very interesting because I mean, I think we got a lot of rain on Saturday. As most people in the 904 did, but uh 
Well, the interesting thing about that too is it's Monday. They right. typically don't make them slower. Well, that's yeah, I'm saying. I think it's ca- yeah. gradually drying out now. The, the weekend forecast is getting better, but they you know they'll do. They're not going to lose the greens. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 for sure. But, yeah. Well, we'll talk about any and other little subtle differences we can look for this week. Stuart, but, I like to go out before the tournament here with my again. clubs. There you go. Play a couple, three shots yeah. from different places that I know the pros are going to be sure. at. Is that possible for me to do uh, yeah, tomorrow? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we'll I like to, to do a story on that. I like to see which way the <laughs> the grain is going on the green. Dan is going to go out there and pour Gatorade on the green to see where, <laughs> see which direction it uh, flows. So be, be careful. Be careful what Would you love to see allow that. there. All right. Well, then let's let's uh, sneak off. All let's right. uh, come back. Let's tee up brunch with the tour live from the players. Just, uh, are you going to sit or stand? Uh, I gotta see how dry I can get the chair. I think over there, some of those okay. are dry. Why don't okay. you just change chairs? Listen, yeah. we got I got the commissioner press conference coming up. Again. Oh, yeah, that's exciting! Wet, That'll be good. Yeah, wet pants, not a good look. That would be yeah. bad. <laughs> be are awesome. you hosting? Uh, no, Laura Neal is. Hey, oh, oh yeah. heavy hitters! We're calling in the closers. Wow, okay? yeah. wow that is yeah. big. They ain't using you, yeah. the yeah. no By the way, guy. I get no. like one in. By the way, can I say on behalf of the tour, good move. Hi, I'm Stuart Moore. I have uh, Johnson Wagner from the Golf Channel. Any questions for him? <laughs> Please go to break. <laughs> uh, this is a, this is a drill. It's a Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. 1010XL, where we share great moments. Great moments are born from great opportunity. 1010XL. And that's what you have here. Hey, you can hear from my friends at Lockhart Construction. They're a longtime Jacksonville business. Shane's dad started it. Shane runs it. His guys are from here, taking care of people who live here. People like me. Look, if you need... Well, I did a new bathroom. You need some remodeling. Shoot, you want a new house. Give the Lockhart family a call. I say their family gives your family a better living experience. You unlock better living with Lockhart Construction. And when I tell you no job too big or too small, I mean it. No job too big. No job too small. I've got them set to do some work uh, on my son Juju's house coming up. So uh, here's what you do. Give Shane a call. He'll call you back. Run the idea by him. He'll tell you if he can do it or not. 994-3865. Shane Lockhart, Lockhart Construction. 994-3865. Attention men and women. If you would like to get your hair back, then you need to listen to some of our clients. John in Orange Park. IHRS showed me what was causing my hair loss and helped stop it. Call IHRS now at 904-777-IHRS. Find out how to grow your hair back with a free hair and scalp examination. Mike from Bay Meadows. I finally found the most experienced company who could restore my hair. Now I have hair where I had none before. Results guaranteed. Diane from Ponte Vedra. Now I have what lotions couldn't give me. Thick, beautiful hair. Find out why you're losing your hair and how to grow your hair back. Call 904-777-IHRS for a limited time free hair and scalp examination. Now my hair will grow for the rest of my life. Thanks, IHRS. Thank you, IHRS. Thanks, IHRS, for giving me my hair back. Hurry, this free examination, normally $199, is yours for free and good only through Sunday. For your free examination, call IHRS at 904-777-IHRS. That's 904-777-4477. Call now. Here's Linda Beaver. Did you hear what's happening? Beaver Toyota and Beaver Chevrolet are spring cleaning. New inventory on the ground means we need to make more room. Take advantage of huge savings on thousands of vehicles priced to sell. New and pre-owned prices have been reduced and all sales associates have been instructed to give maximum value on all trades. But you better hurry, the best deals go first. Head to Beaver Toyota in St. Augustine. Beaver Chevrolet in Jacksonville to take advantage of our spring cleaning sale. We're here to wow you. You. E to the T here. And if you're still in the market for a sports book to call home, Bet that nonstop action of the madness with MyBookie. MyBookie is your one-stop shop for all your sports betting and casino needs, complete with that Vegas life experience right from that cellular device of yours, my boy. Take your viewing experience to the next level with real-time live betting that lets you stream and bet the games right from the website. Sign up now and take advantage of the generous welcome bonus on your first deposit all the way up to $1,000. Put in two, get back three. Ready to play instantly using promo code 1010XL. And the fun, don't stop there. You'll get up-to-the-minute odds, props, and this week's expert predictions to help you decide where to put that cash at. And the best part about my bookie, you can bet anything, anytime, anywhere. And don't forget that promo code 
Tension XL. Come on, somebody. Staying active no matter what your age is key to living life at its fullest. And Rebound Rehabilitation wants you to know they can get you back up to speed and back in the game pain-free. Rebound Rehabilitation with eight locations across the First Coast, top-of-the-line therapists ready to assist you from neck and back pain, knee or foot pain. They can help. Excellent patient care combined with the highest quality and rehabilitation services. Look for a Rebound Rehab location near you and get back in the game. Log on. ReboundRehab.com. Get ready for the Players' Championship, March 12th through 17th at TPC Sawgrass. Don't miss your chance to watch the PGA Tour's best compete to etch their name in history while enjoying a vibrant social scene. From local bites to the latest merchandise available in the PGA Tour fan shop, the Players offers the ultimate experience for everyone to enjoy. Secure your spot today. Tickets are on sale now at theplayers.com. Track the off-season with Tire Outlet and 1010XL. With the debut appearance of two new players. Free agency coverage on 1010XL is brought to you by Superior Fence and Rail and Roland Reach Plumbing. Is your roof showing signs of wear and tear? Call Universal Roof and Contracting today to schedule your complimentary roof inspection. Right now, get $200 off your roof replacement plus flexible financing. And as a bonus, receive free wind mitigation with a full roof replacement. This offer expires March 31st and restrictions apply. Universal Roof and Contracting, proud partner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. License number CCC057165, CBC125844. Universal Roof. Hey, Hicken here. You know I'm a hometown guy. There's nothing like home in Jacksonville, Florida. What a great place to live. Spring is here and everything is green and blooming. But that means I'll have to cut the lawn soon. It also means that we'll need to do some deep cleaning inside the house. That's where Zero Res comes in. Zero Res can clean your telegraph, the carpets, your area rug, furniture, and more. Right now, they're offering 25% off telegraph cleaning. Zero Res, man, spelling forwards or backwards. The right way to clean. Zero Res. Hey, it's Matt Hayes. Get ahead of the changing season with Fenwick Home Services by scheduling your AC system tune-up now. Their experts will perform a multi-point cleaning and inspection that will breathe new life into your system and help prevent breakdowns. Whether you need routine maintenance, repairs, or are ready for a system upgrade, Fenwick has you covered with 24-7 availability. Book your visit online at FenwickHomeServices.com forward slash 1010XL. FenwickHomeServices.com slash 1010XL. It's March basketball. That means a host of top teams will be competing for the NCAA title. When it comes to commercial painters, there's also some healthy competition out there. Jason Parker with Performance Painting. To help you know the right questions to ask any painter competing for your business this year, visit performancepaintingjacks.com. Or if you're ready for a friendly quote, give us a call and ask about our free pressure wash promotion for your next project. Performance Painting. Quality coatings applied with pride. Performance Calling all fun-loving citizens of Northeast Florida. Freedom Boat Club needs your help. Lisa the Botanista has gone missing. She left a note that said, gone boating. But here's the thing. Freedom Boat Club has four local locations. Julington Creek, Jack's Beach, and two in St. Augustine. And over 400 locations across the world. That's a lot of water to cover. Is she water skiing on the Ozarks, whale watching in the Pacific, or island hopping in Spain? Or hiding right here at the Black Creek Rope Swing? Or docking at the Conk House? Wait, has anyone checked Fort George Island? Too much to do on the water. So Freedom Boat Club is offering our best discount of all time so you can help search. You simply make your reservation, show up, and have fun. I gotta go. I'm hopping on a boat to the fish camp for live music and lunch. Maybe I'll find the boat in Easter there. Or better yet, maybe you'll join us with the best discount ever and enjoy boating made simple. Don't blame us when you start playing hooky too. Visit freedomboatclub.com. 1010XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Now, Brunch with the Tour, brought to you by Clearwater Irrigation and Drainage too. and Art of Natural Stone on 1010XL. All right, uh, it is time for Brunch with the Tour. We welcome in our buddy, uh, yeah. Stuart Moore. I'm looking at your at your ID there. Yeah. Oh, we got all <laughs> kinds. You look oh. terrific. Oh. Oh, the headshot from 2015? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 
You know, we're going to turn that around. <laughs> Let me see that. Look what? at him. <laughs> do you do they stop you and make you show a second form when you walk in with that? Because uh, anyway, give it anything that we should know. You got updates for us and the G- gym pop. I like to call them general population. I mean, listen, fiftieth players championship. So yeah. I think you know as, as, as you solid, come to the solid prop, start. I like to throw start. I like oh. to throw questions at Stewart and Stump. Ooh, oh. Stewart, who's the first alternate this week? Uh, be Alexander Bjork. Okay. Who Tion. got bumped when Bryce Garnett won Puerto Rico? Oh, he was oh, in and then got ow. bumped. But yeah, people don't see that, but oh. my man Alex Bjork is on a couch wherever he lives. Oh, and no. Pulling against. Now, Bryce won a playoff. The other guy would have bumped him, too, but there were a couple guys in the field that had they won. Yeah. He stays in the field. Now, does he. Here's an idea. Was, does does, does he Bjork come, play uh, Puerto Rico? He should have. <laughs> Uh, that's a good question. You know what I, don't I know mean? If he yeah. I don't know does if he, he come there. on? Does he hang out here this yeah, week? Yeah, I would think so. He's you practicing. Think if there's a WB. How many times does a first alternate usually get in? For an event like this, not very often. Yeah. Unless Somebody's going to have to. Somebody's got to be sick. Or injured. Yeah. yeah. 25 mil- Does he go, like, throw some stuff in the food at the cap- in the, where the boys eat in the locker room? <laughs> uh, I, you know, it's funny. I don't know if the alternate can eat in Pub 17 not allowed. where the players eat. Yeah. Not allowed in there. Yeah. Yeah. He might have some of that media dining, which clearly you guys love. You guys, uh, uh, every single thing I hear is delicious, but one particular thing, and I'm not gonna, you is, know, whatever it is. is uh, I'm bringing you guys plates of eggs after this. No, you, you no, misunderstood no. what I was saying. I was actually oh, trying boy, to get you go. higher up the chain here with a good suggestion. Oh. It wasn't a complaint. You couple take of, everything so literally. A couple social media things I saw yesterday, which oh. again, and I, I don't know who did them, so it, you can take credit. Yeah. It could be all your okay. idea. Uh, I saw Scotty and Grandma with the with the chocolate. Cream pie. I will take credit chef, for that. That was actually our team that did that. The chef made yeah. the chocolate cream pie, and Grandma like Grandma. Is that her lives, favorite or something? It's, it's Grandma it's, makes them one every time he comes. Yeah. To oh, so or, chef yeah. made Grandma's, and then chef made mm. a player's rendition, and we surprised Scotty and Meredith. He was here for a, a national media day. Yes. And then chocolate uh, cream pie sounds delightful. And so they're yeah. serving it the players club. You know, yeah. elevated VVIP. Oh, no, that's cool. So, so I like that. Cool. That right. was that was I'm a nice taking, thing. I like for that. I liked spending the day on 17 where all the slappies went through the public were hitting balls. Oh, that's no, that's PGA Tour uh, social did a good job with that. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. that was also well done. Really so, good. so I enjoyed that, and we had good video of the boys arriving yesterday, and you see the. You know, I guess they just drive up from Orlando, and yeah. McElroy's got six bags on his yeah. back and laundry. <laughs> laundry and season, baby. Laundry season. <laughs> so it just gives Probably you. Probably sat on I-4 for a while. Yeah, it humanizes yeah. that to a point. I which, agree with that. Which I kind of dig. So yeah, anyway. I don't care who you are. The drive from <laughs> Bay Hill to here stinks. You're running into traffic and everything. Yeah. There's no special lane for Rory and That's Scotty right. and the That's boys. Right. No. I had to come no. up here just like the rest of us. I, I get the in, intonation listening to guys speak yesterday. There's starting to become – there's almost a tiger effect with Scheffler when he's playing really good. There's almost yeah. a resignation among the other guys. that it, There's one dude out here that if he plays his best, we can't beat. And I don't recall them ever feeling that way about Johnson or McElroy or Spieth or anybody right. else in their prime. I, tiger is the only one that I can, can, can kind of either sense. Well, I'm telling you. I, I, I agree, but I can't do it. I'm not saying he's Tiger. I'm saying I know his peers too... thinking there's one guy yeah. who, if he plays better than the rest of us, we're not beating. Uh, for sure. If we're sitting here at the 2027 20, players, yeah, and he has four majors, and I, I don't know, think you're getting. I don't think ten, you're feeling ten my championships. Point. Yeah, I, I don't think you're feeling no, my you're point. You're saying his game is as good. I know. The... I'm saying right now he's the only guy not named Tiger who the current crop of pros think they can't beat if he plays his best. Um, That's what I'm saying. Okay. If he, uh, like yeah, not that, that he's Tiger or win as I, much. Or I just don't think that. I, I guess where I would disagree is I don't think that Rory or okay those boys would say that. And maybe not the oh, couple. Maybe maybe two or three of them. But yeah. I'm telling Will Zalatoris flat out said it yesterday. Okay. And he's a pretty good player. He's I mean, good listen, player. Yeah. his ball striking is rivaling what we saw from Tiger That's in the early 2000s. Statistically, like, right? Statistically, yeah. yeah he's it's the, the putter. If he putted like Tiger, he yeah. may win 10 if, majors. If he Danny. puts well, he is, he is very hard to catch. And by the way, and you forget this about Scheffler, and, and Zalatoris was, could have been his publicist yesterday in, yep. the, in the comments that I heard. We mm-hmm. he said, you got to remember, dude. This guy killed everyone in junior golf. Right. And he killed everyone in, in, in college golf. It just took him a little and while to killed, start winning on the tour. Yeah. Right? He's just killed. He's dominated yeah. every level of golf yeah. he's yeah. played, just like another cat. That, and even went to Corn Ferry Tour. You know, he cut his that, teeth out there for a year and learned how to 
grind and travel. He won all. there, yeah, didn't he? he? Did, yeah. Yeah. Was he the champion of the Corn Ferry Tour? I'm trying to remember. Or how did he yeah. get into the tour? Did he just get he it by won, his finish? Well, he won in Columbus, um, but I think he had already got his card from then. It was top 25. And, and so when was when was Scheffler's first year on tour? I mean, maybe not exactly. What are we? But it hadn't been that long. It's maybe five, six years. Was it more than yeah, that now? Probably twenty twenty one around then. Really, that that recently. Yeah, I, so I think he graduated in nineteen. Okay, so I mean, twenty twenty one. We're really going into what twenty one, two, two, two. This fourth year. Okay, I mean, really fourth full year. All right. He has the one major, right? Was it? Was that his tenth win that I read? Masters. Does that so. was the win at Bay Hill his yeah. tenth win? That's the exact number. Pretty sure. Yeah. 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 Stewie's just giving us some head shakes on yeah. these on these questions you're asking me. I don't I mean, think I'm not I, the stats guy. Yeah. I got a, I got a whole stats. Alter'd be here right, right now with a folder. He would be folder. He'd be <laughs> he'd be opening it up. He'd be referencing. He'd it. be telling you certain topics are uh, off limits too. I always I, I think. By the way, I dropped this last night on the. Uh, we do a TV. Yeah, you do. Uh, uh, Fifteen minute, you know, at the players show, and I said I thought this was a good line. I said. Uh, I said, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday are great days to come out. You can see all the golfers playing. Uh, it's kind of like the live tour. <laughs> before it gets, There's a band. Before it starts to Grab matter. a band, some of the guys will wear shorts. <laughs> before it starts to matter. I don't mind the shorts part, to be honest. It just doesn't, it doesn't uh, make you think pro golf. I don't love it. I, sat, I don't love it either. I, I don't. I sat in a meeting in 2016 with a millennial. I'll leave it at that. If you work at the tour, you know who I'm talking about. And uh, he goes, uh-huh. I'm telling you, if we let the players wear shorts, more people would watch golf. That's and silly. I say, you're an idiot. Yeah. And I stand by Did you it. say that? You no, thought it. Thought you thought it. Yeah. 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 Well, that's very, true. That is dumb. Very sensitive generation. Right? I kind of think that, <laughs> although I will say this. You're in front of HR. <laughs> yeah. Well, I will say this, too. That younger generation might, that my age group might. Uh, that's not really the typical demo, though, for your PGA Tour I audience. just don't think anyone's like, God, you know, these guys wear, I'm not going to watch I, golf because they wear pants. Well, for sure. That's or I'm going to watch because they or wear shorts. Or if they were pants it look, I guess my, my point with the live is, and again, it seems weird because we always wear shorts when we go play golf, but it just looks weird watching golf on TV that's not the USAM yeah. or college yeah. tournament. It just doesn't. I don't love it. Yeah. I don't love it at all. Some of them, and that not all do, by the way. Right. So the commission's meeting the media today? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Yep. What, are it, there, do you think, are there any more, like, have we hashed out anything more? Like with the PIF and and live and what we're doing going forward, is there more yeah. of a more of a framework in place now, or not necessarily? Not necessarily. I think that's the goal, and I would just remind everyone that it is with the PIF, right? It's, yeah. It's negotiations between the two or right. The PIF, SSG now involved, et cetera. It's not really with live. Right. Yeah. Um, that kind of died. Yeah. It's just, just and and they they don't need live per se. I thought Shambly had some good points yesterday, quite honestly, in talking about that and saying, you know, it's sort of. You know, this is where we develop stars, and they have the stay, the staying power. And I think, I don't know if like, I I still think the other tours sort of forgotten. To right. be honest with you, yeah. I, I do, and the numbers tell me that. And I can't, and really the probably the biggest change they need to make, money and everything else aside, is they need to play real golf, real golf. Yeah, yeah. for four sure. Four rounds, not this. I I, I got to be honest. But, I watched the other day as Scheffler increased his lead, I think, to one point at six. I don't know. He was burying down the stretch. I hit my guide. I'm intending to watch some college basketball or something, uh, see yeah. what else is on. And I see that the lib is on, which I didn't even realize. So I went to Dawson Creek Network and hit the, hit the, hit the thing, mm-hmm. and they pop it up. And for the love of all humanity. Yes. <laughs> A guy who has watched more sports than anybody in history. Couldn't decipher it. I can't make heads or tails <laughs> right. of where anyone is, what hole they're on. They're they're, they're pumping this. They're showing a high. What in I, I it, it confused me to the point. I'm like, well, those are three pretty good golfers going right. to a playoff, I guess. But the blazes with this, yeah. I can't. What? Yeah, what? I got you. They're, they're very Start on one and end on 18, you goons. That's not growing the game. That's confusing everyone. Stewie, I got uh, That's the Tim Aquana member guest. Silliness, guess. even the super, your Super Bowl. Even the Tim Aquana member guest, even member guest, you start on one and you go off as a field. You don't shotgun. Shout out to myself for remembering that last time I said that I said member member, and you said unfortunately not. I, a member. I'm not in that one. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. Stewie, uh, I freely what, admit that. What okay. is your Come on, Graham Shirley? <laughs> what is your personal? Before we go to break here, your personal favorite player's memory that you've been here for? Oh wow! Um, How long have you been here? The tour, 10 years total. But here in Jacks. Uh, 10 years total, 07, 08, and then 15 to now. 
Okay. So I've had two stints at the tour. Fifth stints about ten. Um, he was asked to leave back. in 08. There was a problem. He came back. And <laughs> yeah. Rehabbed HR, his image. HR's handling. Rehabbed his image and was able to come back in 15. It was tough when they said I couldn't get within 100 yards of the building. But uh, <laughs> eventually, <laughs> statute of limitations and such. Um, no, I would say I came here as a kid with my dad who, God rest his soul, passed away uh, six years ago. Uh-huh. The year Tom Kite won. And, uh, uh, I was 1989, maybe. Just getting into golf. Does that sound right? Yeah, that is right. That was right. And yeah. I, I wrote about this for PGATour.com, walking down the 15th hole he's trying to uh win the players championship and isn't making any putts and he turns to me along the rope line and is like are you a good putter and i just froze and i was like i think so he's like well i'd love to get you in here and make some of these putts. i mean this guy's four holes away from winning the players talking to some schlep kid from charlotte how North old Carolina, are you uh right now or no then i'm oh, sorry uh 13 12 or 13 okay, yeah but again that's you know we always that's talk about cool. like miles of yeah. front row seats yeah. and for a kid and yeah. coming here too, like you know, every kid, you you guys have probably brought your kids here. The stadium setup is great. Yeah. Hey, I can get. I don't. I'm not buried in adults, not being able to see anything. And I vividly remember that. And that my dad brought me down here. He had a, a client or something, so we came a couple times when we lived in Charlotte, and that's definitely my, my youngest grew up in the Ricky Fowler generation. So getting Ricky Fowler's oh, yeah. autograph or seeing Ricky Fowler is a big deal. Was a big deal for him. So for sure, that's kind of kind of neat though that you have that story. That's good. All right, let's do this. We'll take a I break. I remember back in the day, the kids used to roll down the hill between. Oh, yeah. Still do. 16 and 18. Oh, they still I don't know if they what? do anymore. I saw them rolling last year. I they, feel like they Jared. roll right over there. Jared Rice might have put the kibosh yeah, on that. Yeah, I don't think I mean, there's any more rolling, Hick. Well, I'm not yeah. sure you saw them last I year. I will give you video of kids rolling this week, guaranteed. Okay. I just think All you right. can tell Jared Rice that rolling down a hill is a tried, true tradition, <laughs> and there'll be 30-year-olds out here telling me, I rolled down the hill when I was eight. I that mean, would be a good story to do. I rolled down the hill do that. Find guys who rolled down the hill. I mean, no free ads, but that'll ruin a Peter Millar quarter zip quick. Quickly, <laughs> not <overseed>. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. no spray right. and wash. It does not Well, come out. it's a very, very, very vital, important week when it comes to the wheel bet because there's so much money. It's not so much you could win; oh. it's how much you could be blown Don't away. Get cut. If you take the hammer, Shop the MC can't lay. hammer. Play it the, safe. The MC hammer this week <laughs> will. Hurt you. Be no boy, no. Hard to recover. <laughs> yes. Hard to recover if somebody goes. Five million, you know, four, five, and five hundred grand, and somebody else gets yeah, zero. Yeah, that's a wrap after that. Oh, we're gonna well. come back and make these all important picks this next. Is it. Brunch with the tour, Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday. The drill from the studios at Republic Services. We'll handle it from here. Ever wonder how Rick Ballou got hired at 1010XL? I had a sales job where I was driving around a lot, listening to talk radio. I started calling in, and then I realized I'm smarter than everybody else. Evenings on 1010XL. Hey, certainly facing some interesting economic times. I can't speak for all of us. For me, comforting to know my money's in good hands with ITP partners. Jacksonville guys, taking care of my Jacksonville money. Yeah, the Jacksonville guys, that's Chris Bryan, Jeff Hartman, Reagan Wright, Dan Abel, Reed Wingate. Those guys understand the game. I don't. That's why I use them. As I move closer to retirement, I continue to watch my money grow because they know how to invest. And it's not just me. Three generations of Hickens, my family, my friends, have all used ITP Partners and couldn't be happier. Why? Because they listen to us. They give us individualized strategies. Our goals become their priority. I'm telling you people, be smart. Get in the game. If you're not in the game now, start with ITP Partners, and you'll stay with them for life. For more info, Chris at ITPPartners.com. Chris at ITPPartners.com, or just give them a call, 312-9751, 312-9751. ITP Partners are my financial partners for life. Hi, this is Dale Murray with Murray Automotive Group in Stark and Kingsland. Save yourself from those big city dealers and their fast-talking flim-flam tactics. No matter what your automotive need is, we've got you covered. Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and nobody beats our prices. And I mean nobody. Shazam! Plus our exclusive 15-year, 150,000-mile warranty included on every qualified vehicle. And we'll trade anything from AirPods to fishing rods. Compare our prices online at ShazamAuto.com. Then come see me, Dale Murray. I'll be waiting for you. Shazam! Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt-free. No credit cards, no car loan, no personal loan. Hey, it's Prosser here, and Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make that happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes with almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle. 
you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards, get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips, and approval is just minutes away. So call now, 904-999-1508, 904-999-1508. That's LoanPronto.com at 904-999-1508. NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. Bolt City Heating and Air is truly a family-owned and operated local company and treats all customers like family. Don't be fooled by the out-of-towner equity firms and national corporations that use local names. There's one name you can trust when it comes to your home seating and cooling system. Bold City Heating and Air, Jacksonville grown and entirely loyal to this community. Schedule your winter maintenance by visiting BoldCityAC.com. Now that's what I call high-quality H2O. If you want high-quality H2O in your home, call your local water boy, Keith, at Kanaya Water Jacksonville. That's K-E-N-A-I Water Jacksonville. This state in sports history is brought to you by Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. On March 12, 1903, the New York Highlanders' future Yankees baseball franchise is approved as a member of the American League. Chicken here. You know at Zero Rugs, they love rugs. Fine oil rugs need to be cleaned with the right equipment and careful training. My guy at Zero Res, Gerard, is a certified master rug cleaner and has been cleaning rugs for more than five years. Don't trust your fine rugs to anyone. Call Zero Res right now. They are offering a BOGO on rug cleaning. Have Zero Res clean one rug, get a second rug for free. What a great time to get your rugs cleaned. Zero Res, man, spell it forward, spell it backwards. Zero Res, it's the right way to clean. Zero Res. Yo, it's your boy E.T. And if you're still in the market for a sports book to call home, bet that nonstop action of the madness with my bookie. My bookie is your one stop for all your sports betting and casino needs, complete with real life Vegas experience right from that cellular device of yours. Take your viewing experience to the next level with real time live betting that lets you stream and bet the games right from the comfort of the crib. Sign up now and take advantage of the generous welcome bonus on your first deposit. All the way up to $1,000. Put in $200, get three. Ready to play instantly using promo code 1010XL. And the fun don't stop there. You'll get up-to-the-minute odds, props, and this week's expert predictions to help you dictate where to put that cash at. And the best part about my bookie, you can bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Come on, somebody. This is head coach Matthew Driscoll from the UNF men's basketball team. When our players suffer an orthopedic injury, Southeast Orthopedic Specialist gets our players back on the court pain-free. We appreciate the endorsements from our high school and college coaches. This is Dr. Kevin Murphy. Next time you need orthopedic care, you can rely on our team at Southeast Orthopedic Specialist. Relieve pain and get back to life. Southeast Orthopedic Specialist. Hey, it's Hicken with 1010XL. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is currently hiring for police, corrections, 911 dispatchers, and various civilian jobs. And for a limited time, JSO offering a hiring incentive up to $10,000 for police and corrections applicants. Details available at joinjso.com. Start your journey as a law enforcement professional, helping us drive down crime and foster positive relationships with citizens. If you're ready to be part of the solution, apply now. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is an equal opportunity, equal access employer. 1010XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396 5555. Jacksonville. Now, brunch with the tour. Brought to you by Clearwater Irrigation and Drainage 2. And Art of Natural Stone on 1010XL. I have determined this, Dewey Moore, yeah. that I am still, I've got the shiver in me now. I got a little shiver. It's so cold. I've been so cold all morning. <laughs> it is, it's a little nippy out. <laughs> I mean, again, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful day, and it's going to warm up. It's going to warm so up. So I'm, I'm not telling you it's too, you know, but it, but 
here this morning in the pitch black. It was so yeah. little, We were going to start a fire, and I didn't know if that would go over well. <laughs> Paging Jeff Plotz. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if, if it got out of hand. You know, hey, because, uh, you know, I'm the dumb enough guy. Go, Maybe if I put a little gas here, it right. might get a little, <laughs> sure. get a little yeah. more. You Audio's know. Palm Valley Village. Yeah, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> there goes yeah. the, the, ch- the child's playground here, yeah. which you guys have done a tremendous well, job. We figured you I mean, guys, that is a wonderful Loud facility. children, radio, what a yeah, perfect marriage. Perfect combination. <laughs> Chaos today at the players as a local radio crew sets fire to the Palm Valley Village. I just walked out there and basked in the sun, and, man, you want to talk about It's amazing how that big Difference. ball of fire. Oh, yeah, yeah next break, you're going you're to thank me later. You're going to go out there. You're going to warm you to your core, Dan Hicken. <laughs> oh, I'm heading that way. To your love core. It. Yeah, I was I enjoying my it. conversation off camera, though, with Stewie. So, okay. Uh, and, and I come from a different angle now. I come from being a, a champion, a winner, a leader Ooh. of men and of the uh, of the uh, brunch with the tour. This guy Dream throws Fighters one dart. Picks. Takes the uh, no-brainer. Dude, I have lost so much. If I get a win, I'm going to celebrate <laughs> until the rough day's rough end. It's yeah. been a rough wheel run for you. Yeah, you had three so, or four fives. It's, yeah, so I am, uh, yeah. I am celebrating like That's nobody else. I am in first in place. The lead. I love you, Scotty Scheffler. You're, oh. I'll be forever indebted. I may need you again. All right. Because I, I think what's going to happen is now when we get to the – Designated oh. tournaments. Yeah, that's signature. where it's going to all be won. Signature? signature. That's what it is. Signature tournaments. <laughs> Elevated designated signature. When we get now. to the signature uh. tournaments, it, we're going to have one of these. It's going to be like f- yeah. fourth place guy to first place, yeah. fourth place guy to first place, yeah. fourth place. And so it's going to happen throughout the in my, year. And my d- dumb A, I'll win like the John Deere. Oh, and yeah. I'll get like 1.2. Yeah. Right. Take me six weeks to catch up. You're going to be like, because you I'm know gonna... who he's going to take? He's going to take the guy, by the way, before we get started with the picks, yeah, mm-hmm. because we're going to be. You know, we're going to be uh, handcuffed by who's available here. Oh, sure. So, let me go around the room. Mm-hmm. Because it doesn't matter because we know who he's picking, so there is no thing. Who do you think's winning the players? Are you ready to make your pick for the week? It's always a big tradition. Oh, for I've... years, we've made our pick uh, for the week. I've hit seven of the last ten. Pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> it's science. I'm not going to tell you who's going to win because I may pick them here with okay. the fourth pick. Right, well, let's, okay. Why don't we do the picks right, yeah, and then we'll I, I like it. That's okay. fair. All right. Oh, look at this. Look who's making his way oh. with some late information, perhaps. Tom Alter. Oh, Maybe some late comes. information. He was, he was listening. Stats. Well, we he let him listening. pick for you because no. he's been a disaster. He was yeah. listening. I'd like he to let said, Tom pick for you. He's coming uh, Now the, the call to the bullpen. By the way, Barstool Tom. We got the Barstool <laughs> Let's get pull the lefty. Over. Oh, I love it. I love it. I like that. I think Tom is leaning towards Maverick McNeely this week. I don't <laughs> Probably know. Probably is. Probably. I want to know what you guys are going to do. I'm looking at it right now. All right. came for that. E, can you update the bank, by the way? Tell everybody what, what the earnings are right I, now. I can. Um, last week, Jeff Prosser yeah. went with Ludwig Aberg and Victor Hovland. He got about <laughs> 251 bands. He's at 300, 3.9 million. 3.9, okay. All right. Okay. Well, me, I, I, currently I'm in last place. I went with oh. Rory McElroy and Patrick Cantlay. Okay. okay. That earned me 313000 uh-huh. 313, Okay. okay. Uh, what do you have for the 3. year? 3.5. Uh, 3.5. Okay. The tour okay. – Went with sure. uh, Xander and Matt Fitzpatrick, Xander. earning him one hundred and sixty thousand. Too much Xander for me. Yeah, uh-huh. and he's uh-huh. this is because you're running all that smack about how Alter can't pick anymore last yeah. week. Uh-huh. Remember that too. Yeah, That's awesome. Yeah. I never say bar. that. Don't say that just because he's here. <laughs> <laughs> and the tour is standing at five point one, and in first 5.1. place, after picking uh, Scotty Scheffler and Jordan Spieth, gaining four million dollars last week. Scotty. Dan Hicken has six point eight million. This could, be, I could be on, this could be like Taylor Montgomery when I man, see him out. Here's on what he's got a great job last week. <laughs> here's where you just – I don't – man, you've been around too long to, to not at all understand uh-huh. the whole concept of the mush. You're going way overboard, <laughs> heading into a signature event. We could all just hit a 4-3-2 and you'd be at last. That's fine. Stop it. That's fine. It could happen. <laughs> Very well. I, I, I'm going to enjoy my moment. You, yeah, you can go to hell. The moment. I'm going to enjoy my moment. Oh, I'm at the top. I, I think I need ah, a dictionary. Uno. I think I need to go to Webster's for the definition of a moment, <laughs> Stewie. All right, well, E, congratulations. Go ahead, make the pick. No, I know you. No point in even making the pick. Y'all already know, Scotty. Come on down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. I need. I'm gonna have to look to my boy Tom Alter for just some hope of that's not a bad pick, Jeff. Yeah, I like that one. And, and, and by the way, that that means uh, Alter carries more clout and 100%. respect than Stewie does, I, even though Alter's well, been horrible you, this year. You've had a good year. You know what you he are. He picked like six winners yes, last year. Correct. And gets you, no credit. The, you're the guy. You're the you're the second baseman halfway through May who's hitting 230. <laughs> okay. This. 
This is, you know. All star. Yeah. Perennial. It's a cheater. Quit it. Listen, man. I'll take that. So I'm, go, I'm doing this. <laughs> I desperately need cash. I don't trust those Californians. I can't do it. If my memory serves, my guy, Justin Thomas, who's playing good this year, doesn't he make the cut every year here? Isn't he on a hot streak? He loves the property. I'm going Justin Thomas just to get me a mill. I okay. just want a mill out of okay. him. Okay. I'm winning a third. Okay. Okay. Is nice. that a thumbs up, thumbs down, or middle? I like Thumbs up. All right. All, right. All right. I'm going a little bit off the kind of top nice. five player board. Oh. Yeah, I like it. I'll, I'll tee it up by saying this guy made a hole in one a few years ago. And shout out to our uh, Anheuser-Busch partnership. There was free Michelob Ultra in the media center. Shane Lowry, where was the Guinness? That's a good pick. Where was the Guinness? Yeah. I was like, can we please that's get Guinness? A, well, I, we can't do it. That's the not an off the top five. Shane Lowry's that's playing well. Yeah, Shane he's on Lowry's fire. Playing. I would say he's not a top five player. He's on the team, but he made the whole oh. Oh. Yeah, go get on the mic oh. over here. Oh. Get them all in. Now it's Tom Ultra. Now, oh. How many times do you have to, uh, my back hurts. Tom's in tomorrow. I got to. <laughs> I got a sore throat. Dang. Tom's in tomorrow. Dang. I got to go. It's, My wrist. It's, it's, it's an emergency. I got to go to West Palm. Tom's in tomorrow. Well, this is a better scenario I right, than. I was right on that uh, 17th day when Lowry made the ace. Yeah. And my son and his fraternity brothers might have gone insane and ended up on the PGA Tours <laughs> Instagram feed. <laughs> I love um, it. Yeah, but Lowry, I don't consider that an off the board pick. No, I just meant like not top five player in the world. Okay. Trending very well. All right. Um, yeah, he's more like two. 35 in the world. Shoot for two, J.U. Right, I'm going to look to my guy here a little bit as well. One of the guys I'm thinking about uh, got COVIDed back in uh, oh, 2020. Yeah. No. He shot 63 in the first yeah. round. Yeah, and, yeah. He's, and he's playing pretty well. Yeah, he is. Uh, yeah. Where, 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 would, where would the hand go if I, if I picked <laughs> – Hideki san. Well, he played great last week too, and yeah. then all of a sudden on the uh, yeah. he's, he's warming up on Sunday, and he needs some medical attention. Oh. I'm just saying. Tom, can you get the hell out of here? <laughs> I'm <laughs> taking JT either way. Mean. Did he WD or did he play? Oh no, he went out oh, and played. He finished. What was the medical attention for? Who, Who knows? knows? Who knows? <laughs> it's his back. It's always his back. Yeah. I can't wait for him to not pick him. And then Matsuyama will win it all. He could have had it. <laughs> <laughs> tying him up in knots, trying to do some knot tying here. All right, um, I'm gonna call clock. Clock. And then I see. <laughs> and then I see. Uh, oh boy! <laughs> Look how nervous are he's you, got. You're yes. first, man. Come on, you, you got milk in your time I, with the I, four or five. Pick? I, I, what are we doing? I could go. I could go. The Xander Cantlay is in play. Oh, yeah, yeah. in play. Do Xander it. Cantlay are in play. It's in play. Guaranteed. Lots well, of money. They yeah. Check, they cash checks. They cash checks like champions. Yeah. Can't Leo shoot a 64 on Thursday, <laughs> and Xander will shoot a 65 on Sunday. <laughs> Can't Leo will fall back, finish eighth, and, 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 and Xander will shoot up into the top yep. ten, and I'll be rich. Do it. <sighs> and then I got – then I got uh, I got Roars right there, man. Roars looking good. How do you not take Roars in the four pick? Mm. I mean, how do you how do you four hole? You got to do it. How do you do that? Because yeah. he's not playing well. That's how you do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. Rory Zander. Didn't, oh. You couldn't couldn't pull the couldn't do it. Trigger I, on he Patty. shook me up on Hideki San. We once had Patrick Cantlay on the uh, first timers. That was a wonderful, I'm bountiful, going, I'm personality <laughs> driven conversation. No comment. Oh, yeah, yeah. he was terrible. Yeah, no comment. He um, was awful. Rory Zander. Yeah, by the way, he's a chopper to get us a first timer tomorrow. You got to chopper him over from the, be ready. from the crow's nest. There are some random. You got to guys. chopper hey, him over, Not Nick. only that. You got to put him on a hey, tram to get him not over. Not only that, but here's the problem with the first timers this year, especially. He may get us one or two. He may, okay? <laughs> but when he does, some dude is going to bring him over here. He thinks we're going to know that that's. Jimmy Smith from uh, Jimmy Smith. Decatur, who one Gina shot a McCardell. one shot one shot a sixty four at the John Deere. I've got your bios. Yeah, the Read bios, them. and they won't match up. And they then poor Prosser yeah. asking Taylor Pendrith about something yeah, that I, some other guy, Maverick did McNeely, that. did, and we're yeah, screwed. That, that is <laughs> I, well, I won't do it then. Yeah. No, I'll I'll take the bios okay. and just I'll pay more attention this time. <laughs> I mean, if it, person if it were me and a guy was handing me a fifty nine, I'd have made up a big huge story. That would have been fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so uh, he went like, back to – who'd you go, Rory and Chocolate? Xander. Yeah. Xander. Yeah, I don't like that. Those are good picks. You know, it's uh, it's time for this guy to win a big boy event. Let's and go. I, I, I'm no disrespect to Genesis. It's Max Homoville. Oh. Let's step it up, oh, man. Oh, Walter yeah. likes that. I need that. Ryder Cup, yeah. Max. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Well. Here's the problem I have well. right now. The problem I have right now with this segment. The fear is Max can feast or famine. This, this show. Uh-huh. 
Life. This radio station, yes. my life. Yes. The problem I have with all of those things right now yes. is for like the 50th time this year, this uh-huh. Ludwig so and so there he is has picked the guy I was about to take. Oh, and so my know. question is, and please just tell me yes. Had I taken Max Homa first, would one of you three jokers had taken Justin Thomas between then and now? I yes. think I would. You would have. Yeah. Okay. Feel a little bit. You're better. gonna take Ludwig. No, I gotta. You uh, swore no, you were gonna I'm not take doing, him. Not doing it. What do you mean? No. Yeah, you did say you were gonna take him every yeah, single every week. Every week. And now I'm saying I'm not. <laughs> like um, I'm gonna. Um, I keep. I, ta- I take this guy so much, and he never does anything. But I'm gonna take him again. I'm gonna take Hovland. Oh, Victor Hovland. <sighs> I don't like it at all. That leaves uh, E. Damn it, Yoda. Hovland is playing with. Um, with McElroy. Yes. McElroy. Head to head. Super. We have to go oh, out man, there, oh, two of us. Man, go oh, ahead, E. Oh, man, I'm over here looking. Think about those snakes, I did that. E. You know why I did that? I did that to E because I know E likes to look at the, at the, at the odds, odds yeah. and I knew that was next in line, so I put him on a little bit of a – Okay, who's E's guy? Then? Who, would he t- who do you think uh, he's going to go with Zalatoris. Okay, C. the bean. Dang. He's going to take the bean. Ah, see, I'm debating between two, and just because Jeff said I'm going to take the bean – I'm going with Colin Morikawa. Yeah. Okay, nothing wrong with That's that. That's a kiss of death. Yeah. Kiss I of love death. that. Yeah. Get ready well, for the spiders and the snakes, E. Chill. <laughs> Just chill. E does not want to spin that wheel. No. It'd be, it'd be probably the best. What's best for the show? I mean, e spins the wheel? No, no it's you. not. You. It's you. <laughs> it's Jeff I mean, spins the You know, all the years. I, I tried, Jeff. You know how many times I've extended a hand? You know, just, just I give me. You ask what's best for the show. Yeah, we ask he's question. never done it. The show ever. Ever. You to see. Matter, <laughs> they gonna, I'm going to enjoy it. Like, you ain't going to enjoy it. That's what they want to see. They want to see you spin the wheel. You know what? Well, yeah. the, if you the, pick Matt. Feel sorry for them because it's been a couple of years <laughs> since they've seen it. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, what, what, what was me and O'Brien doing? We're over here. We've got the iPhone. We're taking video. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just, probably, where is this I going? Know. Yeah, you I want need, some oh, gratuities? You want to royalties? Somebody else owns you? No, I want skinny filter. Before this one, I saw on Instagram page. You want to go into Nutrisystem. Skinny system. filter. <laughs> Skinny uh, real filter. quick, shameless plug. Awake 180. It's going all over. Awake 180. Good <laughs> Lord. Target. We got a target. Uh, tickets still available all week. Parking wow. sold out. Again? Good 210. Well, it's a good yeah. problem to have. Not on Saturday, sure. but uh, go to players.com, verified resale. Still get tickets there. I don't like my picks, man. And I would say the you took Max home. I should be we really just took mean. Them. We just made the picks three minutes ago. My I don't like them. I don't like them at all. I never liked them. Anything Check else? Check the forecast. Getting much better for the weekend. No. It looks amazing. Yeah. So. <sighs> all right. We we need a good week. We've had some weather. We're due. We're due. We're due. It's here. It's good to see you, my man. It's good. Good to be seen. You too, Tom. Tom I can't nice wait to bring over the first timers tomorrow. Oh, it's gonna oh. be so good. Give me some. Good. You know what you should do? You Car- so really many guys Carson they've never Young. heard of. <laughs> yeah. I like, I like to boss them around. The nice thing is with these kids, yeah. you boss them around. Yeah. Like, you're doing 10 10. I'm doing what? Shut up. You're doing it. It's perfect. Uh, I don't get to do you that only get the... one year with these guys. One right? year. If, if one of them gets a W, they're done. They're sitting. Oh, it's, they're all, gone. it's all Agentville. Yeah. <laughs> the Talk one of a agent. kind. Stuart Moore with us today for uh, Brunch with the Tour. Have fun, guys. Thanks, Jens. <laughs> The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. High school, college, and pro. As good as it gets! Your home for the most play-by-play is 1010XL. I'm Frank Frangie with the Nimnik Nugget. This is one of my favorite weeks of the year because it's Players' Championship Week. We have so many things in Jacksonville that I'm so proud of, but none more than the players. The people the players work so hard. It's the best golfers in the world. It's one of the best golf courses in the world, and everybody enjoys it. Have you ever heard someone go out to the players and say, ah, didn't have a very good time? Everybody has a good time. They do a great job, and I'm awfully proud it's here. I can't wait to get out to the players. I'm Frank Frangie for the Nimnik family of dealerships. There are trucks, and then there's the truck, the GMC Sierra. Frank Frangie here with available features like the V8 engine, the ultimate luxury interior, and, of course, the available world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. Nimnik Buick GMC has the largest inventory of GMC Sierras in the area. This month, save up to $10,000 off new GMC Sierra 1500s or enjoy rates as low as 2.9% financing. Head to Nimnik today. GMC, we are professional grade. Hold on tight because All Pro Roofing is unleashing some electrifying news. Brace yourselves for instant excitement. Instant roof quotes are here. Simply surf over to their website and hit the instant roof quote tab. Boom! 
That's your ticket to a lightning fast estimate. Head over to allproofingllc.com. Click that instant roof quote tab. What are you waiting for? Click on the instant roof quote tab today at allproofingllc.com. License number CCC 132706. CDC 060138. Denny Thompson here. Tackle burglars and protect your turf. Give yourself peace of mind catching everything around your home with Tyson Sound and Security's cutting edge surveillance cameras. For safety and convenience, Tyson has you covered for all home cameras and security systems. I'm talking HD recording, night vision, and remote alerts all from your phone or computer. Call Tyson Sound and Security right now at 904-762-1000. Tyson Sound and Security, security and automation experts. Ross, I'm thinking about changing my name. Again? You're already the media mogul, the straw that stirs the drink, the Duke of Pablo Bay. Now what? Refer to me as Dreamfinders Danny Hicken. What in the blazes? Is this a cash grab? No, it's just that I believe so much in Dreamfinders Homes. 20 locations in Northeast Florida, official home builder of Jags and Gators. Great opportunity for first time homeowners. All right. Dreamfinders Danny, it is. Did I mention the lowest interest rates you can find? Visit DreamfindersHomes.com. Now let Dreamfinders Danny celebrate through the majesty of song. Dream finders, oh, I believe they will build Make it your stop. home just right. AgPro has been family owned and operated for over 64 years. Need a new tractor, parts for your used equipment, or reliable service? AgPro has you covered. Visit us today at any of our AgPro locations or go online to agproco.com to get started with your AgPro experience. At Edwin Watts Golf Shops by Worldwide Golf, there's something that binds us all. The collective goal to transcend the ordinary. Introducing the all-new Vokey SM10 wedges. Made for lower flight, improved feel, and maximum spin. Unlock your ultimate wedge. Play with the new Vokey SM10 wedges. Visit us in store at Edwin Watts Golf Shops or online at WorldWideGolf.com. Get there. WJXL AM Jacksonville Beach. WJXL FM Jacksonville Beach. Hacker here, and after my announcement of starting Awaken 180 weight loss, everyone is asking me about it. So I'll update you. After just two weeks, I'm already down 25 pounds. 25 pounds in two weeks. And to be more detailed, I actually dropped 32 pounds of fat, but I've gained 7 pounds of muscle. Not because I'm working out with Awaken 180, but because I'm more active, walking more, and playing longer with my son, Little Hack. All the rewards I thought would take months to achieve, I'm seeing after only two weeks. Am I starving myself? Definitely not. You think this guy would choose a calorie counting diet? I'm eating to lose weight with Awaken 180 and my results speak for themselves. It's been simple. My coach lays out the plan, we make adjustments, and every week the weight falls off. No pills, no injections, I'm doing it the right way. Do what Mike, Matt, and I did and make the call to Awaken 180. 844-346-1800 or online at Awaken 180 Weight Loss. Dot com. Jeff Prosser here. Need that garage floor redone? Pool deck? Patio? Well, I did my homework and found out there is only one company offering a lifetime warranty, Jack's Concrete Coating. How do they do it? They are the certified pin tech dealer for North Florida, so they are the only company offering pure polyurea. Trust me, I can speak firsthand to their work, and it is awesome. Go to jacksconcretecoatings.com or call 904 904- 862-2000. Hey, this is Stevie Beechers of Beechers Plumbing. Growing up in Jacksonville, I was always proud when my dad would point at a building and say, I did the plumbing for that. That's the same kind of pride we instill in every plumber here at Beechers Plumbing. And that's the kind of pride you can expect when you hire Beechers Plumbing for your home or business. Right now, we're doing New Year's specials to get your project going. To find out how we can help you, visit BeechersPlumbing.com. B-E-T-R-O-S Plumbing.com. Features Plumbing, here to help. Take charge of your well-being at Ackerman Cancer Center. Their new location at the World Golf Village off I-95 now provides screenings for prostate, bladder, and colorectal cancers. The leaders in proton therapy, that's AckermanCancerCenter.com. Here's your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist local sports update sponsored by Awaken 180 Weight Loss. The Jaguars have agreed to terms with center Mitch Morris on a two-year $10.5 million deal. Morris has a connection to head coach Doug Peterson after starting 15 games at center for the Chiefs as a rookie in 2015, which was Peterson's final year as the Chiefs offensive coordinator. Gator men's basketball head coach Todd Golden has a stern message for his team as they head to the SEC tournament. we got to use this as a wake-up call. You know, if we can't get back to the back on the glass and take care 
of the ball. We'll have a short roll in the tournament as well. Gator Bowl Sports announced that this year's Fresh from Florida Sunshine Showdown, Florida State versus Florida Baseball game, is officially back. This year's neutral site game will be held on Tuesday, March 26 at 1 to 1 Financial Ballpark. Tickets for the game are on sale now. At your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist Local Sports Update, I'm Sam Nelson. At 9 11, it's 49 degrees. Your time and your temp is brought to you by Bueller Air Conditioning. Stay cooler with Bueller. 1010XL is presented by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Four. Hey! All right, we're back on the Cal and Truck Accessories Tuesday. Our live coverage from TPC Sawgrass and the stadium course where they hold the players is uh, underway. We've got the Military Appreciation Day going on tonight. It is a, a chilly morning. It's turning, turning into a beautiful day here on the ground. So uh, if you're headed out, enjoy yourself. Again, we can see the setup for the concert tonight. So that'll be, um, that'll be terrific as well. I think if you ask me now who I think – my pick would be I would probably go with Hideki if he's if he's healthy. Well, that's amazing that you would go with Hideki and you yeah. didn't pick him. I was going to pick Hideki. I did not know about the injury. Uh, I didn't either. Injury. So that scared me uh, off. So yeah. that's why I didn't pick him in our in our bunch with a tour. I, I you know you just don't want so. Now look, guys, I picked. Eh, there's a risk there uh, with Rory and Xander, but especially Rory because you don't know he's he's hasn't been playing well. Yeah. You know, he gets yeah, hot, yeah. and then he blows up. I really wanted Homa. I wanted Homa and Thomas, but unless you're picking back, and I tried to go with the one that I thought might slide through. Yeah. And um, Homa almost made it back. And, again, I don't. I think Scheffler's winning. I do, and I know that goes against the grain of yeah. of, of no That's previous fair. win. That's fair. Because he's, would, in, a, he's yeah. in a groove. And, yeah. you know, golf is a game of runs like that. That putter gets hot and confident, and plus, Dan – he changed putters. I know. So that's going to give him a whole new, like, oh, not, this, yeah. right. I've never been bad with this putter. Right. So that could be bad news for the tour. Um, we'll see. I, I saw that your guy had a heart attack. Yeah, Straw. Yeah, Daryl yeah. Strawberry. Well, well, wish him well. He's, he's recovering. He looked okay in the pictures I saw from the hospital. Yeah. Room, so, um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't you know, uh, love Straw. Straw was a great bet. Never, he's, he said a million times he never should have left. He went back to L.A., and that was a. Disaster. They went to the Yankees. Oh, yeah, he played a lot of years after. But um, when he was at hit free agency and the Mets couldn't work things out and, oh, those 80 Mets, they were they were late 80s Mets were great teams, but they were a handful. Yeah. And they they imploded from the inside. It was Doc and And Daryl. When we say party, we don't mean they would stay out the bar so far. I mean, they're doing hard drugs. I would say probably, and I would have to ask Murph his opinion on this as well, but probably – I think one of the most, or maybe the most underrated New York Met of all time is Strawberry? Howard Johnson. Oh, okay. Howard Johnson. Didn't was, he win the MVP one year? No. He came in. Uh, uh, he never won MVP. He was a 30-30 dude, man. He could hit home Back runs, when 30-30 wasn't his bases. I common. mean, had like three, four good years with the Metropolitans, and uh, Hojo was a was a heck of a player. Ray Knight. Uh, you just think about all these guys that were on the those late 80s teams, man. Uh, so good. So much Gary Carter. Behind the dish, Lenny Dykstra was a train wreck. <laughs> the boys, the boys would party. Keith was, uh, you know, having a good time. Uh, so, but they could, uh, they could play baseball. They sure could play baseball. But they should have won. The '88 one's the one that that will always sting with the with the Mets. They were, um, they would have won the World Series. The Dodgers got them in the playoffs, and uh, Doc gave up a home run to T-Bone Shelby in, like, the ninth inning that allowed him to come back. We had him down, and then Socia won it in extra innings, and it was all. John Shelby uh, was from Columbia, Tennessee, where I grew up, played at Columbia State Community College for, you know, my buddy in Texas? Mm Mm-hmm. For his uh, dad. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I can remember watching Shelby back in the – Mookie Betts is from there, too, isn't he? From Columbia? No. No? I don't know where you're coming up with some of this stuff. He's from Tennessee. Is he? Dan Uglow was from Columbia. Yes. Uh, the Cuckoo and Sterling Marlin were from Columbia. Yes. The Mule Day Parade is from Columbia. Nothing like being the proud Mule Queen as a young girl in Middle Tennessee. Yeah. If you can be the Mule Queen, you've sure. uh, you've hit, hit you back. Um, I, I mean, I hear the Falcons. The how, how, often, how often do the Falcons outmaneuver the Steelers? Because uh, I mean, you can say yeah. what you want. I got one team that's, uh. you know, they're both teams need a quarterback. Yeah. And the Steelers went and got the old retread who just proved in Denver that he don't have it anymore. And the Falcons got a guy who still is just 
humming along. I, there's uh, there are other things here with the Kirk Cousins uh, signing by Atlanta, Dan. The the new coach there, Raheem Morris, mm-hmm. has brought in the Rams system. The Rams system uses an attack that, by analytics, Kirk Cousins does better than any other quarterback in the league. I can't remember if it was crossing routes. I don't know. Some of this, you know, play and, and, and game plan breakdown that they use. All right. And the Steelers have got Russell Wilson. I mean, I you know, how often it, it does are the Falcons going to out? Now, I, I know the price tags here are unbelievable. Uh, one spent $180 million, The other spent $179 million less. Right. But, man, I mean, there's nothing more frustrating as a sports fan than hearing your owner talk about budgetary restraints. Give me a break. Who did that? I'm just in general. Oh, I mean, yeah. Whenever a team doesn't sign, it's for one reason only. They're oh, too, yeah. Any baseball team, right, they're just too cheap. They can keep making money to hell with their fans. If they have a good year, it's only a bonus. And they'll take all their money from their licensing and from their TV, and they don't care if there's 8,000 unhappy fans at the ballpark every night. Well, there continues to be a buzz about Calvin Ridley. He remains a top free agent wide receiver. The Jaguars wish to retain him. That's what everybody keeps saying. So, clearly, the Jaguars are in on Ridley. The Patriots hope to sign him. Sources are saying there could be a dark horse lurking as well. Uh, money will be interesting with a deep draft class at that position coming up. So maybe the receivers are this year's running backs. I don't know. Are there too many receivers now? Have all the kids who grew up finally realized, why am I playing running back? I need to play receiver. <laughs> it's just. And the running backs, by the way, did pretty good yesterday. They all found homes pretty quick, and they didn't do it at, like, these bottom barrel prices. Yeah. They're, they're low compared to – I mean, the fact that guards make more than running backs is astounding to me, but, but they're not – by market – Average, the running backs did pretty good yesterday. And really, yeah. Derrick Henry is the only one that hadn't gotten signed of the top eight or ten of them, really. And, and you know where he's talking, who he's talking Baltimore. To. Well, like what everybody yeah. said. I well, mean, especially with Edwards gone, he's that thumper there. And so, uh, yeah, that'd be a, that would seem to be a really good a really good fit. I, I, yeah, go ahead. Well, to be interesting, listen, the, the offseason narrative changes big time if suddenly you're able to keep Redley. Oh, yeah. But I that's almost a – too much, isn't it? <laughs> no. Okay. No. <laughs> I think I, I don't think you can carry all four of those receivers at those kinds of numbers. Well, I mean, right? Doesn't Jones have to go or yeah, somebody? Say Jones. That's what I meant. Yeah. So I meant like if you kept them all, and uh, and if you do keep Ridley, now now receiver goes way down the priority list on draft day. Yeah. You can't go first round receiver if you if you do both those dudes. Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. Uh, interesting thing from baseball yesterday. Okay. Uh, ears perking up all over the league as we hear Garrett Cole headed for the dreaded MRI. That is not good news for the Yankees. No, who, they, they're high on the Yankees going into this year. Yes. With the addition of Soto. They added a pitcher, too. Who was it? Yeah, um, but without Garrett Cole, oh, no, yeah. a tremendous uh, yeah. concern. She gone. How about that? Yeah. How about the Yankees? Garrett Cole was the only good thing the Yankees had last year. Right. Cy Young Award winner. Yeah. And then, so, yeah, 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 that is just – Beyond terrible news. I'm looking at the ever popular uh, who fell for the fake Adam Schefter report yesterday. Oh, which one? Which one was it? Happened on Monday. For whatever reason, a post from a user purporting to be Schefter reporting that Ravens linebacker Patrick Queen had signed with the Seahawks. Uh, Multiple ESPN personalities, Jeremy Fowler, Marcus Spears, (laughs) reposting. They listen. We've all fallen victim in, in the in the Twitter world. So oh, for sure. It's not cool. And I know you sit there and giggle, but whatever. But it it, it is kind of funny. I'm sorry. I I think the you know I think a perfect comp has been set. I don't know if the Jags want to spend all this money and then force themselves into a point that they can only do so much with Josh Allen, uh-huh. or they can't just be proactive and go out and get him what he really deserves. I was thinking about this in like stronger terms, right? Uh huh. I wouldn't necessarily say this is a a pest of the day, but I, I'll go ahead and allow mission pest solutions. I think there's a solution here, so let's solution on the uh, let's concentrate on the solution part. And meanwhile, for solution for all your mission pe- for all your pest uh, control issues, it's mission pest and nobody else. Read the Google reviews, call them. You'll talk to the owners directly. Okay. Local and veteran owned nine four four pest. All right. <clears throat> I the Jaguars need to happily and aggressively. And with a with a a heck of an attitude of thank you, need to today call Josh Allen, invite him down to the stadium, and pay the man his money. We are a franchise that sucks, Dan. 
Every first rounder in our history, barely, we're lucky they even get a second contract. Yeah. This guy has done what Jaguars first round picks never do. He's done it. He's lived up to it. He's the seventh pick in the draft. He's had multiple double-digit sack years. He's been a captain and leader. He's only 26 years old. So the five-year 150 that Brian Burns got, that sounds like a great comp. We don't need it. Now, if he's asking for more than that, okay, we'll have to take a little bit longer. But that's the bare minimum that Josh Allen should get is what Brian Burns got. Five years, $150 million, $100 million guarantee. He's one of the few in team history – especially the last 20 years, who's earned it. No question. So go give him his money. He's he, he shouldn't have to beg you for it. We shouldn't be bartering back and forth for this, that, and the other. We're an NFL team. We have a, a, a true, you know, achiever. I, I got a uh, – I, I agree. I agree. So pay him anyway. I have another signing that I hope this guy sticks it to his former team. Okay. I feel like, and I don't know the whole story. I could be wrong. My interpretation is he got done dirty. Okay. Okay. And he's a really good, I've always thought, he is a really good football player. This guy is a really good football player, and his team just cut him. Sent his ass packing. Okay. Aaron Jones. Yeah. To the Vikings. Is that where he's going? Yeah. Wow. I hope. Did he sticks it to them like nobody's business? Yeah, I hope he runs for a buck eighty twice against them. Because isn't he a Packer like through and through? Well, and he's, he's a good Packer man. Well, there's also this. He was very good. Yeah, and but Josh and, Jacobs is fine. Now he's gotten injured some, but don't all running backs. But when you're coming down the tail end of the year, yeah, he was carrying them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, like, he got super hot. He had the, he had a stretch of hundreds, I think. And, I hope And he, he was great in the postseason as well. I don't like what they did. I mean, I know. Listen, I get it. And, I you know, we got younger, and it's a business, and blah, blah, and, blah. And Jacobs is better. He's a rushing champ. Aaron's is, Aaron You think Jones, he's better? Yes. I don't think he's better. Why? Because he won. That's he, not fair, dude. The guy won the rushing title. He goes for it. No. Time. One I, time. I, that's, that's – Aaron Jones is – yeah, No. You know, that's not fair to Josh Jacobs. He's been way underplayed and undersold and undervalued and underappreciated in Vegas. That dude is like a – Well, he was. He didn't ever got his money there. Yeah. I don't. I, I would take Josh. I think he's only 26. He's listen younger. To, listen to my guy's yards per carry. Okay. 5'5", 5'5", 4'6", 5'5", 4'7", 5'3", 4'6", last year. Now, he must have got – he only had 142 carries for 656 last year. Yeah, year he before, was he was banged up, and I'm sure that has something before, to do with – Year before, 1121, 799, 1104, 1084, 728, 448, Aaron Jones. I just like him, man. No, I, I – 45 not, career I, touchdowns. Oh, don't get me – 6,000 yards rushing. I will give you guys five guesses to tell me who finished third in the NFL in rushing last year. Uh, how e- about – how e- about I'll ETN. give you – how about I'll give you a guess, and I'll tell you what division he played in. Okay. One guess, though. All right. Third in the NFL in rushing last year. He played in the NFC West. Third in the NFL in rushing last year. James Conner. James Conner is incorrect, so you lose. All right. Anyone else? E, you want to give him a a try? Oh, Third uh, in the NFL in rushing. Third. The guy from the Rams? Yeah, Kyra Williams. Oh, yeah, Kyra Williams. Oh, yeah, they liked him. By the way, that's another. Hey, you you want no first rounder. Yeah. Um, They're very similar, Jacobs and uh, and, and Aaron Jones. Uh, uh, Jacobs is about... Now he's played less, but he four point two yards per carry, three five last year, four nine four zero, three nine four eight four two, got forty six touchdowns. Jones has forty five. So, uh, and for careers or in the last, yeah, those are careers, but just a bit younger. Yeah, I was going. Well, he's got like he matches him in touchdowns. He's played yeah. three years less. Yeah, yeah. What did Josh Jacobs do last year? Was he injured? Did he not? Yeah, he only had 805 yards. I yeah. played 13 games. But I just, I, I like, I like Aaron Jones. I just like him. I no, like I do he, too. I like how I, he no, plays. no, I like. I, he's, he does, he does get hurt. I, I he, I tell you what, I, I, tell you, I don't make everything about fantasy football. When you're talking about production, <laughs> it's fair. I hate every time I have a fantasy game where Aaron Jones is on the other team. Uh-huh. The dude goes, you know, scores running, scores receiving, does gets he? a thousand, you know, a hundred. It's very, somewhat, somewhat very annoying. Yeah. Can you be somewhat very? Somewhat annoying. Yeah, can you be somewhat very? I don't know if you can be no, somewhat. No, not very. somewhat. Can very. you? I mean, no, how that's you poor. Somewhat very. It's a poor word choice. Yeah, I'm 
You're, you're better than that. Butchered another. Let's come back and see what's trending. ET will handle that. We are broadcasting okay. live All from right. uh, TPC Sawgrass. We're at the stadium club. I see the best in the world out honing their games for Thursday mornings, first to tee times. It's military appreciation today. Gator, Gators is seven holes tonight in baseball, uh-huh. by the way. Is that right? Yeah. Here in town? No. It's not that game. Uh, it's we still March have one of those, right? 26. Okay. Yeah. I knew it was March, so I wasn't. Uh, sure. Um, but they're setting up for the concert. That's coming up later tonight. So much to do and see and golf to follow. We're live at the Players. You're listening to The Drill on a Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. It's Fantasy Golf at the Players. Brought to you by Pella Windows and Doors. It's got a chance. If your golfers score the lowest at TPC Sawgrass, win $1,000 of jewelry from Beards Diamonds. Enter at 1010XL.com. Hi, this is Dale Murray with Murray Automotive Group in Stark and Kingsland. Save yourself from those big city dealers and their fast-talking flim-flam tactics. No matter what your automotive need is, we've got you covered. Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and nobody beats our prices, and I mean nobody. Shazam! Plus our exclusive 15-year, 150,000-mile warranty included on every qualified vehicle. And we'll trade anything from AirPods to fishing rods. Compare our prices online at ShazamAuto.com. Then come see me, Dale Murray. I'll be waiting for you. Shazam! Hey, sports fans, this is Hayes Carlion for QC Kinetics. This is the time of year to enjoy life. Stop letting that pain in your joints keep you from doing what you love to do this spring. Call QC Kinetics now. Set up a free consultation. Call them at 904-274-5522. They've got two great locations, Mandarin and Ponte Vedra Beach. Go see them. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. It's a fact. QC Kinetics is literally transforming lives. Their advanced treatments harness your own body's ability to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. Pro athletes have been doing this for decades, but now this life-changing treatment is available for you. So you can walk and run and climb stairs and play golf and move again pain-free. 904-274-5522. That's QC Kinetics. Call them today. Did you know Prime Roofing manufactures, fabricates, and installs their metal roofs? If you're thinking about a metal roof, think Prime Roofing. Schedule an estimate today at primeroofingfl.com. That's primeroofingfl.com. Hey, come to Bowden Eye Care for all your eye needs. Hick in here. Did you know that diabetes is a leading cause of blindness? Affects up to 34 million Americans. Please don't take diabetes lightly. If you have diabetes, see your favorite Bowden Eye Doc and save your vision. Bowden Eye is dedicated to the protection and preservation of the treasure gift of sight. Bowden Eye and Associates. Visit today for your personal consultation. Bowden Eye. We keep the first coast focused. New location now open off County Road 210 in St. John's County. Get ready for the Players' Championship, March 12th through 17th at TPC Sawgrass. Don't miss your chance to watch the PGA Tour's best compete to etch their name in history while enjoying a vibrant social scene. From local bites to the latest merchandise available in the PGA Tour fan shop, the Players offers the ultimate experience for everyone to enjoy. Secure your spot today. Tickets are on sale now at theplayers.com. Get fishing tips and stories from Captain Kevin. Bite's going to pick up pretty soon. On the Ring Power Fishing Forecast Show. Brought to you by Awaken 180 Weight Loss. Whoa! Thursday nights at 6. On 1010XL AM. Exciting news from Leonard Truck Accessories in Jacksonville on Blanding Boulevard. Stocking brands like Real Truck, UWS, WeatherGuard, Carry On Trailers, and more. The best deals with the best prices only at Leonard Truck Accessories on Blanding Boulevard. Leonard, your truck, your style. Rolling, rolling, rolling. We're all calling rolling. The toilet's overflowing. Got a leak and can't wait a week. Call Roland Reese Plumbing, 260-7059. Clearwater. John, I can't even mow my side yard. It's so soggy. Man, my builder sucks. Brent, calm down. This is a common problem in neighborhoods where houses are built too close together. You need gutters and a properly installed French drain that will soak up subsurface water. We can completely dry it up. So I can take my builder off my speed dial now, huh? Yeah, we got you, buddy. Let that builder bitterness go. Clearwater irrigation and drainage, too. 
Hey, Hicken here. You know I'm a hometown guy. There's nothing like home in Jacksonville, Florida. What a great place to live. Spring is here and everything is green and blooming. But that means I'll have to cut the lawn soon. It also means that we'll need to do some deep cleaning inside the house. That's where Zero Res comes in. Zero Res can clean your telegraph, the carpets, the area rug, furniture, and more. Right now, they're offering 25% off tile and grout cleaning. Zero Res, man, spelling forwards or backwards, the right way to clean. Zero Res. If you never saw Zeppelin live, now you can know what it's like. And if you did, relive the magic of Led Zeppelin live. Yeah. Get the Let Out is back at Florida Theater, March 15th. Get the Let Out. Find out what it felt like to see Zeppelin live. Get tickets now at floridatheater.com. Listen up, poker players. The Run Good Poker Series is coming to Best Bet Jacksonville from March 14th to the 24th. The Run Good Poker Series features 10 poker events, including the $1,200 No Limit Hold'em Main Event with a $300,000 guaranteed prize pool and event number one, $400 No Limit Hold'em with a $100,000 guarantee. Win your way into the tournament through satellite starting March 2nd and running throughout the month at Best Bet Jacksonville. Check out the Run Good Series structures and details at bestbetjacks.com. 10XL is presented by Barra and Barra, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396 5555. Jacksonville. All right, we're back. <laughs> see what you're doing, E. See what you're doing, E. You see that? I see what he's doing. I see what you're doing. All right, um, we're back. I guess we'll uh, see what's uh, trending. Got to visit with the uh, Ox Gator. How'd that go? Everything good? Oh, I love the Ox Gator. He's out uh, gallivanting around with his uh, better half. Oh, yeah, she's and, the best. Yeah. So, I don't know how she puts up with him. That's uh, hard. Really? Yeah, no. you know. It's an acquired taste, oh, you know? Yeah. Put the process sometimes on fast forward and <laughs> get two happy kids like these two. Look at them. Smiles. They walk off into the sunrise. Uh, yeah. He yeah, outkicked his coverage, I would oh, say. Oh, sure. I mean, look yeah. at him. Look at that yeah. dumpy guy walking. Yeah. Around. Yeah. He started to look kind of like an old man, too. He's getting there. Like the skinny chicken legs at the bottom. Yeah, the, yeah. The white socks pulled up to yeah, the calves. Yeah, yeah, You're kind of giving up a little bit. Yeah. He still works out all the time. He'll that. be a hell of an old man, though. The former Marine. Oh, He'll be kind of a Clint God. Eastwood kind of old man. Oh, yeah. He is going to be hell on the neighborhood kids. Oh. Can you imagine when he's would like not 70? Want him as a neighbor. Yeah, he would yeah. be that one. Because we all grew up in that neighborhood where you went by certain people, you weren't going to walk in their yard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. That's a real that's Halloween. Let's egg his house. All right. So, kind of <laughs> overall, we I think we're kind of on the same page with the Jaguars. What happened yesterday? Seemed to be a lot of lateral yeah, movement, a yeah. lot of shifting some money around. I don't think they got worse. I don't think they got a whole lot better, except for the very important. We can't leave out the center spot, right? You know, and they basically every hole that they created through um, through cuts, mm-hmm. uh, you know, in the last couple of weeks. Uh-huh. They replaced with, I would say, in most cases, similar players, probably. Slightly less, yeah. you know. I mean, yeah. I don't think it's fair to say Davis is as good as Ridley. I don't think no. it's. I don't think it's fair to say that um, that 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 Darby is as good as Darius Williams. You know, I, I slight, but the upgrade at center was so important, and that that's you know stands alone. And at least you know the the needle's not just going crazy, moving positive, but it didn't move negative, and at least they're not sitting there doing nothing. Correct. And 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 I don't. I feel that the replacements in this case for less money and often younger are sufficient enough. And I don't know if we always think that. I mean, that's not a huge win, but it's not a loss. And by the way, there's really no – I mean, the only guy out there, Hick, that, I, you know, makes sense as a big money guy to me after Chris Jones was signed by his own guy would have been Christian Wilkins. Yeah, you know, he got a, a lot of money. He, he's a really good player at nine sacks from the inside. I think he probably could have made – you know, if we would have had a free agency where it was just him on one side and Morse on the other even. Yeah. You know, um, but if you miss it, Gabe Davis, a receiver from Buffalo, who is, gosh, he's been feast for famine. He's had some monster games, but overall he's kind of leveled out as a 40-50 catch guy a year. Um, they added uh, Savage from from the safety from the Packers. Again, real similar to Rayshon Jenkins. I'd say Jenkins probably a, l- a little more productive at this stage. Mm-hmm. But overall, it's just kind of a wash, except for, and again, this, that's a pretty big exception, except for uh, Morse in the middle uh, of that offensive I, line. I, I'm, I'm befuddled by teams that have quarterbacks and let them go. 
Like, like Minnesota? I yeah, I just – I can't. I mean, they do, they're do. they doing all this stuff. It's great. You know, you got Aaron Jones coming in. You got uh, Jonathan Grenard. I think they got the uh, Van Ginkle kid from Miami, who I really like, by the way. And I, he wasn't that expensive. And I, I, I watched that hard knocks last year. He made plays. Um, but anyway, uh, but uh, what are you going to do? You're not going to win? Skull, I don't. I, skull, dude. What are they? I know they signed Darnold. He's no, no way at all. To, try to what do they up? pick? 11th, maybe? or I don't know. So I, they're thinking I, McCarthy could be there, maybe? Or maybe move up a couple spots to ensure they get him. Or And I don't know that he's the answer. I either, don't either. Nobody does. Yeah. He's, he's the risky one. I don't. They're all risky. Yeah, Who we kidding? Listen, <laughs> when you look back at Trevor's class like yeah, we did, yeah, yeah. and guys, you make cases for when it yeah. happens. You look back in three years. I really I, – there's a lot of me that feels like this year's quarterback class is going to be that. I just don't know how you let Cousins go. But. I, I don't trust the Carolina quarterback. I don't know if Jaden Daniels can, can be a – yeah. NFL passer, yeah, you know, play after play, play within that scheme and right. with that, right? You know, discipline. I, I just, I don't, I don't know on all this. Et, can we, can we trend, my brother? All right, uh, trending. Yes. Top five today is brought to you by Pet Paradise. Go to petparadise.com and book your reservations today. Number five. Oh, that was a little loud. Hey, gentlemen. So uh, somebody's being honored in Philly. Okay. Um. If I were to ask you, who do you think is being honored? If there's a, a former Philadelphia athlete yes. who's going to be honored with a statue, who's the first person that comes to mind? Uh, Dr. J. Okay. Doesn't um, he? Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson is correct. Does it, Does Dr. J already have a? Yeah, I'm sure he has one. Already. Okay. That's why I, I said it. it out like there. Hickon, I would have said Dr. J would have been the Me first too. to come to mind. But, but yeah, after that would have been Iverson. So and he's Iverson. getting a, a statue outside. Is that who it is? Yep, it's Iverson. Iverson is getting outside a statue. Outside the basketball arena? Yes, sir. All right. I, I think that's. He deserves it. Yes, yeah, fitting. I think so. He took him to the, to, the, uh, to the finals against those great Lakers teams. He did. He a tough little guy. Ooh. I can remember covering Allen Iverson. Um, Lon, you covered him. Yeah, let me tell you what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, I covered him at Lon Kruger. It was, I can't remember if it was Bill. Was it Lon Kruger would have had him? It was either Kruger or Donovan. But one, one of the Gator coaches mm-hmm. was coaching a like a 20 and under mm-hmm. U.S. national team. Mm-hmm. They were practicing in Gainesville. Oh, I Alan, thought you meant you covered him. Well, like you I was there when I'm. Tra- oh no no no! I don't mean like <laughs> guarded him. That's that. That would be guarded. <laughs> Football you cover. Basketball you guard. Oh. Um. Uh, no, but I, what uh, astounded me about Allen Iverson talking to him and meeting him in person then or seeing him in person, and again, he's like a 19, 20-year-old then, yeah. is he was just standing underneath. I'm not even in the conversation. He's standing on, and you all know, I, if Iverson's six feet, it's a lie. Right. He's a 5'10", 5'11", dude. And he's standing underneath the basket. He's just kind of bouncing the ball, and he's talking to somebody. And then in the middle of the conversation, just as if he would crack his knuckles, he leaps up off of two feet and dunks the ball back up over his head backwards. And I thought, yeah. Pretty athletic. Pound for pound, he was he was one of the greats. Yeah. Number four. <laughs> Speaking of statues, so yeah. recently the Kobe Bryant statue was was revealed. Yeah. yeah and uh, like there are a couple of errors on the statue. Errors. <laughs> errors. Okay. Uh, Jose Calderon, who was one of his teammates, whenever he uh, broke one of the records, his name is spelled incorrectly. Vaughn oh, Wafer's name is spelled incorrectly. And as well as coaches' decision, so there are three spelling errors on the Come Kobe on, Bryant man. statue. How can, how can, <laughs> that's terrible. That's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's you not can't, good. You can't have <laughs> misspellings on a on a forever <laughs> statue. That's, they're gonna fix it, obviously. Oh man, oh that's, yeah, that's yeah, not a good just, look. That's that's terrible. I mean, come on, man. Number three, <laughs> now, gentlemen, we speak on NIL and how it's changed the game. Yes. Sir. Well, there's going to be a new season in college hoops. There's going to be a tournament that potentially is going to offer a two million dollar NIL deal. I, I saw this. Mm-hmm. It's going to have. They're going to play it in the kind of the preseason in yeah. December. My question is, how, how do they determine, you know, who gets to play it? It doesn't seem fair that like a select eight schools and they're going to right. bump it to sixteen. How do you like? How do you qualify? How do you get the opportunity to collect all that NIL money? That that's the part I didn't understand. Has there been clarification on that? E or no? No, not yet. Yeah. You know. I don't know. We'll see. I, I, this, by the way, sounds like the NBA it, it may have swiped the idea from European soccer, but that college basketball took a look at what the yep. NBA did and said, hey, we kind of like that. It took it to another right? level. And it didn't, isn't this what it sounds like? Kind of an in-season, uh-huh. tournament, an in-season tournament where you actually win something? In this case, cash. Cash money. Number two. 
with free agency opening up yesterday, there's been a lot of movement. We spoke oh. about there's a lot of movement. A lot of guys got paid. Um, uh, Kirk went to Atlanta. What's his, the quarterback? Um, Kirk Drunk, Cousins. Kirk Cousins. He went to Atlanta. Got a big deal. Um, big deal. Uh, Burns. Burns switched teams, but also they traded uh, to the Giants. And they uh, got 150 million. Good uh, day for Brian Burns. Big day, day for Brian Burns. But also some some movement within conference was uh, Saquon Barkley. He jumped oh, ship from the TV. Giants to Man, the I, Eagles. Man, it'd be tough to be a Giants fan, bro. Yeah. You got Saquon Barkley. You go to bed with Saquon Barkley. You wake up with Devin Singletary. Is that who they went to? <laughs> right. Oh, and, man. and Tiki, so apparently Tiki Barber has a radio show up there, and um, he, he made some comments that Saquon didn't think too kindly no, of. Saquon it, was a little. Saquon's baby. overrated. He's not on the field enough, man. The guy gets 800 yards a year. It, I, he's a man, crazy. He's, he's, he doesn't he, play. He, you know, he said, injured. Tiki said, uh -huh. look, and then by the way, Tiki I said agree. he was playing. Tiki yeah. said he was playing. Well, he was, but I mean, I, I say this: if you go to a rival, man, that's uh, whatever. That's your choice, but you're you're dead to us, and that's mm -hmm. what Tiki said. You're dead to me, tongue in cheek. Uh huh. And Saquon got all bent out of shape about it. I thought it's a bad look by Saquon. I think friend. it's a bad look by the Giants. Every time you lose a running back and then you see what looks like a paltry sum compared to what other people are being played, it always looks like you shouldn't have let him go to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you're paying like, a, you're, again, it's just, it's, you always get that sticker shock every year at this time that, yeah, oh my God, guards make twice as much as running backs. And the Giants mistake, it all started when you got, you got Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley as free agents and you have to pay the quarterback if you're keeping them and they decided to keep them. So he got all the bank and Saquon got like a one year deal and it is what it is. And then Daniel Jones is hurt and you're still stuck with them and, they got to figure out what they're going to do still at that position. So the Giants are kind of a mess, but I do like the Burns trade. Yeah. You got Burns on one side, Thibodeau on the other. Yeah. But, like but it's kind of – and maybe they're trusting Dable to get the offense going. Yeah. The Giants went a little bit better in the second half, didn't they? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Number one. Not Number only one. Is, not only a staple in golf, but a staple in Jacksonville, Florida. Mm -hmm. Every year we get the host what's called the Players' Championship. And if you've yes. never been – if even if you're not a golf fan, you should take the time out to to, to visit Sawgrass, the golf course. But it's a to, it's on a totally different level. And today is the first day, the opening day, uh, Military Appreciation Day practice rounds out there at the TPC. So if you have a chance, uh, tickets are still available. According to Stewie Moore, um, head on out there to to to, to the, the the players and, and enjoy yourself. Like I said, you don't have to be a fan of golf. Just go enjoy the weather. Definitely go check out 17. If you get a chance, go on the uh, the simulator where you can kind of take a shot and look what's look at 17 and see what it's like. So go out there, enjoy some enjoy some sunshine, enjoy Jacksonville, Florida. Amen. E, has there been any place here that you haven't explored yet after you came out here last year? As far as the players, yeah. Um, any piece of land that you haven't hit yet? No, nah, I think I hit a bit. Well, I, I haven't been in all the chalets, but I've been in okay. a couple. But I think right. I touched every piece of land out there. Yeah, I think you did too. I thought I was impressed with you last uh -huh, year uh -huh. and your movings and going. <laughs> so, uh, look forward to running around with you again this year. That's what's trending. Well done. E, we'll take a break and make the turn for home. Hand it off to the boys from Jaguars today. Next, the drill from the studios at Republic Services. We'll handle it from here. Get a Gator baseball chop on 1010XL. It's the battle of state powerhouses. Florida, Florida State, tonight at 6 on 1010 AM. Is your roof showing signs of wear and tear? Call Universal Roof and Contracting today to schedule your complimentary roof inspection. Right now, get $200 off your roof replacement plus flexible financing. And as a bonus, receive free window mitigation with a full roof replacement. This offer expires March 31st and restricts supply. Universal Roof and Contracting, proud partner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. License number CCC057165, CBC1258484. Universalroof.com. Bueller Air Conditioning presents Are You Cool? Today's lucky contestant, a cheese negotiator from Jacksonville, Florida, meet Margaret Drent. How do you like my costume, Bob? I'm Gruyere. Well, you smell great, Margaret. But here's your question. What's wrong with your air conditioner when you hear this sound? Oh, um, that's a toughie. Are you sure you don't want me to tell you the suggested retail price of a box of rice a -roni? Five seconds, Margaret. Is it... A compressor motor starter failure? The 
That's right, Margaret. And if you call the coolness experts at Bueller Air Conditioning, we can fix that faulty AC to make sure that you are cool. Surprisingly stuffy inside a giant cheese. You signed the waiver, Margaret. Stay cooler with Bueller. Visit BuellerAir.com. Nick and here, the Borland Groover Foundation proudly presents the annual March to Get Screen 5K race and one mile fun run. Sunday, April 14th, the race starts at 7 a.m. under the Fuller Warren Bridge. Their mission, raise awareness about colorectal cancer and related deaths. All proceeds benefit the Borland Groover Foundation. It's a nonprofit organization devoted to building a healthy and equitable community that is free from colon cancer. Visit BorlandGrooverFoundation.com for more. Yo, it's your boy E.T. And if you're still in the market for a sports book to call home, bet that nonstop action of the madness with my bookie. My bookie is your one stop for all your sports betting and casino needs, complete with real life Vegas experience right from that cellular device of yours. Take your viewing experience to the next level with real time live betting that lets you stream and bet the games right from the comfort of the crib. Sign up now and take advantage of the generous welcome bonus on your first deposit. All the way up to $1,000. Put in $200, get three. Ready to play instantly using promo code 1010XL. And the fun don't stop there. You'll get up to the minute odds, props, and this week's expert predictions to help you dictate where to put that cash at. And the best part about my bookie, you can bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Come on, somebody. Prosser here for Lifetime Enclosures and Lifetime Flooring. With the weather starting to turn for the better, look ahead. Get that backyard ready for spring with a new screened-in enclosure. Maximize the space you have and make it great with Lifetime Enclosures and Lifetime Flooring. They truly are best in the business. If you have the space and the idea, give them a call today. Lifetime Enclosures and Lifetime Flooring. Showroom just off Phillips Highway. Tell them Prosser sent you. Proud partner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. The experts at Amco have been fixing cars for almost 60 years. Over that time, they've gotten more complex than ever. That's why our techs undergo rigorous training and certifications. So they can fix anything, including the most complicated repairs that come with some of the latest technologies. After 60 years, there's nothing we haven't seen or fixed. It's how we know cars inside and out. Money tight? We can finance almost anybody. Find the Amco Transmissions nearest you at amcojacksonville.com. What defines a hero? Dedication, loyalty, courage. Every day at Amco, we serve heroes. For over 60 years, we've repaired and maintained the most critical public service vehicles. From complex transmissions to simple brake jobs with flexible financing and the extra safety precautions we need. The heroes we serve don't all wear uniforms. They're people like you. At Amco, we're proud to serve all of you. Double A, MCO. Family owned and operated in Jacksonville, Orange Park, St. Augustine, and St. Mary's, Georgia. We're in Florida and pest problems are persistent. Want them gone? Mission accomplished with Mission Pest Solutions. Veteran and locally owned and operated, Mission Pest will blow your mind with their communication and response time for all your pest, termite, and mosquito needs. Text or call 904-944-PEST. You'll speak directly with the owners. Mention 1010XL when you call 944-PEST. You'll get 25% off your initial pest or termite protection service. Mission accomplished with Mission Pest Solutions. 1010XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Now, the two-minute drill. Brought to you by Tire Outlet. Tire Outlet is now hiring. Visit tireoutlet.com slash careers. Equal opportunity employer. What's up, Tony? What's going on, guys? Oh, welcome to the players. Beautiful day. You get, we were here, it was a little chillier this morning, a little chilly <laughs> out there this morning. You get a nice sunshine and uh, uh, lots going on, obviously, in the National Football League, the Jaguars. Yeah. What are you, just an overall opinion about the Jags' thumbnail uh, uh, moves yesterday. Yeah, that's our question of the day, obviously. Okay. It's just people reacting yeah. to what the Jags did get done yesterday. It's fun to watch them be active. Yeah. Again, on the first day of free agency, yeah. you didn't get to have that experience last year. Right. You did the year before, you know, with this football team. So, it was fun to see them be active. How much have they helped the team? I, I, you know, time will tell. Yeah. You know, on those things. I think 
there's the potential that they could have helped it quite a bit. Yeah. You know, with what they got done in free agency yesterday. And we'll see what happens with Calvin Ridley. I still everything seems to point to they're right in the middle of that still. Yeah. You now, know? That, now that that you now that's a game changer. That's a narrative changer. Yeah. If you keep if you add Davis, a solid younger receiver who can be the even with really can be that downfield threat that what really did do he never became that, right? No. Like just running that post right. pattern and giving that throwing as hard as you can and letting him go get it. And yeah. teams have those guys and they run those plays and the Jacks haven't run a bear now part of that is the function of the offensive line that can't protect for three seconds without breaking down. Yeah. Sure. Do you guys think the Jags have more moves today? Uh, I worry all eyes on Calvin. Other than that, though, you nothing. Know, yeah. where, where, I don't know a thing about – I mean, I know he's been an all-pro. I've tracked him. DeVerne v. Agnew, similar? Similar. Less? Yeah. Similar. It's You know, deverney has been an, an all-pro yeah. once as a return man. He's been a pro bowler twice as a return man. Okay. And it's, you know, that's what he basically did exclusively – Last year with Baltimore, mm-hmm. you know, he was active every week, but he caught four passes, but, but you know, yet, on the season. He was the return But man. yet they had the big return they had that made, you know, one of the plays of the year. It wasn't him. When they played the Rams, they had the overtime punt return. That was a, a, somebody else for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the that was. Um, wasn't there one of the playoffs against Houston, too? I don't that he had? Was there a punt return? I don't remember. Or, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, Duvarnay is – and the, I don't know – I haven't – like Agnew is a little is a smaller dude. Yeah, Durant's a little and, bigger than him, and he yeah. was, he was hurt a lot. So I think that maybe I don't know if that. Yeah, that's a good not. point too. Agnew like ceiling Agnew was a piece you love to have. Oh God! But he was hurt an Agnew, awful lot. Agnew was, won the Jags some football games. Yeah. He did, you know. So he was. Uh, uh, and again, this is not the right opinion, but I. I'm just so special teams guy. I'm like, give me a kicker who could knock it through the end zone. Sure. Give me a punter who can fly it, and I'm fine. (laughs) Last Tuesday, we were talking about the guys you'd like to see him target in free agency. Yeah. Right? And one of the guys I talked about was Keyshawn Nixon with Green Bay, the corner. Yeah. Because he has special teams ability. Right. Right? Like, that's a guy that can come in, and he has the potential to be your starting slot corner Mm -hmm. and the return man. Mm -hmm. You know, your punt and kick returner. So, I thought that would have been interesting. I don't expect them to do that now. Right. You know, they've signed DuVernay. Like, they've they've told you the kick and punt returner it's is just, not going to be Parker. Yeah. Right. You know, right. that's that's not they, how Parker's uh, going to be active good. on game day. Yeah. I think they feel like they upgraded there. Yeah. Especially with the availability part of the ability. You know, DuVernay, like, it's a fair point with, with Agnew. He didn't play one on the field enough. He was yeah. hurt all the time. He yeah. was. Yeah. All right. Well, have a great show. Thank you. All right. Uh, we'll kick it around here tomorrow. Again, yeah. Right? Timers. Yeah, I'll be hunting Sasquatch tomorrow morning about 545, Coming tracking my way through the mist and the cold and the damp. Yeah. You going to wear a, a winter cap tomorrow? Um, You told me it's going to be warmer tomorrow. Ooh, it's beautiful but, right now. We oh, feel silly talking about the weather. But fantastic. trust me, this morning, sunrise, pre-sunrise, Ooh, well, chilly. It's been a Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday. You guys have a terrific next 20 hours, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. Living on the First Coast. The beach. Loving the First Coast. (laughs) I love it. I love it. (laughs) 1010XL.